Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. Can anybody hear me? Let me know if it sounds good. And then I'm going to switch over here to the main scene. And you guys are going to let me know if it looks good. Uh, we are broadcasting live this morning. Last minute decision uh, here at 10, 12 a.m. on the East Coast uh, to cover some severe weather today. We had a little cold front coming through yesterday. It wasn't looking half bad. Now... Things are going nuts out there. We got tornado warnings out the wazoo. We've got a tornado watch. We've got uh, more tornado watches getting ready to come out. We got an enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center. We've got tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, flash flood warnings. We've got snow. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. So you know what? We're we're just going to be here, and we are going to um, be live streaming uh, in, until it doesn't seem like we need to be here anymore. Um, all right. So thanks to everybody for tuning in. Uh, we got a bunch of people here. What I need everybody to do right now is, first of all, drop your uh, location, drop your location in the uh, the chat. Uh, and then uh, also uh, share this stream. We got to get this information out to people. No, a lot of people don't know 
what's going on here. All right. A lot of people are probably a lot of you guys are even surpri surprised that I'm live right now. And we got a lot of people out there that don't realize uh, that we have severe weather going on right now. We currently have four, I believe, uh, tornado warnings. Uh, and then we've got a big severe thunderstorm uh, watch up here in Kentucky, portions of West Virginia. Uh, and then we've got a big tornado watch down here in um, uh, Mississippi and Alabama. This is going to be moving east, okay? It's actually going to get worse as it moves east. We think there's an even better chance of tornadoes today in eastern Alabama and uh, down there into, uh, you know, near Atlanta in Georgia, uh, maybe even into western portions of South Carolina. We're going to have some uh, tornadic activity probably. So we're going to be covering all of it. Not only me, not only me, uh, but our team of uh, storm chasers and, and live cameras as well. We've got Brad Arnold down there in Alabama. We got Chris Hall in Mercer County giving us a live feed here, uh, and then we've got stationary cameras, um, you know, from Radar Omega in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, also in Jamestown, Tennessee, and then over in North Carolina as well. All right. Uh, and by the way, you see me waving down there in the bottom right. We've got a new camera, a new angle. Uh, for our studio uh, cam, uh, we, I, ha I have help now. Usually I do this by myself, but now we have uh, uh, Carly here, um, who producer Carly. Uh, Carly, if you want to pull your camera up real quick and, and, and just say hi, uh, this is who I will be referring to every once in a while when I say, hey, Carly, will you do this? Uh, so go ahead, Carly, say hi to everybody. Hello. That's uh, Carly. She's my sister, and she's also uh, a whiz at the producer's desk, okay? So she's going to be helping uh, do a lot of different things today uh, so that I can focus on the weather. And that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, let's uh, take a look at all of the different warnings that we currently have. And while I'm doing this, hopefully everybody is liking the stream. Everybody is sharing, copying the link, and getting it, the word out there because we need as many people as possible to watch this part so we can inform because once again, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised by uh, what's going on here today. All right. So here we go. Uh, down here in Louisiana, we got a severe thunderstorm warning north of New Orleans. All right. This is going to move up into southern parts of Mississippi, where we actually have a tornado watch. Everybody in the pink box there is under a tornado watch. We have a tornado warning right now in eastern portions of uh, Mississippi near DeKalb. All right. Let's take a look at that up close and personal on the radar um, uh, app here, and let's see what that looks like. Let's see if we can actually see where the rotation is. Right there it is. All right, so this at one point, this storm or a storm near it was radar confirmed, meaning that uh, we actually did have a tornado on the ground. I don't know if that's still the case, but there's definitely enough rotation there to warrant this tornado warning. So we want everybody in Gainesville, Alabama, all the way up into Clinton and U uh, Union in Utah to get into a their safe spots. So look at that. Has been we got issued. a new one, a brand new tornado warning that was just issued there for um, uh, Winston County, Alabama. Uh, and we're going to zoom in on that. Uh, and that's uh, just way up here uh, in north of Birmingham. Okay. So that is what we're looking at right there. Uh, so uh, get to shelter now. We're going to see a lot of these today, by the way. Um, <laughs> <we're> <laughs> it's going to be one of those days where we see a lot of tornado warnings. And we're going to be jumping around uh, from state to state. So I'm going to try my best to remind you what state uh, we are uh, looking at. All right, and uh, I'm going to mute Andy in Discord. There you go. You're muted. All right. And, and by the way, this is our first time doing one of these streams with our new setup with the production desk and everything. So there might be a little bugs, a little kinks here and there to work out. But uh, hopefully we will do our job of getting the, uh, the core information out as quickly as possible. Like, for example, that newest tornado warning up there um, uh, that's coming into portions of uh, Alabama, north of Birmingham, uh, it does include the Lakeshore subdivision and the Wilson Bend. Okay, so please get to shelter now if you are in either of those counties there, Green or Sumter County in Alabama, take shelter now. All right. Um, now, <laughs> that's not it. That's not the only thing that we've got going on. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning up here uh, south of Huntsville, Alabama. And I believe this is around where uh, our storm chaser uh, Brad Arnold is. Um, so if we can get Brad up on the screen, uh, you guys can see that this is uh, essentially what the conditions are looking like around um, uh, Huntsville. He's a little bit out of the, the area in Limestone County, uh, but these are the, the, the storms that we're dealing with. 
And unfortunately, this is the type of situation where um, a lot of these tornadoes today, now some of them won't be, but a lot of the tornadoes and the tornado warnings that we see are going to be associated with rain wrapped storms. So if there's a tornado in front of Brad right now, you're not going to be able to see it until you're right up on it. Uh, so that's why we really want everybody to take warning seriously today. And as soon as that warning comes through, you're going to know what you're going to do and you're going to get to shelter. You're not going to go outside and you're not going to try to look at it and, and send pictures of it and stuff because these are dangerous storms and at things shielded in rain is going to jump out and scare you at the last minute and you're not going to be ready for it unless you're in your safe spot. All right. So uh, we can take Brad down now and we will talk to him uh, right here in a second. Uh, first of all, though, we, there's another tornado warning up here in Kentucky. I think it's about to expire, though. I don't think I see a reason for them to continue it. Um, this did include Stanton, Kentucky, uh, but this storm that's coming through the rotation that had originally sparked that tornado warning, I think has died down a lot, but still a very strong storm getting ready to come into Slade, uh, and then eventually Campton up here in Beattyville, um, it's strong damaging winds and excessive 60 miles an hour. This will also eventually come up towards West Liberty and then towards Jackson, Kentucky. And guys, this is where I live. I live over here. So hope to goodness we keep our internet, <laughs> And our uh, power today, because, you know, in rural Kentucky, it, it sprinkles sometimes and, and we lose our all of our utilities. So uh, bear with me. But if I do go out at some point today, just make sure you got a backup plan on how you're going to get your warnings. All right. Uh, National Weather Service. Uh, if I go down, you um, uh, you can uh, still get warnings from several other uh, sources. All right. But I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good for the most part. I did. Um, take, uh, I, I drove my, um, golf cart, uh, to work today, uh, on accident. And so I've got to make sure that somebody <laughs> before that rain starts, Carly, somebody's got to move my golf cart into the garage because that, that thing's going to get ruined. All right. Uh, so once again, if you're just now tuning in, we're doing live severe weather coverage here. We've got tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings in the south. We're going to go through those again right here in a second. But we've also got a lot of stuff going on up north here and on the backside. Check it out. Heavy snow back here in Missouri. How many people do we have watching in Missouri? Raise your hand in chat. Um, uh, if you are, um, then please send us some pictures of the snow because, you know, it's stressful talking about tornadoes. We're going to be talking about warnings. We're going to stress people out, talk, telling people to get to shelter and all that stuff. Every once in a while, we like to take a relief break during these winter setups and just look at the pretty snow. All right. So if you're seeing snow in Missouri, uh, send in pictures and videos to us um, on uh, Twitter um, at Ryan Hall, y'all. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and if, if we have enough people sending in y'all meter photos today, we'll do another contest where we pick somebody who sent in a snow measurement picture to, to win a thousand dollars at the end of the stream. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to snow for a lot more people today, but it's going to be a very slim part of this storm that's producing the snow. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. And we'll also talk about the forecast as to what's going to happen with the snow later tonight into tomorrow and all that stuff. So there's actually a whole lot of weather to talk about today. So even though this isn't a moderate risk, it's not like one of these big days where like, you know, we're expecting like multiple EF two, three tornadoes and stuff. Uh, there's going to be a lot of strong storms and there's going to be plenty for us to talk about as this line progresses off to the east, uh, especially if we do a good job of getting the word out there about what's happening here. And um, we, we get some interaction going on on social media. Uh, once again, not just for snow, not just for snow. If you are um, in anywhere in front of this line, let's say you're in Atlanta, Georgia, let's say you're in Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's say you're up here in Ohio and it's just raining. Um, if you can do so safely, also send us pictures and videos, uh, storm reports in, and I'll share them live here on the air. This is one of the, the coolest things about what we do here is like we usually have, you know, thousands of people watching and everybody uh, can kind of act as a, a local news reporter for your own area. And it really helps us tell the weather story and it helps us alert people as to what's getting ready to happen downstream and stuff like that. I can show these colors all day. Um, uh, but it means a lot more when you see a real photo of what's going on out there. So, uh, that's the whole story. That's the whole shebang right now. We're down to three tornado warnings. That one in Kentucky was allowed to expire. Now all of our tornado warnings, uh, pretty much are going to be down here in uh, Alabama and uh, Mississippi. So we're going to check back in on those right here in a second. Um, but, uh, I, I do want to go through and see if, see if anybody's sending in reports and pictures and stuff. 
uh, through Twitter. Uh, Jeremy has, I mean, this guy is super weather prepared. He's got James Spann up. He's got News Channel 18 up, and he's got us up, and he's got some live cameras up. I mean, this guy is not missing anything, all right? But I, I'm i super happy that we have uh, at least a section of your screen space there. Uh, thank you so much for being weather prepared. Uh, once again, this is kind of coming out of nowhere. Uh, we, I, I did not expect, I really did not expect uh, to uh, do a live stream today. I thought that we were going to, honestly, I thought I was going to go out for a local storm chase. I live here in Kentucky, so I was going to go out and try to, you know, find me a tornado. Not Well, honestly, I, I didn't have very much uh, faith that, we, you know, there was going to be any tornadoes, uh, but I was just going to go find me a shelf cloud, a cool storm to look at. You know, I'm a weather nerd. We love to look at clouds. Um, but woke up this morning and just the parameter spaces have uh, increased enough to warrant a live stream. I think I'm definitely more useful here doing this, uh, than, uh, going out there and playing around in the rain. So, uh, we're going to be here with you pretty much all day, unless everything falls apart and, and we don't see any more tornado warnings, which I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, but we're going to be here with you until the storm passes through Atlanta, at least, which by the way, it is going to do that. And um, that's why the Storm Prediction Center does have an enhanced risk of severe weather for you guys. Just a second. So everybody in the orange here is under an enhanced risk of severe weather. That's a three out of five. Um, and everybody in the yellow is under a slight risk of severe weather. That's a two out of five. So all the way up to Lexington, all the way down to Mobile, Alabama is in a severe weather threat today. As far west as Tupelo and as far east as Charlotte, North Carolina, you guys are under a, a severe weather threat today as this line of storms comes through. The strongest part of this storm is going to go through this area, all right? And let me show you why. Let me show you why we have an increased risk in these areas. So um, let's take a look at the tornado risk. We've got 8 million people, 8 million people in a 10% probability of tornadoes today. This is that's a big deal. Okay. 10% from the storm prediction center is not extremely common. It's not necessarily rare, uh, but um, this is probably the first 10% that this many people have been under in, in a while. Uh, so uh, it's important that we get the, the message out there to these people. Cause once again, a lot of people weren't talking about this yesterday. Now though, uh, things are happening and, and hopefully we can just rapidly alert as many people as possible that they need to, you know, be ready for a warning to come through and uh, just know what to do whenever it comes through. So there it is. That's your 10% probability. Uh, basically what that means is there's a 10% uh, probability of a tornado happening within 25 miles of any given point with, within that zone, which is astronomically higher than a normal day, right? 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, it's these kinds of days that usually, you know, catch people off guard and they don't pay attention to warnings and stuff. And as long as that's not you, you're going to be fine. Um, and obviously the, the odds are any specific town in this um, uh, area isn't going to get hit. But if you do, you know, at least you've got that heads up here uh, as we continue to watch these storms form up. The brown's going to be 5% and then the green is 2%. So we've been seeing a lot of uh, tornado warnings up here in Kentucky. And in fact, I think we're going to talk to Chris here in a second about maybe there was a tornado earlier. Obviously, we can't confirm that yet, but there's some damage up there. So anywhere in the zone here that we're looking at, you, you got to be weather aware today, but especially in this one, uh, the Atlanta area is included. So we're going to be sticking with you throughout this entire thing. Let's take a look at, uh, first of all, let's take this off. By, by the way, 10 million people are in the 30% wind zone. So the main threat here today is still going to be damaging winds. If you don't see a tornado, you're going to see a big squall line of storms come through with 50, 60 mile an hour winds. That's going to cause some problems, power outages and stuff like that, regardless of whether we see tornadoes or not. So let me turn this off and then let's look at the future radar. Okay, let's take a look at what could happen as we go forward. Uh, you can keep up with the time up there um, above at the top of the screen. You guys see that? It says 11 a.m. there. Uh, so this is what the radar is likely going to look like pretty much in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. And then we can push it forward. So what is what are we going to be talking about at 1 p.m.? 
At 1 p.m. today, uh, the storms up here in Kentucky are going to kind of be impacting some of the same areas, but they'll be moving into Huntington, the tri-state area up here between uh, Ohio, West Virginia, and Kentucky. Uh, we're going to see some stronger storms down south towards London, Kentucky. We're going to see some of this line try to make it through um, eastern portions of Tennessee, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that intense over here in Tennessee. What's really going to be happening is um, around 1 p.m., we're going to start to see that daylight heating uh, really start to uh, de stabilize the atmosphere down here and this part of the storm is going to become the new like okay we've got to really watch this because these storms are blowing up um, not only do we have the risk for this big line to kind of get stronger and, and produce a lot of uh, damaging winds and maybe even even some QLCS type tornadoes um, but we also um, have the chance of supercell storms, little discrete storms popping up out in front of the line. And that's what, why we have uh, an increased chance of tornadoes today. Look at these little cells that are popping up out in front of the line. If that actually happens, there's a lot of nadir juice, if you will, in the air today. And whenever we get a storm, a little storm, it doesn't look like much, right? It doesn't look like much compared to all this. But whenever we get these discrete cells that pop up by themselves in that bath of nadir juice, they are allowed to kind of take more of those ingredients for themselves. And therefore, those storms are more dangerous in the sense of, you know, the fact that they can uh, produce tornadoes. Imagine here like this big line, uh, whenever it sucks up the nadir juice, it has to share it. It has to equally distribute all of that energy throughout the rest of the storm. Therefore, it is dil diluted, right? So this looks a lot scarier. And don't get me wrong, this is going to cause some problems, some damaging winds. There will be some embedded tornado problems with this line today. But um, if anything happens out in front of it and these cells kind of interact with that energy by themselves, those are the ones that are really going to be the problem makers today if that actually happens. And we'll just have to watch the radar uh, as this continues to unfold uh, throughout the rest of the day. New sales are also going to pop up over here in the Carolinas uh, where we could see some tornado problems. Uh, we're going to see new sales form back here in central Tennessee behind the cold front. This is not going to be as much of a, um, a tornado problem, but definitely some additional hail, uh, maybe some flash flooding back here. And then, of course, some very strong um, rain and some winds are going to be moving through Pittsburgh into Pennsylvania through the mid-Atlantic region. And that's mainly just going to be a, a flooding issue for the rest of the storm. Once these storms get past the Appalachian Mountains and especially past Charlotte, North Carolina, um, the severe weather threat goes down significantly and we're mainly focused on the rain up here in the Northeast. Like that's going to be the main thing there. Um, but uh, of course we are going to see some storms all the way down to the coastal areas through Florida, uh, but these are just your garden variety thunderstorms for the most part. Oh, and something really interesting here. Let me switch this to the precipitation type. So I, I didn't get to go storm chasing today, all right? That was my originally, original plan. I got interrupted by this, the fact that this could turn into something pretty significant on, on the uh, uh, coverage side. But tomorrow, I actually might be able to go not storm chasing, but snow squall chasing. Check this out. On the backside of the low pressure center, as it moves off to the northeast, we're going to get that counterclockwise flow, right? And we're going to get a lot of cold air coming out of Canada, coming in this way. And that cold air is going to run across these lakes, pick up some of the moisture, and then loft it down in the form of snow squalls all across the Ohio Valley, and especially in the Appalachian Mountains. If you live on the northwestern side of the Appalachian Mountains, that uh, you know, moist air picked up over the lakes is going to kind of be forced to lift higher in the atmosphere as it hits the mountains. It condenses and then falls as snow. This is how a lot of times in my neck of the woods, we get the most snow. Doesn't look like this is going to be anything crazy, but definitely a couple of inches uh, all the way down uh, through the Appalachian Mountains, even into like the Smokies, uh, Gatlinburg, Knoxville. You guys are going to see some snow out of this. And then on the backside, even back here in Illinois and Indiana, snow squalls blinding. Okay, basically imagine a thunderstorm, but instead of rain, it's snow. You're going to see intermittent uh, periods of snow like that tomorrow uh, in some of these snow bands and snow squalls as we go through uh, Friday. But check this out. It's going to be a pretty <laughs> extended period, too, that we're going to see this. So lots of uh, snow action uh, tomorrow after the severe thunderstorm today. And look at this. A lot of Tennessee will even get in on the snow squall action, maybe even down into northern Alabama, northern Mississippi, northern Georgia. Check it out. Maybe even Atlanta. Gets a snow squall tomorrow. My goodness. 
Tornadoes today, snow tomorrow. That is what I call a dynamic system. And that's what happens, man. That's what happens whenever uh, we get a, a storm like this in um, the winter. I mean, it's January 12th, son. It should not be 65 degrees here in Kentucky, which it is right now. All right. Let me pull this, the correct radar back up. And as you can see, the lights behind me are green. And as long as I've done everything correctly, we should be able to hear <laughs> Andy talk. So go ahead, Andy. Let's hear what you've got. Oh, you get me, Ryan. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I can hear you. Yes. All right. Yeah, we've Wonderful. got you. Okay. So I wanted to talk more about that uh, snow that y'all saw there. Um, and no, I'm not sleeping. I see that in chat right now. I'm, I'm right here. I just watched New Cinderella. Came right down to join Ryan on the stream. Took me by surprise. Uh, quite a, a lovely morning stream with y'all. Uh, so long as everything cooperates and we don't get confirmed tornadoes, what? Well, yeah. I'm trying to talk here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know what? You might as well talk about this confirmed tornado first, Ryan. Then I'll talk about the snow after. Okay, sounds good. Um, so if if somebody can let our tech guy Ryan know that that came through terribly, and and we really need to refresh our system, uh, let let's do that and let's take Andy down and um, let's take a look at uh, what that just what what just happened there. The lights flashed red. <laughs> We got a, a confirmed uh, tornado warning for, uh, what was it, Sumter County out here. And uh, we, we need to r really take a look at that. Yeah, so Green and Sumter counties in Alabama are now under a uh, radar confirmed tornado warning. All right. Uh, flying debris are, is going to be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. And I, I really want to take you there on the radar and uh, show you exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, but I am not. I'm not getting that data on this side. So let me let me refresh a couple things. Let me check a couple different ones. We have um, Brett Adair and Brad Arnold very close to this storm. So if I can if I can find something here for you to uh, to latch on to, we're gonna kind of uh, visit them. Uh, but uh, first of all, I've got to find this first. All right, there it is. Okay, here we go. Right there is your confirmed tornado. Uh, this is a tornado on the ground uh, near Gainesville. All right. Uh, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for Gainesville in Utah and Knoxville, Alabama. Um, and this is going to be, uh, once again, a confirmed tornado warning. Once again, we got a new system here. Bear with us as we work out some of the kinks and the bugs. But there it is. We have an actual tornado on the ground. And our storm chasers aren't necessarily close to that. Uh, but uh, I, I think we could probably find somebody down there that has a live feed uh, that can help us out here within the near future. But even if we can't, I can show you this. That is the, that's where the tornado is. And if we actually look at the uh, correlation coefficient, you see the little blue dot there? That's indicating to us that we actually have debris being lofted into the air. So we have a tornado on the ground putting debris into the air, and it's moving up towards Utah, Alabama. I'm looking at Alabama now, uh, and let's uh, zoom in on this. Uh, on uh, our, um, let's zoom in on this over here as well, so that we can really uh, see where everything's happening, and I, I can show you some of the uh, the updated uh, information there. Let me show you also on this. Unfortunately, there is a tiny uh, semblance of a radar hole here. So we, we're kind of far away from the actual site. But there it is. Once again, a tornado on the ground here. This is getting ready to cross um, Highway uh, 39 and 21, just to the west of uh, um, Interstate 59. Okay? So if you know where Tuscaloosa is, if you're driving uh, between Tuscaloosa and York, for example, for example or Meridian, Mississippi— that road there uh, in between them where Utah is, uh, that's where this tornado is right now. And it's getting ready to come up into uh, the Bology area. And uh, it looks like it's probably a pretty strong one because usually, usually whenever you can see the debris uh, signature uh, this far away from the, the radar, 
that's a bad sign. Usually that means that this is a, a strong tornado and it's sending debris up pretty high into the atmosphere. And um, that, that's just, it's it's never a good thing. So we've got to just assume the worst here and, ex and, and just assume that there's a big, nasty tornado on the ground here south of Gainesville and it's coming up towards Utah, Alabama right now. James Spann, this is James Spann country, all right? So I know that everybody in Alabama hopefully is tuned into James Spann. But if you know somebody right now that just normally ignores the weather <laughs> and, and, like, doesn't pay attention to stuff like this, it's 1038 a.m., 938 out here. Somebody Maybe if they're still asleep or something like that, you got to call them and wake them up right now, especially if they're in Utah, Alabama, because this is getting ready to be a pretty dangerous situation here if this tornado uh, stays together. All right. If you're just now tuning in, uh, we've got a, an emergency situation unfolding here as a big tornado is on the ground south of Gainesville, um, uh, Alabama, and it's moving off to the north and west. I'm going to sorry, north and east. I'm going to pull up some mesoscale information here just to kind of give you an idea as to where I think this thing is exactly. This is the only tornado warning we have right now, by the way. Gainesville. So I can kind of focus. Um, my full attention on it. <laughs> Gainesville, Alabama is pretty small. Uh, but uh, if, if I was to kind of guesstimate exactly where this tornado is right now, it's either on the south side of Gainesville uh, near the Gainesville Head Start Center and the old cemetery, or it's right in between Highway 39 and uh, the the. The Tom Tom Bigby River, I think. I, I hope I'm saying that right. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, right there is if if this thing's still on the ground, uh, it's in between those two areas. Then it's going to come up through the Goats Cemetery, all right, and then kind of ride the um, Highway uh, 39 corridor uh, past um, Mount Hebron Cemetery, past the Mount Hebron Church, all the way up to St. John Cemetery, and then eventually towards uh, Clinton. The area between Clinton and I-59 uh, especially are the areas that I'm most concerned about, and this includes the Pippin Lawn Cemetery, uh, the, the, Jordan the Jordan Sheik Boutique, and the Cypress Creek Farm and the Ever Everhope uh, Bed and Breakfast. So I, the reason I'm calling out all these places is just in case anybody's just now tuning in, um, saying, uh, you know, Green and Sumter County is one thing. And yes, everybody in those counties needs to be taking shelter right now. Uh, but if I say the, the, the Gandhi Funeral Home, a lot of people kind of can get a better idea of, of where exactly that is. And, and I think that within the next 10 minutes, the tornado could be right there. So if, if you can drive there within 10 minutes of where you are right now, you probably shouldn't do that and instead uh, get into your safe spot. So this is what it looks like on radar right now. Um, this Hopefully what this is, is this is like um, a tornado that was down and it is now lifted. And, and some of the radar data kind of it says that that could be what's happening here. Uh, you can see that we had really strong uh, rotation there and it's kind of led up a, just a tiny little bit, but I still see a debris signature. So either you know the 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 debris is just floating in the air, um, or it, the tornado is still picking up new debris. So we've just got to assume that it's still down here, and we are going to need to get into our safe spot uh, immediately. You want to get into the most interior room of your home, um, and you guys have heard James Spann talk about this. I'm sure uh, you're going to want to put on a helmet. If you got kids with you, they've got bicycle helmets, football helmets, baseball helmets. Uh, do that and just kind of brace. Bring your phone. Bring your tablet. Something that can connect to cellular data, even if the power goes off, a lot of times cellular cellular will still work for a little while. Um, and uh, you want, you're going to want to bring that with you and stay connected to either me or James Spann or whoever you want to get your warning information from until this thing uh, passes by. Uh, so National Weather Service did issue just moments ago a radar confirmed tornado warning. Uh, for uh, Green and Sumter County in Alabama, we want everybody in those counties to take shelter, uh, but specifically between Gainesville and Utah, that's where the biggest uh, danger zone is right now, I believe. All right, so that's your rotation. For anybody that doesn't know or, or is new here, uh, the way that I can tell, the way that the National Weather Service, myself, or, or anybody can tell that there's a tornado here, even without seeing it with their own eyes, is by looking at this. All right, you see 
these colors here. It looks very Christmassy. We got greens and reds next to each other. Uh, the red indicates parts of the storm that are moving away from the uh, radar, and the green indicates parts of the storm that are moving towards the radar. And uh, giving, given the radar's location, we can infer that this is counterclockwise rotation. And whenever they're really close to each other, that indicates that it's a, a not only... Uh, do we have just general rotation, but it's tight enough to assume that there's a mesocyclone and potentially a tornado under it. So that's how we determine that. And then the way that you can confirm that, yes, there is definitely a tornado there is by uh, correlating that with the correlation coefficient. So it lines up almost perfectly uh, with um, the reflectivity, the, um, uh, the velocity and the correlation coefficient, you can see that the, the blues and the greens there indicate that there is likely a tornado down because what this shows is um, the size of objects in the air. So a lot of times you have rain and the radar can see all that rain. It's like, okay, this is all the same size. So we're going to paint it the same color here. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of hail mixed in. So they're like, oh, that's a different size. So we're going to drop the correlation coefic coefficient a little bit. And then sometimes there's shingles. There's pieces of trees and wood and, and whatever else in the sky. And the radar is like, whoa, that is not supposed to be there. We're going to drop the cor correlation coefficient significantly. Uh, and that's what's happening right here. So something is in the air that shouldn't be there um, above where that co couplet is. So, I mean, what, what in the world is it, son? It ain't anything other than a tornado more than likely. So that is why we are ringing the bells here and trying to get you to get to the Dagon um, uh, shelter as fast as possible. If anybody in Clinton or Utah, Alabama ain't there yet, I mean, what are you waiting on? Okay, you got to get there now. And um, yeah, although it does look like maybe the rotation and the correlation or the TDS has slowed down a little bit or it looks a little bit less uh, impressive, uh, it, this is the kind of storm that can uh, recycle very quickly, and that looks like what's happening here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's still a tornado down right here south and east of Gainesville, so we got to get to our safe spots now. For anybody that's just now tuning in and, and you think this is just Alabama coverage, obviously we are intensely focused on Alabama right now because this is where the, the most uh, you know pressing things are happening. Uh, but there, this storm system is affecting a lot more people than just Alabama. All right. We've got uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and watches all the way up into Kentucky. Uh, we're, we've got an enhanced risk that goes all the way into Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to be here for a while talking about this storm and it's in its entirety as we go forward. But obviously, uh, whenever we get a big um, you know, situation unfold like what we uh, have right now, we're going to kind of focus in on that. I'm going to refresh one of my uh, radars here. Give me just a second. Uh, Andy, if you want to uh, come on and um, tell us what you were trying to say earlier, this would be a great opportunity for that. If he's still around. Oh, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Ryan. Thanks. Um, okay. It's sort of an inopportune time to talk about snow, you know, given the situation at hand. But I was going to mention that uh, for our friends who are watching in Western North Carolina, and also the the Tennessee mountains east of uh, Knoxville, they're in the Appalachia. A lot of that snow you're going to see is actually uh, going to fall. Uh, this looks like a really good northwest flow snow event. Uh, if you live in the area, you may be familiar with that terminology. So, um, wow, I don't know what the radar is doing. You see that, right? Sorry, Sorry that <laughs> distracted me. <laughs> uh, so northwest flow snow happens when the moisture literally from the Great Lakes uh, uh the great lakes comes up to the mountains rides up the slope and then that causes the clouds to form and dump all of the precipitation all the moisture in them and since it's cold enough um they that will fall as snow and quite frequently even for our friends in Asheville North Carolina that snow if driven by strong enough winds and a stable atmosphere will actually spill over the mountains and make it there into the river valleys uh, the French Broad River in particular. So I think that along with what Ryan mentioned about snow possible, even into uh, northern Alabama and even at the Atlanta area, possibly some sleet, um, the the significance of this northwest flow snow event uh, to me is not to be downplayed whatsoever. Now, northwest flow snow is very light. It is very powdery snow. 
Uh, it's very dry. So in general, it is at least. So I don't expect it to be like some sort of uh, significant accumulation. It'll be light in nature and, fl and uh, rather fluffy and dry. So uh, that's what I expect with this Northwest flow snow. That's all I wanted to say on that matter. I'm sure we'll talk about it again later, but uh, a little bit of a, a story about Northwest flow for all of you watching now. Absolutely. And, and we will talk about that a lot later because I am super interested in it because I'm going to be uh, you know, dealing with it here tomorrow. And I know that a lot of people who are experiencing severe weather right now um, can um, uh, you expect to see snow tomorrow as well. So it's a very, a very dynamic uh, setup. Um, and we're going to continue to talk about that as we go forward. Once again, if you're just now tuning in, we do have a, a, a tornado warning in effect uh, that we are covering. And I'm going to give you another update on that as soon as we get a new radar scan. Uh, but in the meantime, we also have a couple of storm chasers helping us out today. Um, uh, and, and is Brett Adair, is he on, is he on uh, live storms media? Because if he is, don't do it just yet, but we, we might want to pull him. Okay. All right. So we've got Brad Arnold and Chris Hall. Brad Arnold is in Coleman County, Alabama, racing to get ahead of these um, uh, big storms that are causing these tornado warnings and stuff. Uh, so let, let's actually hear from him if we can. Uh, I'm going to pull up uh, our communication system here. And I'm going to talk to Brad Arnold. Brad, we are live on YouTube, and um, we're watching your feed here. You got tornado warnings to your south. Um, you're in a tornado watch. I see where you are. What's your plan? Are you going to try to get in front of this line? Uh, are you going to try to stay behind it? What are you doing here? Uh, just tell us what your uh, your plan is for today. So Storm Chaser Brad Arnold hopefully is going to chime in here in just a second. And then we can also get an update from Chris Hall. Chris, we are live on YouTube. Just as soon as you get a minute, give us an update on what you're doing. You're up in uh, Kentucky. Um, have you seen any damage? What's your plans for the rest of the day? Just keep us updated. One of my radar uh, applications just keeps hey, on Brian, working. Uh, yeah, I just uh, left Harrisburg, Kentucky, where there was some reports of uh, potential tornado damage from an earlier tornado warning. I went up there to check that out. Uh, the majority of town is without power in Mercer County. Um, there's uh, uh, Oh. Decent amount of tree damage and roof damage. Uh, but the, the main story up there is the uh, widespread power outage in town. Uh, but that's all I've seen so far. We're going to shoot back to the south and see if uh, we can't get a cold core side of things on the back side of the squall line. All right. Hey, Ryan. Uh, so okay, as far as my Brad. plan goes, uh, got a little bit of an early start this morning uh, with those cells that came through North Alabama. Uh, intercepted that one that came north of Huntsville, um, and now I'm dropping south right now towards Coleman. Uh, the line kind of bends back once it gets uh, south near Birmingham. So I'm going to get down to Birmingham and I may dr drop down southwest towards Tuscaloosa to get to that confirmed tornado. Uh, a new tornado warning right now, has been issued. Um, and I should have uh, be in better position here in just a bit as I get closer to Birmingham. Uh, my main plan is to be ahead of the line today because I don't want to definitely don't want want to be behind it. All right. There we go. We just heard from our storm chasers. Uh, we got a new tornado that just came in for Greene County, Hale County, and Tuscaloosa County, Alabama. Um, so that, that's going to be a continuation for this storm that we're watching here. And, and buddy, uh, the storm still looks very strong. It looks uh, pretty concerning now uh, as it gets closer and closer to Utah. They removed the confirmed tag, all right, because we don't we no longer really see a convincing tornado debris signature. But I'm guessing that we're we probably will soon uh, because look at this big mesocyclone, man. This storm is rotating like a dag on top as it moves into Utah, Alabama. All right, let me um, let me show you some more locations here. Uh, in the very near future, this storm's going to be going through Utah. All right, so get to shelter now if you're in Utah, Alabama. It's also going to go through McClure. And then, all right, we're really concerned about Moundville, Dara, Stewart, Akron, Guinea, all these places in Alabama. This is this storm's going to ride up right through the, you guys know this. If you're in Alabama, this is like Tornado Alley 2.0 right here. 
all these places near Tuscaloosa. This storm is going to run through the, this very tornado prone area here all the way up through Moundville. Uh, and then eventually it's just to the south of Tuscaloosa and then into Coaling and those areas. I really hope everybody's paying attention because uh, unfortunately this looks like something we're going to be dealing with uh, for the next several hours as the storm is kind of in a perfect spot uh, to, to take advantage of the nadir juice uh, in the air and um, use it all for itself and, and and try to produce tornadoes here. So there you go. You see the new polygon <clears throat> in the words of James Spann. We need to respect the polygon and get to shelter now in Moundville uh, all the way up through Highway 69 between Harper Hill and Moundville and then even up towards Coaling, Alabama. OK, that's what's going on there. Uh, I'm having all kinds of problems today. <laughs> Half of my daggone uh, programs aren't working. The, the warnings are, are laggy when they pop up. But listen, we are going to do this, all right? <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need it. We don't need all the stuff, all right? All we need is the ability to um, relay warnings, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. And, and I'm just not even going to worry about nothing. I'm going to live produce in front of you. Uh, sorry for the flashing. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. But now we're fixed. I think. All right. And uh, we're, we're just going to roll with it. All right. So if you're just now tuning in, this is live severe weather coverage. We've got uh, the help of storm chasers on the ground uh, and we are going to continue to cover this. If you are confused about what's going on here, it's not just Alabama today. It's not just Alabama today that is uh, having problems. Uh, we've got Georgia in the, in the, the, the crossfire, I guess we've got uh, Mississippi. We've got, um, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, you know, uh, ports of the uh, Carolinas later today, all of these places are going to be uh, susceptible uh, for uh, tornadoes as we go forward. So please uh, make sure you're prepared for that. Uh, now, um, let me show you a little bit more uh, about that. First of all, let, let's check on our tornado warning here because I really, I don't want to leave this if it's looking worse. And, and, and I'm just, it, it is like, it's not looking any better. That's for sure. This rotating couplet here is going to continue to rotate and it's getting ready to come into Utah right now. Last call. This is the last call. Anybody in Utah, uh, Alabama, that is not in your safe spot needs to get there now because boy, that last scan there looks even worse. You see that? That is a tight couplet with strong rotation here. Um, and uh, I, I'm really concerned uh, about what this is going to do uh, as it comes through the Utah area here. If it doesn't have a tornado on the ground right now at this moment, it's probably going to soon. So hopefully everybody in Utah, Alabama is taking shelter um, because I, I listen, even if there is no tornado, uh, th this is a strong storm. We've got a history of it producing damage here. All of these storms up and down Alabama have been producing damage. Look at this. We've got trees down in Lawrence County uh, in Alabama uh, we've got uh, power lines down, power poles, uh, tornado or not, the storm itself is extremely strong uh, and it's going to continue to uh, cause problems as we go through the rest of the day. But I do believe uh, that uh, this is definitely going to have some tornadic uh, uh, troubles here as that is a very concerning sign there near Utah. Remember, downstream, Akron, Cypress, Moundville, Duncanville in Alabama, you guys all need to be taking shelter because this is coming right for you. All right. Don't don't tune out. Don't think that this is just a problem for Alabama. If you live in Georgia though, because I, what I was getting ready to show you, um, is this, if I can get it to pull up, man, I've got a lot of problems today. Um, here we go. I'm going to pull up the, uh, severe weather outlook for today. 10 million, 10 million people are in the enhanced risk of severe weather today. Uh, as this line of storms is going to continue to move off to the East. All right. It's going to go through Birmingham and then it's going to go through Atlanta, all right? Uh, and everybody in that orange circle here has the chance of seeing very significant severe weather today, including tornadoes, all right? So I just want to make sure you guys understand that uh, as we continue to really hone in and focus on our tornado uh, down here near Utah, Alabama. Uh, Andy, go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan, want to warn you about another couplet here that I'm seeing start to show up. It is concerning. 
uh, to the north and east of Laurel, Mississippi, in southeastern Mississippi. Here's one of our uh, semi-discrete, even discrete, I would argue, uh, supercells, and it's uh, been developing definitely more of a tight rotation, uh, not currently warned to just to the east of Sandersville now, uh, and Laurel is north of Hattiesburg, so I think you got it there. Uh, but yeah, that's the one I'm watching most closely now. There's a couple of other rotations nearby, but most of them are uh, more side-lobed in nature. Then I saw this one. I was like, oh, yep, I got to tell you about that one. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, meteorologist Andy Hill. Uh, another storm that we're looking at here, just like he was saying, to the north and east of Laurel, Mississippi. Uh, it's discreet. Once again, we've, we've been talking a lot about this. If, if storms can get in front of that main line today, they're going to use up all of that nadir juice uh, for themselves and try to produce tornadoes. This one's going to try. Right now, it's not doing it. Uh, but the the reason, uh, we, you know, we, we watch the radar so hard, the reason why uh, Andy is, is here to help us out is to get in front of this, all right? We're, our goal is to try to tell you this storm could spin. It could produce a tornado in, in the near future. So, you know, you don't have to run to shelter just yet. Uh, but if you're in somewhere like uh, uh, Shibuta, Sumrall, uh, Matherville, uh, or any of these places down here in um, uh, Mississippi to the north and east of Laurel, you should probably get ready to potentially take shelter because I would just about bet my bottom dollar that the National Weather Service is going to issue a tornado warning for this uh, very soon. Um, in fact, I'm actually surprised they haven't already done it. So uh, remember, um, no warning yet, but y'all watch out in Shibuta, Matherville, and Evansboro, Mississippi. We're going to continue to watch that very closely as this storm does look like it's trying very hard to produce something here. Back to Alabama. This is our storm near Utah um, that uh, at one point was producing a, a pretty significant tornado debris signature. Now it's kind of uh, contaminated a little bit. It's hard to tell what's going on there, but this thing is still rotating like crazy, man. Um, I, I, I would be surprised if we haven't heard anything or saw any pictures or, or, or videos of what's going on out there. But uh, uh, if there isn't a tornado down uh, with the, with this storm, uh, it, it's, it could be very soon. All right. So hopefully everybody in Utah is still in their safe spot. Akron, Cypress, and Moundville and Duncanville need to be getting to their safe spot fast in Alabama as this storm continues uh, to ramp up in a big way. All right. So uh, this is down here in Mississippi and Alabama. We've also got uh, storms up here in Kentucky. All right, severe thunderstorm warning uh, for uh, Morgan County, McGoffin County, Wolf County in Kentucky. Uh, also back here uh, north and east of Bowling Green, we got a pretty good storm coming through here south of uh, Elizabethtown. Uh, that's going to bring some strong winds, some hail into Mumfordville, uh, Hodgenville, uh, and uh, Bonneville here within the next like five minutes or so. We are also starting to see these strong storms get into uh, Tennessee, Chattanooga. You're going to see some strong storms here within the next you know 30 minutes minutes to an hour or so, uh, but we're really kind of focused on the southern extent of this because that's where all the tornado action is right now. The atmospheric conditions that are promoting the tornadoes down here are going to move in this direction throughout the day, all right? So um, an hour from now, we'll be looking at this area at potential tornadoes. An hour from then, it'll be kind of you know, more up here. So please know that uh, the Atlanta Metro... A new tornado needs to be uh, watching out uh, for the potential for uh, tornadoes as we go uh, later through today. We got a new tornado warning for DeKalb and Jackson County, Alabama. That's going to be up here, up way up in northeastern Alabama. Speaking of Chattanooga, this is very close to Chattanooga. Brand new tornado warning up here. Let's check it out. Let's get a up close and personal look at this storm that's promoting our tornado warning up here. And I really hope that we can get a refresh on that system. Have we heard from Tech Guy Ryan yet? Nothing. Okay. So I'm I'm really sorry about uh, <laughs> every time there's a tornado warning, it's going to be real laggy like that until we can get somebody to refresh it. But uh, uh, it's all right. Uh, we know where it is, and this is the the information. Uh, Green County. I'm sorry, DeKalb County and Jackson County, Alabama. You are under a uh, tornado warning. Radar indicated, uh, and that's going to be for this area of rotation uh, down here. Okay, so we got it uh, up here near uh, Stevenson, and um, that's going to eventually impact areas uh, near Sulphur Springs and Eliza in Alabama. So take shelter now, and if you're in anywhere in the county, in DeKalb or Jackson counties in Alabama, uh, you've got a tornado warning for you there. All right, that's the, the rotation. This is the direction that it's going. Eider, Shiloh, all these places in Alabama need to be thinking about getting to their safe spots as well. 
not just thinking about it, but like actually doing it. Back to Utah, Alabama. Holy smokes, y'all. I mean, that is something. That is definitely something. At some point, we probably should switch to KBMX. Uh, I'm just I'm trying to see if that's going to give me a better picture of this. Weirdly, it isn't yet. Actually, yeah, it is. All right, we're going to stick over here. Anyways, uh, this is where our tornado is. All right, um, it, we're just going to assume it's on the ground right now, uh, and it's coming right towards Cypress and Moundville. Cypress and Moundville in Alabama, uh, please take shelter now. This is a, an extremely uh, dangerous storm, um, and I do believe that there's a tornado down. If not, like, right now, then, like, in the very near future. We also are watching very closely uh, another storm back here in southeastern Mississippi near Laurel, to the north and east of Laurel. Uh, we've got a, a broadly rotating thunderstorm uh, near Yucutta, Ik, Ik, moving up to Shibuta, and then towards Matherville and uh, Evansboro. All right, this is in Mississippi. It's rotating uh, pretty good, uh, but uh, no warning just yet. Just watch out for that one, because these storms are capable of uh, g producing the kind of rotation that it would take. Uh, to uh, eventually cause tornadoes. So that, that's going to be another dangerous situation working into Alabama here over the next little bit. Back to Utah. Still very, very dangerous, very bad looking storm here. I'm just trying to figure out which site is the best to look at it. I want to stick here for now. Let's just stick. Uh, if we're in Moundville, we're taking shelter. Got damage uh, coming in. Uh, Hunter, thank you so much for sending this to me uh, on Twitter. This is from Hunter Hamilton. It says, uh, County Road 105 in Haleyville, Alabama. Look at this. Pretty significant tree damage there uh, in Haleyville. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, Blake Devlin uh, says, This is looking towards the recently tornado-warned storm in Alabama. Wow, look at that. Okay, so he's in Georgia looking at that storm south of uh, Chattanooga looking west. Look at that. That's very cool. Thank you, Blake, for sending that in. Remember, guys, if you want to send in pictures and videos and you, and you can do so safely, send them to me on Twitter, at uh, Ryan Hall Y'all. That's going to be the best way to go about that. Uh, let's see here. And it, it is snowing in Missouri. And, and if you live in Missouri, keep sending me those snow pics because we will get to that. We will get to that, I promise. But now I'm kind of focused on the severe weather situation. Uh, lots of damage reports and, and pictures and videos coming in from like all over. All over the place. Now, okay. There, okay, gosh, we've got to get that fixed. I don't know where Ryan is. We've got a tornado uh, warning confirmed now uh, for this storm that we've been looking at. So I'm going to ring the alarm here. Uh, the National Weather Service has issued a radar confirmed uh, tornado warning for Greene County, Hale County, and Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa County, Alabama. And that's for this. Holy smokes. Look at that. That is, uh, if I've ever seen one, uh, that's a tornado on radar right there north and west of Akron, uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay down, and it's going to move up towards south of Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. It's going to ride the interstate, Interstate 59 here. The storm's going to ride the interstate up through Moundville and then eventually up towards Duncanville. All right, so this is an extremely dangerous situation. Uh, please take shelter now. Uh, let me get on this radar here. Wow, yeah. Tornado on the ground. So right now, it's very close to Stewart and Akron. Okay, that's where the tornado is. It's going to come up this way. It's going to come up towards Guinea and Moundville. I'm hoping right now that it goes to the south of Moundville, but you're in the polygon. Okay, so we've got to get to shelter. There's a very good chance that this could come right through the town of Moundville, Alabama here, uh, which is uh, pretty unfortunate because Moundville is not necessarily a, a, you know, a, a tiny town. It's not a huge town. 
Okay. Uh, but there's, there's people out here. All right. And we want to make sure that uh, we're getting every single one of them uh, to shelter uh, as this uh, dangerous storm continues to barrel down on us. Let me pull up the mesoscale. Moundville, Alabama. Moundville. Okay. So right now, Let me let me orient myself here. Make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Gotcha. All right. So right now the tornado is on the ground, very close to Wester um, Westervelt Lumber. Okay. So everybody that lives in this area, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know where this is. Tornado on the ground near Westervelt Lumber. It's right next to the Taylor Chapel Church there. All right. And this is going to continue and, and it's going to be on the ground as it moves off to the north and east. All right. It's going to continue to be on the ground as it moves off to the north and east. It's going to parallel the Black Warrior River here. And then, um, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to come up very close to Moundville, uh, if not into Moundville, then just to the south. Okay, uh, and it's going to uh, cross there near Warrior Homes uh, Wholesale Incorporated, the, the Moundville Ball Park. All right, you guys got to get to shelter if you're in this area. Lots of little houses here. Okay, we've also got the Moundville Airport. If you're at the Moundville Airport right now, you can see this tornado more than likely. Hopefully, uh, you're not looking for it, uh, but that's kind of like where this is. Uh, and then uh, it's going to come uh, up into the uh, the southern side of Moundville across Highway 69 within the next 5, 10 minutes or so. Beyond that, if it continues to be a problem and, and we continue to see this massive uh, rotation signature here, uh, we've got to worry about it coming through uh, Duncanville after that. Dang. Wow, look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a big one. Once again, this is a TDS, Tornado Debris Signature. Uh, this thing is ripping up debris and putting it thousands of feet into the air. Uh, and we can see that on our radar here. Ho hopefully, hopefully we've got uh, people paying attention and getting to shelter out here. Once again, if anybody knows anybody that lives in any of the affected areas, please just call them, text them, let them know what's going on. Uh, we have a very uh, unfortunate situation unfolding here. Um, uh, as uh, we're seeing a, a, a potential tornado down. I think, I think I've got a picture of it. Can somebody verify this for me? Can somebody verify this for me? I'm putting it in stream text. Uh, I'm going to leave that up and I, I will show that if it's real. I don't want to show it if, if it's not, but yeah, we've got a tornado down here. If you're just now tuning in, we got a big tornado down uh, near Akron, Alabama. It's moving off to the North and East. And it's ripping up debris. Lots of damage being reported. Lots of power outages being reported. So something's happening out there. You're not going to want to be in your living room for this one. You're going to want to take shelter right now. In Moundville. It's hard to... And by the way, please do not... Please, if you're in Moundville, don't be sending me pictures and videos. Uh, get to shelter. Only do that if you can do so safely. But I am monitoring Twitter here just to see if there's any uh, kind of like breaking news about what's going on here. My goodness, look at that. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, we got Greene County, Hale County, and Tuscaloosa counties in Alabama under a confirmed tornado warning. There is a large tornado likely on the ground right now, um, and, and I, I'm pretty sure I've got a picture of it here. I, I just want to show you this for reference, okay? Um, uh, this could Sometimes people try to dupe me <laughs> and send me pictures of old tornadoes that I show on stream. I don't care if that's happening right now or not. Uh, let's just assume that this is what the tornado looks like. That's a big, nasty one, and it's uh, near Akron right now, moving up towards um, uh, Moundville, okay? Uh, we'll get a 100% verification on that here in a minute, but uh, yes. Okay, so this is real. This is actually just taken moments ago uh, of a tornado on the ground near Akron, Alabama, um, and that is um, 
Uh, that is something that uh, we're unfortunately dealing with still here as it moves towards Guinea. Guinea and Moundville. Big tornado uh, right now. So uh, th- it's important that we show that uh, so that um, it acts as, uh, you know, w- once again, these colors don't mean anything to, to some people. All right. Uh, but uh, if I can show you a picture of it or a video of it, uh, that will uh, hopefully act as another stimulus to get you to, to get into your safe spot. That is a big, dangerous, nasty Alabama tornado. Uh, and it's uh, unfortunately not letting up. It's still on the ground here near Stewart. That's where it is. Next up, we've got Guinea and Powers, all right? And unfortunately, I, I do think that at least the southern side of Moundville is going to be in the direct uh, you know, line of fire here as this thing uh, continues to move off to the east. So hopefully everybody in Moundville is taking a shelter right now. Currently, uh, this uh, tornado is on the ground, once again, north of the Powers Chapel CME Church. It's going over Power Loop Road right now, near, near the Colonial Pipeline, uh, and it'll cross through... The, the the Moundville area, more than likely near the Moundville ballpark on the southern side of town. So uh, we've got Andy wanting to talk to us. Go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, as I usually say, I, I've done this quite often, and but I'll point out the storm just to the south and west of our current uh, confirmed tornado warning A down there. A new tornado uh, warning in Sumter has been County issued. For Livingston, Alabama. Uh, you, look, you can see that there's some pretty tight... Um, outbound winds there on one side of this rotation and it will enter the same environment that our current tornado producer is uh, moving through so i expect given this environment is producing a tornado right now near moundville alabama that this one down here near livingston which is only severe thunderstorm warned at the moment is one to watch so i want to pay close attention to that one as well as the one near shibuta mississippi okay thank you very much and i believe they actually just um, uh, did issue uh, a warning for that. Um, so there you go. Now we're now we've got two storms uh, right here in the same area uh, that we're keeping a, a very close eye on. Uh, and that um, uh, that newest one is going to be for Hail County a- into. Um, okay, actually, it's going to be for Green Hail, Marengo, and Sumter counties in Alabama. All right. So uh, that is going to continue to uh, move off to the north and east. And then, of course, we continue to see the tornado warning uh, for Hale and Tuscaloosa County. That one's the one that's radar confirmed. We can take uh, Andy uh, down there. Uh, we are going to uh, watch both of these. And, and like Andy said, this is likely going to develop into something that we have to really uh, zone in on. Uh, as it enters the same environment as this storm's been in. Uh, but we need to make sure we're, we're paying uh, pretty equal attention uh, to both of them right now as this is still a big problem still seeing a uh, uh, tds a tornado debris signature here as this storm moves into cypress alabama uh, takes shelter now the rotation looks just slightly less um, impressive but man i'm telling you the whole storm overall continues to look very impressive and it's likely going to be one of those situations where it um, uh, recycles right we're going to see it ramp up we're going to see it ramp down uh, hopefully if you're in the path of this thing, it's in a ramping down phase whenever it crosses your house. But let's say that it's not, and it puts down a new tornado right when it gets to your neighborhood, you're going to wish you were in your safe spot. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that because I know for a fact that there are people in Alabama that are saying, you know, hey, I've, done, I've been through this before. I ain't going to worry about it. Please worry about this one. New tornado warning down here for the storm that Andy was talking about. Great call out from Andy, by the way, uh, giving us an early heads up on this storm that just got a tornado warning on it that includes Demopolis, Forkland, and Greensboro. Okay, so we got two polygons here, two very important polygons here in Alabama that we've got to pay attention to as we go forward. These are extremely dangerous storms, um, and that southern one near Livingston I don't believe is uh, producing a tornado right now, or at least it's not confirmed by the National Weather Service, but it will be soon. All right. That's the way we have to look at this. And we uh, we need to be uh, getting uh, not just walking and lollygagging around. We need to kind of jog to our safe spot. If we're in Hall Creek, Woodford, Demopolis, Forkland, uh, Case Moore, uh, and Greensboro or New Bern in Alabama. Two tornado warnings now, a very dangerous, life-threatening situation unfolding here in Alabama on this January 12th. Absolutely nuts. Um, And of course, uh, later throughout the day, we are going to shift our focus uh, more towards the east. These storms that we're dealing with right now will eventually go into Georgia. 
All right. Atlanta, Georgia is under the gun today for potential tornadoes. Uh, so if we know anybody downstream that is um, not usually paying attention to the weather, please share uh, this information to them. OK, because we're going to be with this all day as these storms continue to move off to the east. It's 1117 a.m. on the east coast, 1017 a.m. out here where these storms are. And uh, even though I'm kind of focusing on uh, these areas, we're going to be zooming out quite a bit and looking at everybody else. And we're also going to be taking to Twitter where you guys are doing a great job keeping us updated on what's going on out there. Hunter sent me this. This is at uh, Marion County Road 94 and Old Highway 78 Double Springs. This is in Alabama. Some pretty significant damage there. You can see that uh, trees are pretty much getting snapped in half. We've got some sort of building here that's been destroyed. Uh, this is the kind of damage that we're seeing so far. Uh, and unfortunately, I believe we're going to see even more significant damage than that. Um, as we continue to see stuff come in from this uh, uh, tornado that just went through or to the north of uh, Utah and then through uh, Akron. I really hope that that storm continues to weaken um, and we don't see anything uh, as this comes into the, uh, you know, the extreme southeastern side of the suburbs of Tuscaloosa. But that rotation is still very strong right now. So we have to expect the worst and we have to be in our safe spots uh, at Ryan Hall. Y'all. That's my Twitter handle. If you see anything that is of um, concern, all right, uh, if you've got pictures, videos you want to share with me, even if it's something that, you know, is just newsworthy that somebody else is posting, tag me in it. If it's novel, if the National Weather Service hasn't seen it yet, maybe tag your local National Weather Service as well, especially if it's involved in the severe weather situation. Uh, but uh, you guys helping me find new stuff to, to show here, it just really helps uh, tell the, uh, the weather story. So that's what we're going to be doing, and that's why we utilize Twitter here. Uh, it looks like some damage uh, to houses in Harrodsburg, Kentucky this morning as well. Look at this. By the way, yeah, Kentucky is also uh, involved uh, in this situation, big time damage up there for, from some earlier storms. We are going to see new storms move through Kentucky through the rest of the day. So we're not done in Kentucky yet. Uh, but for the most part in Harrodsburg, especially, uh, the, we're kind of um, past the worst of it, at least. Uh, we do have a new tornado watch. I want to show you guys this. This is just one of the many tornado watches that are in effect right now. A couple of tornadoes are possible in Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida. Add another state to the daggone list. Uh, Monroeville, Alabama, Montgomery, uh, Demopolis, all under a tornado watch here. 1.7 million people could see a couple tornadoes and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retweet that, all right? And hopefully what you guys are going to do is you're going to go uh, to Twitter, and you can either go straight to NWS Tornado, uh, or if you already have me on there, uh, you can go to my Twitter at the top here. You're going to retweet. Retweet. We need to get all 1.7 million of those people under that tornado watch uh, aware of what's going on today. All right, because this is uh, um, kind of a surprise, kind of a surprise how how big of a deal uh, this is. Now, we did talk about this yesterday. We talked about the possibility of tornadoes, um, uh, but I'm just going to be honest with you. This is definitely overperforming uh, a little bit, I would say. The tornadoes are going to be grungy today. The one that's moving through um, or near Moundville right now, if it's still on the ground, which I think, thank goodness, I think it's lifted, but it's probably going to come back at some point. But the, this tornado that we've been tracking here, you probably couldn't see it unless you were too close to it. We got that one picture of it near Akron. Uh, but the thing is, is this, this is rain wrapped. When I say that a tornado is grungy, it's not one of those tornadoes where it's like high contrast and like, oh, I can tell that's a tornado from 17 miles away. Kind of like in the, in the thumbnail for this video, you see the, the very traditional looking uh, tornado. That's not what these tornadoes are looking like today. You can't see them. So we don't want people out there looking for them. All right. That's, uh, that's the number one thing to remember here. People get surprised all the time in situations like this. It's like, oh, it's just a regular storm, but shielded in the rain, there is um, a big tornado hiding in there. Two overturned tractor trailers um, on Highway 20 in and around Decatur. So that's gonna, uh, these storms are crossing over so many highways and interstates today. That's going to be a big problem all day long. Um, we got Andy. Go ahead, Andy. 
Yeah, and speaking of uh, passing over pop those uh, populated areas and roadways, Ryan, I do want to uh, talk to all of our viewers who are in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, as the uh, main line of the heaviest winds and rain will be on your doorstep in just a few minutes uh, coming from the west into Chattanooga proper. So there is a potential for a brief, very uh, narrow or um, very small spin up tornadoes as this line does enter Chattanooga, but for the most part, everyone there will probably see uh, just some powerful gusty winds and um and uh, some heavy rain for a for a few minutes here also some lightning and thunder don't want to discount that it always should be inside if you can be uh, because this has prompted a tornado warning uh, recently in the northeast corner of alabama and uh, chattanooga is just neighboring that area so i want everyone in Chatt chattanooga to be at their peak of weather awareness for the next 20 30 minutes all right. Thank you very much, meteorologist Andy Hill. Um, we are going to keep updated with him as we go forward. Uh, and in Chattanooga, you're, you're probably already seeing some of that rain come through, uh, but we are going to see that um, increase uh, as time uh, goes on. All right. So, uh, and, and then also we do have that uh, tornado warning just to your south and west. We're going to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, got a new storm chaser on the roster here. We've got Ryan Carty in um uh tuscaloosa alabama and oh boy i'm gonna go back to the radar here sorry my camera's screwing up but um we're gonna keep up with him uh, and that we also still have brad arnold out there uh giving us a uh a look at what's going on as well so uh give me just a second here i'm gonna try to fix some of the uh the weird things that are happening here with my my programs and we'll get right back into it. I'm so sorry for the flashing, by the way. I don't know how to stop it from doing that. All right. So if you've been watching uh, for a while, you know that every once in a while my camera dies. That's what just happened. But I got a backup camera now. All right. So <laughs> it's a little bit less quality, but who cares? That You're not here to see my face anyways. You're here uh, to see uh, the information on these tornado warnings, which is what uh, you can see here through this uh, view. I, I really think that the tornado has, for the most part, lifted. Uh, the one that we were really concerned about back here towards Akron, moving through Moundville, the storm is past Moundville now. The, the, the tornado is not on the ground as of right now, but I'm telling you, it could get back on the ground in a very quick manner. All right. Uh, Duncanville is still in the line of fire here for a potential tornado. So stay in your safe spot. Stay in your safe spot. Uh, um, so here's Mississippi Emergency Management. Um, uh, some footage from, where is this from? Possible tornado came through where? Monroe County, I see. Okay, so from Monroe County EMA, a lot of damage after a uh, possible tornado came through. No injuries have been reported. Man, that's definitely the probably the most significant damage that we've seen so far from this. That definitely looks like tornado damage, and that was from the uh, uh, the, the storm as that we're watching now in in Alabama. Um, uh, and it went through Mississippi earlier, so thank you guys for tagging me in this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the you know, I, I probably never in a million years would have seen this if it wasn't for Ashley there uh, tagging me in it, and um, also tagged the National Weather Service. So that's great. All right, uh, new tornado warning for Bibb County and Tuscaloosa County in Alabama. Um, and we're going to kind of take a look at uh, that now, if we can. We're going to move our radar down here. And once again, these are our main tornado uh, warning areas. We've got three total warnings. They are all in Alabama right now. They are all in Alabama right now. Uh, I do expect that will change in the not so distant future. Winston County, Alabama. That gone. Yeah, that's one Yeah, that's definitely tornado damage. Uh no injuries in Winston County either, uh but uh, different some several damaged properties. That's what we're looking at there. Jeez. 
There's even some slight damage in Huntsville, Alabama. This looks like maybe some more uh, like uh, wind related damage. So that's important. It's really important to keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, we're, we're talking about tornado warnings today. We've got a lot of tornado uh, warnings happening. Uh, lots of tornadoes are probably going to continue to happen throughout the day, but this entire line is going to have damaging winds with it. Uh, so go ahead, um, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, for that recent uh, tornado warning, the one that was just issued for Bibb County, uh, that includes West Blockton uh, and Duncanville down the line. I that, that warning is not a confirmed tornado warning. However, I do see a debris signature as of the latest scan. So I do expect that uh, warning to be upgraded to confirmed once again if this continues. It, uh, it does look like it will, though. Okay. All right. Thank you, meteorologist Andy Hill. Uh, bringing our attention back to our um, uh, our system over here that is uh, prompting our new tornado warning that does include West Blockton, Vernon Town, Eoline, Engate, Shaw Town, and all these places in Alabama. It looks like that uh, this storm that it's produced a tornado. It's produced several tornadoes. They've lifted, and then new ones have formed. Another tornado has formed here south and east of Moundville, and there it is. You can see it plain as day uh, on the uh, tornado debris signature here. So now we're really concerned about Phipps and Pearson in the near future. And in the long term, uh, we're, we're a little bit more concerned about uh, Little Hope, Stewart Settlement, Vernon Town, West Blockton, Primitive Ridge, uh, and then, of course, uh, Kohlenor, uh in Alabama. Take shelter now. It looks like another tornado is going to try to ramp up here uh, as this storm continues to move off to the north and east. There's your rotation, uh, and there is your uh, tornado debris signature. We'll see. We'll, we may see uh, the National Weather Service upgrade that warning right here in the near future and i what i've got to do is i've really got to um try to fix this um uh this system see if we can't uh, get a better connection here so that when it does come through uh, we can get it fixed up all right just a second okay all right so there's that uh, latest scan continues to show what looks to me like an increasing uh, debris signature. Um, and this is just really close to Duncanville. And, and, and we do have a storm chaser uh, in uh, Duncanville. This is uh, Ryan Carty. Uh, he works with um, uh, Live Storms Media and he's sending us this picture right now. So honestly, if, if there is going to be a tornado here that crosses Highway 82 between Duncanville and um, uh, Little Hope, in the near future, like we'll, we'll probably see it here, uh, through Ryan's feed. Okay. So we, we, we try our best to work with, uh, uh, storm chasers to help us not only, um, see the tornado, but just kind of explain a little bit more about like what's going on with it, where exactly is it, uh, and how I intense is it? So I, I can only tell you so much through these little colors here, uh, but thankfully we've got some chasers helping us out, uh, illustrate the situation, in a real life fashion. Three tornado warnings at 11:30 a.m. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's nuts. I know. Um it is only 11:30 a.m. We're going to be live today well into the PMs uh, as these storms um continue to move off to the east. Remember Atlanta, Georgia is under the gun today for potential severe weather. Uh, so hopefully everybody out there is is ready and, and awaiting these storms because they are going to come for you uh, next in Georgia, uh, portions of East Tennessee, and uh, all those places. So uh, another look at that tornado uh, from earlier today near uh, Lawrence County. There's damage. This is likely what we're going to deal with again here um, for this storm that's moving towards West Blockton. All right, so that's a big tornado. That's a nasty one. I don't care that it's January 12th, stuff like that. This is April kind of stuff, all right? It can still happen in, in, in Alabama, especially in January. So uh, unfortunately, this is something that we're going to have to deal with uh, as this storm gets closer to Pearson, all right? 
Right now, it's 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 in a pretty rural area where the tornado is, um, but there's still some houses intermittently here between Phipps and Duncanville. The, the tornado, if it stays on the path that it's on right now, is going to cross Highway 82 right near Pearson. And the closer you get to Pearson, the more uh, residential area areas there are. New there information. This tornado warning. So now they have flipped the switch. They have flipped the switch. <laughs> and I'm sorry about the lag. <laughs> but we do have a confirmed tornado on the ground. Once again, we've been talking about this, but now the National Weather Service agrees with us. A tornado is on the ground, probably a big nasty one, uh, just south of Duncanville, moving up towards Pearson in um, uh, Alabama. So take shelter now. If, it, if us talking about it wasn't enough, the National Weather Service should be the final stimuli to get you into your safe spot. And boy, Jay, <laughs> I tell you what, Jay and these guys are <laughs> very weather prepared. I, I, can you guys even see that? Hold on, let me. Now that is somebody who is weather prepared if I've ever seen it. What in the world is going on here? Is this some sort of, uh, this must be some sort of studio. Thank you guys for tuning in, um, and uh, we will make sure that you guys get all the information, and, and that should be absolutely no problem for you. That's more screens than we have here in the weather house, so that is probably one of the most impressive uh, things I've seen today. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, hopefully we got a lot of people watching, even if it's just with one screen uh, out in front of the storm here, because we're going to be able to, uh, I, I think we're going to be able to show it to you. Oh, uh, Ryan Carty is very close uh, to where this storm is near Duncanville. All right, so I, I, I'm going to try to pull up a map here. Okay, thank goodness. All right. Tell, <laughs> tell him I, I'm sorry for the last minute thing. Like, we, we didn't know we were going to do this. Usually, we can give him a little bit of a heads up. Okay, so the storm chaser, you see our, um, um, his indicator above my head there. This is a live look right now from Ryan Carty, who works with Live Storms Media. Um, and he's on the road there heading towards uh, Brent and Centerville, okay, uh, in, in Alabama, I believe. Yeah, so he's, he's close to this. So um, we're, we're going to keep an eye on him, uh, but uh, I don't think he's close enough to see it right now. All right. He will be getting there. Uh, but right now we've just got, we've got to go by this. All right. And that's Brad Arnold. Uh, if we can uh, pull him up too. Uh, yeah, Brad, go ahead. That was Brad, right? Hey Ryan, this is Brad. You copy? Hey, we are working our way through Birmingham right now. We're about to we're about to clear the line here and then be able to drop down south uh, towards the Columbiana area where that's where that confirmed tornado is going to be at. Uh, just wanted to let you know there's no thunderstorm warning on this storm that's coming through the city of Birmingham, but we just experienced extremely extremely strong damaging wind on I-65 on actually the back side of the thunderstorm, which was kind of bizarre. Uh, but no thunderstorm warning for it, but I would definitely take it seriously if you're in the Birmingham area. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Brad Arnold. So now we've got Brad Arnold also on this storm, um, and he's going to be getting there. Uh, hopefully, uh, if this continues in, in the pattern that it's been going, this will continue to produce tornadoes through West Blockton, maybe even all the way up there towards Alabaster uh, and uh like Longview in Alabama. And by the time it gets there, Brad Arnold, he's up here right now near Birmingham. By the time he gets there, this should, yeah, he should intercept it right around there. So um, once again, we have multiple storm chasers on this. If, if, if anybody's going to see it, uh, it, 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 you know, it's going to be saw uh, right here. So hopefully the thing lifts and we don't have to see it, but um, we're going to try to relay this information to you. Uh, in the most efficient way possible because this is a life-threatening, damaging situation here that's happening to the south and east of Duncanville. And um, uh, that's going to continue to move towards Pearson. Look at this. This is a big tornado. This is one of the biggest signatures we've seen so far today 
of um, a tornado and, and it's moving towards Pearson right now. Uh, so take shelter now. Down Downstream, uh, this is going to affect Stewart Settlement, Vernon Town, and Little Hope. Stewart Settlement, Vernon, Vernon Town, and Little Hope. Uh, take shelter immediately. Um, Hen the Hengar PD in DeKalb County, Alabama, reported that there was a funnel cloud. Uh, I believe this was about 13 minutes ago uh, that, that dipped down and then went back up five minutes ago. Uh, please take these storms seriously this morning. So that's for the storms up there closer to Chattanooga. So even those storms are packing a punch today uh, as we um, uh, continue to see the, this unfold across Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama, uh, and even up into um, uh, you know Tennessee and, and Kentucky. We've saw damage from even up there. All right, more damage. This is Jasper, Alabama. Check this out. That's pretty significant damage in Jasper, Alabama. I'm retweeting these, by the way. You guys want to see them. Keep tagging me and stuff like that. I really, really appreciate it. And remember, only do it yourself. Only send pictures and videos yourself if you can do so safely. Very important. Uh, we got uh, here's the wind picking up in Polk County, Georgia, sent in from uh, TB. Thank you so much for that. Definitely doesn't feel like January 12th out there, does it? If you're just now tuning in, this blue dot, this blue dot right here is currently live right now. This is a tornado that's on the ground. OK, uh, and it's uh, lifting up debris. Uh, it's causing all kinds of problems here as it approaches Hagler, Alabama. Uh, this is going to be there in Hagler and Pearson, Alabama, within the next couple of minutes. All right. So you don't have much time if you're just now tuning in and you're like, what's going on? I heard I'm under a tornado warning. My aunt shared this live stream with me. I, what, what's happening? What's happening is you've got to run, not walk. To shelter because this is um, I don't have a lot of time to explain it to you. You just got to trust me. This is a sign that there is a big, nasty, violent tornado uh, down here near Highway 82, and it's moving towards Pearson right now. Um, I, I am going to try to pull up a little bit more information on the um, uh, on the mesoscale side. Currently, this tornado is on the ground, uh, very close to. Um, the Shiloh Methodist Church. Right now, this tornado is crossing over Highway 82 near uh, Limonland, USA, Town and Country Homes, Liberty Baptist Church, and Big and Bella's Mobile Pet Grooming. All right. It's going to continue. The tornado is going to continue to move past there and go just to the north of Linco Trucking and then eventually towards Ada Chapel. Then, of course, it, we're going to see this come towards uh, Stewart Settlement and then eventually towards West Blockton, unfortunately. Hopefully, this goes through another cycle where it lifts before it gets to West Blockton, but we can't count on that. We cannot count on that happening. We have to assume uh, that uh, that's not going to happen uh, and it's going to stay on the ground. So everybody needs to be in their safe spots down here. Currently have three tornado warnings. We've got a confirmed tornado on the ground in Bibb and Tuscaloosa counties and Hale counties. And then we've got a uh, radar indicated tornado warning for Greene County and Sumter County, Alabama. All right, so this, this one down here is the one that's radar indicated. And boy, it looks nasty. Holy smokes. This one's probably going to produce a tornado. If it isn't already, this one's probably going to produce a tornado here near Greensboro, Alabama. It, this is nuts, guys. This is... Way overperforming what I thought it would. Uh, so th these are dangerous storms. We've got another one down here near Needham in Alabama. This is going to come up into uh, the Sweetwater area. I mean, just look at this. This You can tell this one's raring up. That is a curved bean, if I've ever seen it. And you can just clearly see the inflow coming into the storm. This is a healthy supercell storm. If this doesn't produce a tornado, something's wrong. So hopefully everybody in Greensboro, Alabama is quickly getting to their safe spot right now. Here's eyes on the storm that's moving into um, Pearson right now. This is the one that's got a, there is a big tornado somewhere 
shielded behind the trees there or behind the rain or something. There's a tornado right in front of Storm Chaser Ryan Carty here uh, near Duncanville, Alabama. Uh, remember, a large tornado on the ground near Pearson. It's going to come up towards Stewart Settlement and Hagler. You got to get to shelter now. You got to go. No time to think about it. No time to debate. It's got to happen uh, yesterday. Well, it's got to happen five minutes ago. If it, have, it hasn't happened already, you got to run, not walk to get there. My goodness. My goodness. That is nasty. Once again, if you're new here, if you don't know what we're looking at, just that, that blue blob on your screen indicates that there is something that is putting stuff in the sky that shouldn't be there. What should be there? Water vapor, right? Clouds, rain, maybe some hail. This is telling us that something way bigger than any hailstone is floating around in the sky right now. And like lots of it, like a, like a, a, a two square mile radius here of just floating debris in the air. That's what this uh, imagery is telling us. Now, how did it get there? Well, who knows, right? But more than likely, because of uh, the uh, correlation with the uh, velocity couplet here, uh, that shows us that there's rotation in this storm, and the reflectivity that shows us that there is a, an intense storm, uh, it's more than likely a big tornado that's putting that stuff there. So um, that's going to be coming right towards you uh, near West Blockton uh, in uh, Alabama. You got to get to shelter now. You've only got a, I'm, I'm talking about a couple minutes. You've only got a couple minutes if you're in Stewart Settlement, Vernon Town, or Belchers. So you got to get there now. Still no PDS. Yeah, the, uh, from, from what I know, the Weather Service hasn't turned this uh, to a PDS warning yet. If it continues to look like this, they likely will before it gets to West Blockton. We need to not worry too much about that and take shelter anyways. Once again, big storms are also moving into Chattanooga right now. Getting dark. Uh, no tornado associated with this one, but definitely some strong winds getting ready to come through Chattanooga. Uh, big time storm just went through Birmingham, Alabama. This is from Nicole. Thanks for sending this in. Uh, we talked to storm chaser Brad Arnold, who is coming through uh, Birmingham to try to intercept this tornado uh, near West Blockton. Uh, he, he said that there was very damaging winds that went through Birmingham just moments ago. So that even that part of the line, even though there's no tornado associated with it right now, even that part of the line um, is dangerous. All right. We're going to see down trees, down power lines and all this stuff. All the way up and down Alabama. It doesn't matter if you're under a tornado warning or not. This is a dangerous storm system moving through. And we all need to um, take heed of the warnings here. This, so this thing, this tornado has um, kind of ramped up and down all day. Okay, uh, and, and, and there's going to be sections of time where this lifts and it comes back down, it lifts and it comes back down. I'm hoping that it's in a, in a, a, a lifting stage right now, but I think that it's still on the ground. And look at this, guys. Brenna, this is from Brenna on Twitter. Uh, my goodness, look at this. This is from Utah, Alabama. A pretty significant damage there. In Utah, Alabama, this is in somebody's home. They're uh, recording this video. They sent it into James Spann there. So there you go. That that same storm that caused this is moving through Pearson right now, and uh, it's coming into Stewart Settlement um, and um, West Blockton. So that that's that that just happened recently, y'all. And the the velocity couplet on this is is, is so tiny uh, that it, it it adds to the uh, the fact that we're likely not going to see a big giant wedge tornado here. It's going to be shielded in rain, and it could it probably has like a uh, what we call a drill bit, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, a bottom to it. So it it's, makes it even harder to see. So we don't want people out looking for it. We just want you in your safe spots.
A significant intense tornado is still ongoing near Pearson, Little Hope, and Stewart Settlement, Alabama. Uh, the tornado is it, crossing US 82 in Tuscaloosa County. And it is um, it's producing a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of reports coming in of significant damage here uh, in, in this part of the world. Uh, so we'll obviously start relaying some of that here soon. But I, I just want to stick to uh, the warnings because I know there's a lot of new people tuning in. Hopefully we got everybody sharing this and, and we're getting our the word out here. Uh, if you're just now filtering in, if you're just now coming in, let me break this down for you from the top. We have a large, dangerous, damaging tornado here um, uh, moving uh, into the Stewart Settlement area. It just went past Pearson. Okay, now it's moving into Stewart Settlement, Vernon Town, Belchers, Shalton, and then eventually it's going to get up there towards West Blockton. If you are in uh, West Blockton or any of these places, uh, specifically uh, Bibb County, Alabama, you have to get to shelter now. This is causing very bad damage to well-built homes uh, out here as this tornado had just crossed Highway 82, and now it's going to continue to move up towards uh, Vernon Town and West Blockton. So uh, get to uh, shelter now. I'm going to give you a little bit more mesoscale information about where exactly I think this is, too. Uh, the tornado is currently on the ground near Boyd Cemetery. All right. Thankfully, it's in a pretty rural area right now. Um, but very soon, within the next couple of minutes, it'll be getting up there close to Little Creek. All right. So this is a pretty um, populated residential area. Um Setry uh, Boyd Road, Cedar Grove Cemetery, uh, all the way up here towards Cedar Creek Road. Uh, these are where uh, the, uh, the 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 biggest parts of of this uh, potent, the, the tornado is going to go here in the next little bit. It's going to ride um, uh, Scottsville Road all the way up uh, into the uh, West Blockton area. Okay, so hopefully everybody in West Blockton is prepared for that and is ready to. Uh, brace for impact here as this thing is likely still on the ground. But even if it is lifted, remember, this thing has lifted and dropped and lifted and dropped a bunch of times. It could drop again, even though it does look like it probably has uh, lifted there on those most recent scans. But boy, that was a big tornado right there. So ho I, I'm hoping to goodness that this, this thing is not still on the ground, but all we can do is assume that it is, and we're going to stay in our safe spots in West Blockton. But thankfully, the rotation has let up, and the correlation coefficient, the debris ball, is, is letting down. So what we're seeing here might just be literally just debris, leftover debris that was picked up near Duncanville, and it's getting ready to rain down on West Blockton, hopefully not associated with a new tornado. But if this thing follows the pattern that it has been, it, it probably is going to produce a new tornado at some point. Uh, down here, we got another big nasty storm trying to produce a tornado uh, south and west of Greensboro, uh, Alabama. That one's going to be really important that we watch that. Uh, and then we got another one down here near uh, Gilbert Town and Butler uh, that we're watching as well. These storms in southern Alabama are packing a punch. And they're not even really in the center of where we think the, the biggest uh, problems are going to be today for tornadoes. Like the these storms are going to get worse. It's just noon. It's almost noon on the East Coast. It's uh, uh what what about eleven out here. By the time we get to one two p.m. today, this warm sector is going to become even more destabilized. We're going to see even more unsettled weather out here and even more nadir juice uh, for these storms to take advantage of. So um, I, I'm honestly I'm I'm concerned about the rest of today. If we're already seeing as significant of severe weather as what we're seeing right now, what does that mean uh, for when these storms get into Georgia later today? Um, uh, hopefully, things go downhill uh, as far as like the um, the amount of ju nadir juice that we have. <laughs> uh, but uh, unfortunately, I, I, my gut tells me things are only going to get worse. Looks like Stan Turner and the whole class is tuned in here. It is um, Thursday, right? Yeah, so a lot of people are at work, are at school right now. Um, it's almost lunchtime 
uh, it's I just really hope people are paying attention to the weather right now because this is this was not like people weren't talking about this yesterday uh, in the way that um, would normally get people interested enough to to like pay attention to the weather. So hopefully we're doing a good job of getting the word out there and spreading um, spreading the the word and all that stuff because things are probably only going to get worse as time goes on. Yeah, we got uh, Tornado Watch currently uh, for Birmingham all the way down to Mobile and Severe Thunderstorm Watch up in Kentucky. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, I want to talk more about uh, northwest Georgia here, specifically uh, near Dalton, Georgia and west. The uh, stronger line of storms is going to come through this area. And uh, when it hits, there there is a small probability of a... Um, a QLCS tornado or what we like to call a spin-up tornado is a very brief hard to see on radar uh, but it's just as important to note that we should be in this area in Ringgold, Dalton, Tunnel Hill, uh, Lafayette in uh, northwest Georgia we should be ready just in case that one house is the unlucky one that there's a quick spin up tornado that we can hardly even see on radar uh, we should know that um, being in your safe spots ahead of time is uh, probably the best thing that we could encourage here. So I want to uh, give a quick shout out to that. All right. Thank you so much, meteorologist Andy Hill, uh, for the update there. Yeah, we got a really strong line of storms moving through East Tennessee down into Northwest Georgia. And unlike the storm that we're tracking in Alabama, where we get these big blobs that show up and it's like, all right, that's where the tornado is. Obviously, that doesn't happen with these kind of storms up here. Uh, what we're seeing is, is, first of all, definitely a much less chance of seeing a tornado up here. But if there is a, a spin up tornado, a lot of times you don't even see it on radar until after it happens. So um, all of these, uh, you know, places that are in front of this uh, line of storms, just assume that we're going to have uh, very strong winds and isolated uh, spin up tornadoes uh, from time to time and, and, and take those warnings seriously. Uh, Andy, go ahead. Yeah, Brian, and uh, we are uh, uh, our graphics back end is de is down for a, a few minutes while Ryan updates that in the back end. We do have a new tornado warning for Marengo County, Alabama, uh, and also a new tornado warning for Perry County, Alabama. <laughs> uh, Perry County is going to be an extension of our middle tornado warning and impacting the Greensboro, Alabama area, and Marengo County is uh, not previously tornado warned, but that includes Sweetwater uh, down south of our current tornado warnings uh, that we were looking at. So there's two new tornado warnings for you. We're up to four now. All right. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, and guys, yeah, it'll be a little bit um, before our, our, whoa, our graphic system is back up. Actually, I think it might have just came back up. Yeah. Okay. We're good now. Um, but um, so we got a new tornado warning here for Marengo County, Alabama. Uh, we are up to four uh, total. <coughs> Sorry. I don't have my what I, I, I this happened so fast and out of nowhere. I don't even have my uh, my normal water. A new tornado here. warning has been issued. All right. Uh, so. Um, let's see here. Let's pull up the velocity on this. Uh, so first of all, the, the storm that was just producing the huge tornado moments ago near Pearson, that has dissipated. That tornado, for the most part right now, is gone. I do expect that we might have to deal with it um, coming back as it moves up towards Alabaster. And thank goodness we got a bunch of storm chasers out here on this storm. As soon as we see something, we'll let you know. But now I think that the focus is shifting to the south. Um, uh, we got this one that's coming in towards Greensboro that looks really nasty. Uh, and we've got uh, more storms uh, that are coming together down here in southern Alabama that will be moving towards Montgomery eventually. Uh, that is what we're looking at right now. And, and these storms are very intense. They are rotating. Uh, but right now, no sign of an actual uh, tornado on the ground uh, with any of those storms right now. But this one especially really worries me because of how well organized it looks. Um, and, and it's not even in that prime zone uh, for, uh, you know, tornadoes to form today. So ho hopefully things don't get worse, but it does look like uh, things uh, could uh, get worse because here's what some of the observed photographs looks like. 
This is from um, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. If you're new here, basically, y- you guys know what a weather balloon is, right? The National Weather Service usually a couple times a day releases a weather balloon into the air and that balloon has instruments on it and it sends back information about the wind speed and the direction and the humidity and the dew point and all that stuff at every level as you go up. One of the things that you look at whenever that data comes back from the weather balloon is this called a hodograph. Basically in very s- simple terms, this shows us how uh, the, the wind speed and direction pretty much as you go higher in the air. So this is like near the bottom whenever the the weather balloon first took off. This is somewhere near the middle of its journey, and this is way up in the top. What we're seeing is that it turns, right? So we see a curved hodograph. Uh, We see changing wind speed and and direction with height, and it's changing in such a way that would uh, promote tornado genesis. A lot of times when the storms pop up on radar, they will take the shape of the hodograph and, uh, you know, this shows us that we could see storms with hook echoes and big forward flank downdrafts, essentially. So that's what we're looking at here, a curved hodograph. Conditions are very favorable uh, for tornadoes uh, as we go throughout the rest of the day. That's coming from Birmingham. So that's right in front of the line here. The atmosphere, you know, the, the, the atmospheric conditions that promoted that uh, curved hodograph are going to move uh, with the line uh, out in front of it so that those, you know, cur- curved photographs are going to move up towards Atlanta as the system moves off towards the east. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Currently have three tornado warnings. No more confirmed tornadoes, okay? Uh, there is no tornado on the ground right now, but we do have radar-indicated warnings for Marengo County, Alabama, Perry County, Alabama, and Hale County, Alabama, and we still want you all to be in your safe spots right now because that could change. We could very quickly see um, uh, uh, another big one touch down within minutes, all right? So just get to shelter if you see your county down in in that ticker below. You don't have time to think about it. Uh, Got lots of uh, reports coming in now. Chris Patterson from Georgia is showing us uh, some really strong winds and and, and some heavy rain uh, from where he is. Thank you so much for sending that in. Remember, if you can do so safely, you can send in pictures and videos to me on Twitter, uh, at Ryan Hall, y'all on Twitter. I I really do appreciate all of the the information you guys are helping me find and that you are supplying. But remember, don't do that unless you can do so safely. Uh, Also, we've got the chat here. I'm sorry I've been uh, ignoring the chat. I'll try to uh, catch up with y'all. Um, remember I've got a lot of stuff going on here, so I can't always uh, pay attention to that, but I do appreciate everybody that's tuned in right now. Um, uh, Brandon, thanks for being a member for 13 months. Uh, I missed the discussion on Chattanooga. How are we looking and what should we expect from Holly and Rob? Hopefully Andy gave you a good update uh, on that whenever he came through, uh, right now though, in Chattanooga, uh, the first round of storms has, has already passed you. All right. So Hopefully it wasn't that bad. A lot of the stronger storms are currently to your south right now. All right. Uh, C. C. Stearns 1982 says, son, there's 30,000 people watching and only 8,000 likes. Hit that like button, peeps. That's a good point. All right. And it's not just because like likes are fun or anything like that. Um, it's because uh, hitting the like button is going to tell YouTube to um, uh, promote this live stream to more people. All right, we, we, we need way more than 30,000 people watching so that warning. when this happens, been upgraded. a lot of people know. We've got a confirmed tornado uh, on the ground in Hale County. It just got confirmed. It just got updated. We're going to ring the alarm again. Hale County, Alabama, uh, the National Weather Service has issued a confirmed tornado warning for you. All right, so let's let's dive in here. And I do believe... That's going to be this, uh, the storm near uh, Greensboro here, if I am not mistaken. Sorry, I, our other system is down that allows me to see all of the um, uh, information that I normally see. But that's Hill County, and that's going to be until um, uh, 5.15 uh, Zulu time. New information, this tornado okay, warning and Perry has County. been upgraded. Hale and Perry County. So it is this storm right here. The, the tornado is right near Greensboro. It's right near Greensboro. It's a, a, incredibly close. 
If if we're in Greensboro, um, Alabama, we got to run to shelter right now. If you're not already there, you got to get there fast. Um, that is a, an extremely dangerous situation that's unfolding here. Let me pull up the mesoscale on that. Once again, I really want to give you some uh, closer just a, a better idea of exactly where this is because Greensboro is a pretty populated area and we have a tornado right now get going through Greensboro or it's getting ready to within the next couple of minutes, maybe even seconds. All right, so Greensboro, Alabama, we want the whole town uh, to get to shelter right now because we got a tornado here. It's near the Chevron on the southwest side of town near where uh, Richie's Deer Processing is. All right. You know where that is? You know where the tornado is. It's going to move up to the north and east across Demopolis Street and then eventually make it into where Lions Park is. Uh, you, the, the Hale City, the Hale County Hospital, all right? Uh, and then eventually Alabama State Route 14 here uh, near the Southern, Southern Academy. That's where this storm's going to go right after that. Uh, and also, it's hard telling exactly how big this tornado is, so it could also impact areas um, uh, outside of those places as well. So we need everybody in Greensboro, the whole town, to take shelter now. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, actually, that's a perfect lead into what I was going to say. We're scanning this uh, tornado debris signature about 5,000, 4,500 uh, feet above the ground. And when we do that, there is a certain uh, location bias. There's a difference between what we see 4,500 feet above the surface and what's actually happening at the ground. This tornado could be lofting debris up in a diagonal sense. So it could be further south and west or further west, depending uh, on where uh, the the wind profile is directing the debris that it's kicking up. So uh we see the tornado debris signature at a certain height, but that doesn't tell us exactly where it is at the surface. We can only give our best estimate. So, yep. and, and again, we can call out all these street names. We we do that because we want you guys to, um, you know, it's a stimulus. You you hear your local area, you take shelter. We do the best we can to promote that exact response from y'all. Uh, but I do want to tell you that it's more than just those street names, and we don't know exactly where this is. It could be within the vicinity of it, uh, anywhere within Greensboro, Alabama. So I, I certainly hope those people were able to get to shelter as this formed right outside of the city. That's how yeah. fast it can happen. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's a once again, this is James Spann country, so it's important to reiterate the, what he always says. Respect the polygon, all right? If you're inside of this purple box here, it doesn't matter what street the, the blue dot is on. <laughs> you know, like, you got to be getting a shelter in, in a situation like this because just like Andy said, the, the, the tornado looks like it's right here on, on radar, but we're scanning the sky, not the ground. It could be right here. It could be right here. I'm just giving you uh, my best guess on where it could be so that, once again, you resonate more uh, with uh, what I'm talking about. And hopefully it it put, turns on a light bulb or flips a switch or something in your head that says, okay, well, if it's near Richie's deer process and I know exactly where that is, I got to get to shelter. Um, because more than likely... It is somewhere uh, near there, uh, but uh, everybody in and around Greensboro still needs to be in their safe spot. If you're to the east of Greensboro, um, uh, this thing's still on the ground, okay? Uh, Pleasant Grove Missionary, uh, Baptist, uh, Griffin Cemetery, uh, St. Thomas Church, all these places. Uh, the tornado's somewhere uh, in, in between those areas right now near um, uh, Polecat Creek, all right? It is going to continue to move off to the north and east and eventually uh, possibly affect uh, Highburger, Alabama. Uh, and that's what we're looking at there. So uh, I haven't heard anything uh, from Greensboro yet, but I'm unfortunately very concerned about what we are going to hear um, uh, about what just happened there. Because at least at the very least, a weak tornado went right through uh, uh, some portion of the town. It could have even been a, a, a pretty big one. So. Um, we're going to pay attention to the, the scanner feeds and we're, and we're going to uh, relay any news to you about that, uh, that we hear uh, as, as it comes out. Uh, but if you're just now tuning in, um, we do have a, a tornado warning, confirmed tornado, uh, on the ground near Greensboro, Alabama. Uh, and we've got a confirmed tornado warning for, uh, Perry County, Alabama. And this includes Morgan Springs, Ironville and Adler, Alabama take shelter immediately. You don't have time uh, to think about it in, in situations like this. You just got to go. You got to get up and go.
And remember, I got a lot of people sending me pictures and videos. I'm going to try to share a lot of a lot of this information. Um, but if you if, if only do that, if you can do so safely. Only do that if you can do so safely. There's a lot going on here. A lot of uh, information to filter through. But I, I don't think I'm seeing anything that is like a, uh, a recent picture from Greensboro. So hopefully, hopefully that's good news. Uh, but as soon as we see something, we will let you know. It does look like this is still down here to the east of Greensboro. Big rotational couplet here near Dominic. Um, this is going to move up towards Morgan Springs, North Perry, Jericho, Ellards, and Adler, Bethlehem, and Pine Tucky uh, within the next little bit. Okay, And, and this is going to act very similarly to that storm we just tracked to the north that went south of uh, Birmingham um, and Tuscaloosa. This just dropped a big tornado, all right? It is probably going to do it again, but right now, that tornado, I, I believe, is likely lifted. It's gonna drop another one, okay? I can't tell you exactly when that's gonna happen, so we, we really don't need to pay that much attention to that. that. But like, don't, I, a lot of people who are watching this right now, you're becoming more educated about how to read the radar and all that stuff, and I just wanna make it very, clear to you that even if this goes away, even if this uh, tornado debris signature goes away completely, it doesn't mean that you can come out of your safe spot. It doesn't mean that you're going to be uh, like that, that it's over. These radars are awesome. The United States has like the best radar system on earth, but this is still at least sometimes five, seven minutes behind real life. If, if a new tornado is picking up debris right now and throwing it into the sky, we won't know about that until five to seven minutes from now. So that's why these polygons and these warnings are so important to, to abide by, um, whether or not what you're seeing on radar at that very moment uh, looks extremely concerning. So if you're in the polygon, respect it and get to shelter now. And yeah, we do, we've got a lot of um, rain uh, and storms moving through a lot of areas right now. Uh, Birmingham just got a big storm that went through. Uh, Chattanooga just saw a pretty big storm. Uh, we're seeing that move into Dalton, Georgia now, Cleveland. Eventually, this is also going to move into extreme western North Carolina. Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, you're likely going to see a pretty big storm here soon. Uh, lots of lightning, lots of thunder, some very strong winds. Um, but uh, right now, no severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning for you guys just yet. Um, and I'm, I am going to check in on my neck of the woods up here. And, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> a lot of the storms that were heading directly towards me have let up. But a new line, a new area of storms was formed back here in Kentucky near Richmond. Uh, and um, it looks like those are going to get pretty strong as well. An additional tornado threat exists up here, by the way. It's not quite as serious as um, the one to the south. But we do have to watch these as they move off to the north and east to see if they produce hail, damaging winds, and maybe a very small chance of some isolated tornadoes. But most of the action right now is happening back here in Alabama. So that's kind of where we have to focus our, our sights. And speaking of recycling, it looks like that is happening very quickly here with the storm that just went through Greensboro. Um, if, if this tornado lifted at all, it's probably coming back down here soon as it gets closer to Highburger, Alabama. So please uh, get to your safe spots. This is not over uh, for Alabama. And also there's a new storm that's probably going to copy and paste what happened up here uh, a little bit farther south down here near um, Sweetwater, Alabama. So you're under a tornado warning in Sweetwater, Magnolia, and Thomaston in Alabama. No confirmed tornado for you yet, but it's probably going to happen. So get ready for that. All right, get in your safe spot and just prepare. Most interior room of your home, grab a helmet. Bring me with you on your phone, your tablet. Make sure it's got charged batteries. Um, and put on a pair of shoes. I mean, like we, we just saw a video uh, not too long ago from Utah, Alabama. Let me show you this just in case you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, this, this just happened not too long ago in Utah, Alabama from one of the same storms that's causing uh, tornadoes right now. This is what's happening near Greensboro uh, in, in Morgan Springs. If you take shelter in your pajamas or like you don't have shoes on or something like that, and you're in a situation where you've got to get out, out of your house, um, <laughs> you're going to wish that you were wearing shoes. 
All right. So just keep that in mind. Imagine that, you know, hopefully you're not going to have to, but imagine that you're going to have to deal with something like this uh, within the next little bit. Prepare for that. Put on shoes, put on clothes, get a little go bag together so that you can uh, evacuate your home if you need to uh, with damage like this. Okay. All right. Yeah, just going through some information coming through on Twitter. I really appreciate y'all tagging me and stuff. Lots of hail today, too. I'm getting lots of pictures of hail. So even outside of the tornadoes today, we are going to see um, damaging winds and hail and all that stuff. And check this out. The Storm Prediction Center is potentially going to issue a new tornado watch here soon that will include Atlanta, Georgia. So the tornado threat continues to shift eastward, downstream watch issuance needed by the afternoon. So probably within the next hour or so, we will see a new tornado watch issued over here for eastern Alabama into western Georgia, and we will be here with you throughout the duration of that. Um, let's see here. Cardi says the wind is insane in Varnell, Georgia. I'm in Kentucky, so I'm in eastern Kentucky right now. We've got a sustained wind of 3.8 miles an hour, and um, uh, it's gusting to 15. Uh, but out ahead of this line, as as this moves east, winds will pick up for everybody. One of the things too that's just nuts. Once again, it's January 12th. We've got tornadoes on the ground. We've got, you know, tornado watches, severe storms and stuff. It's 70 degrees right now in, in my neck of the woods, and it's going to continue to increase. That temperature is going to continue to go up until the cold front crashes through. Oh, and I have water. Hold on. <laughs> Woo. I've been sitting here talking for how long? How long have we been going? Two and a half hours. And I, I've been trying to make it on this Diet Coke. But I'm, I'm telling you, that's not, that's, that's not great. <laughs> this is what I needed. Give me just a second. Woo! Hey, try it. Try talking for two hours, two and a half hours straight and just sipping on Diet Coke. That is just not right. Water is where it's at. Okay. Woo! All right. <laughs> uh, if you're just now tuning in, uh, we are doing live um, severe uh, weather coverage here. We do currently have three tornado warnings. We're going to dive back into each one of those right here in a second. Um, uh, but we also have the assistance of several uh, storm chasers. Okay, we got Ryan Cardi, Chris Hall, uh, Brad Arnold, Brett Adair out there uh, giving us the latest on uh, what they're experiencing. And um, a lot of these guys... So where is Brett? Do we know where Brett is exactly? Chilton County, Alabama. Why don't I see his indicator? Oh, okay. I see it here. So Brett and Brad are pretty close to each other. Right here. Do you see that? That's where two of our storm chasers are, Brett Adair and Brad Arnold. A new tornado warning oh, wow. has been issued. And they're going to continue to go down towards Montgomery and intercept these storms as they come through. But we just got a new confirmed tornado warning for Bibb County, Alabama. Bibb County, Alabama. Uh, so we're going to update you on that just as soon as uh, we get a radar refresh scan here. But uh, Bibb County, Alabama is now under a confirmed tornado warning. Uh, as I believe... Yeah, that's it right there. It's basically just an extension of the uh, warning that was originally prompted for Greensboro. Now it's for Heiberger. And now this same storm is going to be capable of producing uh, a tornado through Heiberger up into Centerville. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, Ashby and uh, Randolph and Lawley in Alabama. <laughs> so now, uh, speaking of our storm chasers, Brett Adair and Brad Arnold are up here. They're literally in the perfect position now uh, to um, intercept this tornado as it continues to move up towards them. Watch the full progression here. 
yeah, that, that is going to go right towards them there. So unfortunately, this storm is recycling in a big way. And it does look like uh, if we had this tornado lift recently, it has come back down. And we have another big tornado on the ground here just to the west of Highburger in Alabama. Let's show you a better picture of that. Uh, let's get up close and personal here. Tornado on the ground right now near Morgan Springs, Alabama. It's going to move up towards North Perry here within the next couple of minutes. You don't have long to get into your safe spot. Um, and then beyond that, it's going to go towards Ironville. That's it right there. You see it plain as day. Tornado on the ground moving into Morgan Springs. Take shelter now. Uh, it's very important that everybody in Bibb County, Alabama, and everybody in Perry County, Alabama is in their safe spots right now, especially if you're in the Polygon. Uh, but I do think it is valuable to kind of continue to talk about more specific areas as to where I think this is. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do really quick. Morgan Springs, Alabama. Very small uh, area here near uh, Mor Morgan Springs. But still, there are some houses uh, around here uh, between Morgan Springs and Highburger. Uh, so right now, the, the tornado, if it's still on the ground, it's going over Morgan Springs. It's going to go past Ironville. It's going to go north of the Mount Tabor Zion Church. And then uh, eventually, uh, like, thankfully, it, there's a lot of like nothing out here between Morgan Springs and Highburger. But the closer you get to Highburger, the more you get into areas like the Bethesda Cemetery uh, and the Wallace Creek community. All right, so that's where this tornado is going to be going next. It's going to go through Highburger or between Highburger and Jericho. Uh, and then from there, we're just waiting on it uh, to see what's going to happen next as it crosses Highway 5. So big tornado down, take shelter now all the way out to Thomas Mill and Bibb Mill in Alabama. Yeah, there was a report that I wanted to look at here from Greensboro. Emergency management report of tornado reserved in Greensboro, tree down on home along Pear Road. So that was from earlier, from when the tornado went through Greensboro. Uh, if we have any pictures or videos or anything like that, if, can you guys please tag me on Twitter? And if, we, if any of our staff have seen anything, please put it in Ryan's stream text if, if you can. Holy smokes. Okay, so here's something. Uh, this this person's awesome, by the way. If you want to follow them on Twitter, Birding Peep, Birding Peep WX. Uh, this I, uh, this person just like watches um, traffic cameras like a hawk, and like posts videos of like what they see or what they found. Wow, yeah, there you go. They found it. That's the tornado right there that just went through Greensboro. So this is a traffic camera in Greensboro uh, that recorded this uh, tornado as it went through. Holy smokes. It's choppy. It's not the best. But, uh, there, yeah, that's definitely a tornado. So that's what it looked like. And it, that was a fast mover, too. Once again, imagine you're driving on the road and it's pouring the rain like that. You ain't going to notice that that's close to you. That's why these kinds of storms are so dangerous. I like guess that's scary. The tornadoes that are, like, big and black and, like, the, the ones that look terrifying aren't as scary as this. The scariest stuff is this, the stuff that you can't see, right? in my opinion. So that's why we've really got to take these warnings um, extremely seriously here as the this storm is going to continue to produce uh, tornadoes like that as we go forward. Uh, Lawrence Medical Center in Moulton, Alabama. Photos are from Jessica Sharp. Lots of damage. Lots of damage coming in from in and around Alabama here. Yeah, that's an incredible catch there from Birding Peep. I'm just, I'm sorry if I'm being silent. I'm, I'm just kind of absorbing all the information here that I can uh, so I can continue to relay updates for you. Because it's coming in fast. So there definitely was a, a pretty big tornado there that went through Greensboro or 
just to the south of Greensboro. So I, I'm awaiting the uh, the damage, uh, you know, uh, kind of photos and, and videos that will be coming out of that. Because one of the things is like during severe weather situations like this, obviously we're we're hopefully doing a good job of relaying what's getting ready to happen. But what happens is we get a bunch of people who tune in from Greensboro or they have family members that live in Greensboro. Once the tornado passes them, I can't just leave them behind. You know, like I want to relay news and because if somebody somebody's watching right now whose grandson lives in Greensboro and maybe they can't get a hold of them, it, 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 I want to do what I can to be like, OK, well, this is what Greensboro looks like and this is what we know right now. Also, damage uh, reports coming in from Chattanooga, big tree down there uh, in Chattanooga as well. Yeah, that's a one thing that we can do too is look at Google Maps. Take a look at the uh, traffic. Yeah, so we had a tornado go through um, Utah earlier. And you can see lots of traffic on the northern side where that uh, tornado uh, went through. I wonder if we can see something similar down here in Greensboro. Lots of, um, hang on, what's going on here? <laughs> Lots of traffic uh, to the south of Greensboro and like right here on the, I mean, these are literally some of the exact spots that I was talking about as the tornado was going through near the Chevron on the southwestern side of town. Uh, we got traffic backed up um, and then right. Okay. So here's that traffic camera. There's that McDonald's right there. So it looks to me like that tornado took a path about like this. It went, came up right through here, went by the Chevron on the southwestern side of town, rode Demopolis Street right into uh, where uh, State Street and um, uh, that, that, that McDonald's are right here. So it looks like it probably missed the Hale uh, County Hospital just to the north and west, hopefully. Uh, but that, that looks like the path that the tornado took right there. So just some investigative work there to try to see exactly what happened. Thankfully, I don't see much... Uh, information past that but to, to be fair unfortunately this is like all residential areas right here so we wouldn't see necessarily a traffic backup in a cul-de-sac so unfortunately i think probably some of these areas might have received some damage uh, as the tornado went through so yeah you can't say it's tornado season anymore that's true man i, I think the the past couple of winters have been way more impressive than spring uh, as far as tornadoes go. Nuts. It's crazy to think about. Or cold season, I should say. Uh, more damage from molten in Alabama. Significant damage, by the way. And let's check in on our storm. We still have a very strong rotating storm here near Highburger. Tornado on the ground. Okay, so we, I've, I've tried to take a really quick break to, to show you some news because really the tornado was just over nowhere. Now, <laughs> the tornado is getting close to somewhere. And uh, what it's getting close to specifically uh, is uh, places just north of Highburger. And uh, near Harrisburg. So the, this tornado is getting ready to cross the road there, Highway 5, south of Harrisburg. And uh, it's likely still going to be producing damage here. So uh, we need to be taking this seriously. This is going to come pretty close to Brent. Okay, so Brent, uh, what was it last year? Uh, just saw, or, or the year before last. Man, time flies. Uh, Brent, we were here live together uh, as a tornado went through Brent um, not too long ago. Uh, that's also going to uh, potentially come up towards uh, Vic and Thomas Mill and um, Bib Mill, which is up there where Brad Arnold is right now. What's uh, Ryan Carty? 
Brian Carty is on our storm. So, wow, this is a live view of the base of the storm that has been producing um, a tornado here for the last little bit. I can't tell if it still is, but man, if that's not the most clear view that we've had all day of the base of one of these storms. We, we've had uh, storm chasers around these storms all day, but we haven't got a good view of it. That right there, Ryan is extremely close to this. And it's about to drop another monster tornado, I think. Look at this. Real quick, let's come back over here. You can, you can see his camera above my head. But that is the sign that we're seeing a new couplet form. We're seeing another big rotational area here. We had a tornado drop in Greensboro, right? It stayed on the ground for a while. I think it briefly lifted, and now a new uh, rotational couplet is coming together, and a, another big tornado is probably a getting ready to form here just to the south and west of Centerville. So everybody up here near Centerville, Brent, Lawley, Randolph, Ashby, all these places in Alabama need to uh, be getting to their safe spot very, very quickly because this is a very dangerous situation here. Wow. Wow. Hey, will you hit the filming lights button again? It's throwing me off that like these are on. And if they don't come on, go flip them on. Because I think I'm, I'm missing whenever Andy tries to come through because I'm not seeing the light over here. Yeah, it's the one closest to me. On the row of three, the one closest to me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the one closest to the left. There we go. Now, now come hit filming lights again. All right. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit of behind the scenes uh, work here to make sure that I'm getting my cues right. If you didn't know, whenever the lights change colors, it always means something. Um, whenever they turn green, meteorologist Andy Hill wants to talk to me. Whenever they flash red, that means we have a confirmed tornado. You'll, you'll see, but now I can see, which is good. <laughs> All right. So, um, if you're just now tuning in, we have a, a tornado warning here. We have a couple tornado warnings. We got a radar confirmed tornado warning. A new tornado warning has been for issued. a Bibb County and Perry County. We just got a brand new tornado warning for Wilcox County, Alabama. All right. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a second. Um, but we also have, um, a tornado warning for Marengo County, Alabama. Uh, one of the ones that I, I, I'm most concerned about right now, uh, is, is, is this one, as I do believe that a tornado, it, another big tornado is forming here just to the South and West of Centerville. Uh, and it's going to move up towards Randolph and Ashby here within the next little bit. We've got storm chasers in front of it. We'll, we'll know about that as soon as it happens. Um, but that most recent tornado warning there. For Wilcox County, uh, that's it right there. So there's another storm down here to the south uh, that we really have to start paying attention to. All right, let me um, let me get a different radar on this. This is starting to get ridiculous. We've got so many different storms to watch here. And they're all in radar holes. Man, what what is Alabama doing? Come on, we need a, a daggone radar. I, I'm not going to get too down this rabbit hole. But my goodness, this is like I've been doing this only for like two years. And every time there's a big tornado outbreak, it happens here in Alabama. And, and we don't have a radar. We don't have a radar in Demopolis. That is the biggest problem in America right now at this moment. <laughs> it, 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 one of them, top ten. If you know you're a, a way to contact your local senator or, or whoever it is that we need to talk to here, everybody needs to write a letter or tweet at him or something right now and be like, fix this because this is dumb. Anyways, we got a big tornado forming down here near Magnolia. We can't see it as well as other areas for whatever reason because we don't have a radar close enough to it. But we do have a, a big rotational couplet. Forming here, a new tornado warning just got, got issued for Bethel and Prairie and Carly's uh, and Thomaston. Take shelter now if you're down here in Wilcox County um, in, or Marengo County in Alabama. This is going to be a dangerous storm. I don't know if this has got a, a, a tornado on the ground right now, unfortunately, because you, for whatever reason, your tax dollars don't mean as much. 
Um, but um, it's probably going to happen here soon. All right, so we, we need you to take shelter here in the very near future, and I'm going to do everything I can to relay that information to you um, as it gets closer. Um, if we don't get an update from Ryan here, let's switch that number one spot. Um, maybe to Brad, because Brad's getting pretty close. If you're just now tuning in, we're watching this um, uh, tornado uh, move in. So we got a couple different tornadic storms, but the one that we're most concerned about right now uh, is going just to the south of Brent. We probably got a tornado on the ground here to the south of Brent near Abercrombie, and it's moving up towards Trio, uh, Tabernacle, and Mod. And uh, Brad Arnold, our storm chaser, Brad Arnold, is in kind of a perfect position uh, to intercept that tornado as it comes towards him. So uh, we're going to be paying attention to that. A new tornado. And we got a new tornado warning for Dallas and Perry County, Alabama. And my goodness, it's frozen up again. It, yeah, if you could tell them to refresh it, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but anyways, sorry. Um, so like I said, guys, this, this is happening right now. We had a, a big tornado back here. I think it briefly lifted, and I said it's probably going to start coming back up again. There it is. So that was the tornado. It lifted. Now check it out. Brand new little TDS popping up right there. We got another tornado touching down. Big one. It just it. We just saw the the correlation coefficient drop live right in front of us. Even more intensely. So we have another very large tornado on the ground here, just to the south of Centerville. This is an extremely dangerous situation, a life threatening situation. You've got to get to shelter um, uh, now. And the lights just flashed, but I didn't hear or see anything. So. Something's something's going on there, uh, but we will. I, I'm pretty sure what that was warning. was an update to the confirmation uh, of this uh, tornado right here. So we have a big tornado on the ground uh, south of Centerville. Uh, this is a life threatening situation. Please take shelter now if you're up here near Lolly and Randolph. Um, so uh, yeah, I, we knew it was going to happen. Thankfully, these storms are kind of following a pattern. So that means that there's no excuse whatsoever if you're under a warning today that, that you got surprised by this. We're seeing these coming from a mile away, from 10 miles away, 20 miles away, 30 miles away. This is going to happen in Randolph. So get ready, okay? Randolph, Alabama, take shelter now. Do not wait. Andy, go ahead. Yeah, Ryan, I was just going to tell you that that update is for a particularly dangerous situation. Tornado warning for the cell. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Andy. Uh, I am going to ring the alarm here. This is a PDS tornado warning. Um, and basically what that means is what we've been saying. This is a life-threatening situation. This is not a normal tornado warning. This is not a normal tornado. Um, this is the kind that is... You, 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 you can't a lot of times accidentally survive. All right, If you're in your mobile home, if you're in your regular home in the living room, and you're just surprised by a tornado like this that comes up on you, it's not going to be good. You have to try. And what you need to do is you, you need to get into the most interior room of your home, and you've got to barricade yourself with as many walls between you and the outside world as possible. Put on a helmet. Um, you want to get your kids with you. You want to take, if you're at work or if you're at school, if you're at home, make sure everybody that you're with knows what you're doing and, and get there. Get into that uh, most interior room. If, if you have a basement, if you have the ability to get underground, that's always preferable. But if you can't, you want to get into the, the center closet or bathroom, whichever one has the least amount of glass, and just stay in there. Bring me with you, and we'll let you know whenever this thing is passed. All right? But this is now a PDS tornado warning. Uh, we have a big, nasty, dangerous tornado on the ground, um, and it's going to cross between Centerville and Lawley here within the next little bit. All right? And this is just uh, really unfortunate because it's very close to Brent. Um, which is one of the places that we dealt with something similar here not too long ago. Um, and honestly, this part of the world is just all too familiar with this kind of thing. The good news is, okay, this is quite a bit south of some of the more populated areas here near Brent. 
um, and Centerville, but it, it's right now in Abercrombie, and then it's going to go across Highway 219, uh, and then it's going to make it into a Trio and Antioch and Thomas Mill, and like Andy was talking about earlier, this tornado looks like it's right here right now, but it could actually be up here. It could be down here, uh, so it, just, it doesn't matter where that blue dot is. Everybody in the purple polygon needs to be getting to shelter right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, th I think that there's a lot of confirmation on this one. I think that we're there's more imagery uh pouring in uh, of this tornado, so we'll try to share that with you, but right now the main thing that uh, matters is just the, the the polygon. Get to shelter now if you're in that purple polygon. Uh, and and man, the overall look of this storm it just isn't good. Um this thing's probably going to survive. Uh, for quite some time. It's, it's got a wide open base, plenty of room to uh, pull in a new um, uh, moisture and, and, and energy into a the storm. A new tornado warning has been issued. So now we've got a new uh, confirmed tornado warning for Chilton County, Alabama. Uh, and that's uh, a brand new warning that we're going to be dealing with there. Basically, everything's happening down here. With these two cells right now in Alabama, we've got a bunch of warnings. We've got six total warnings, but they're all associated with these two storms in Alabama right now. Uh, this one is starting to become more serious. Um, and then uh, the one up there near Brent is already you know, producing a big tornado right now. So uh, let's, um, let's read some information on this. This one's for Paris, uh, Perry in Dallas County. Uh, we've also got um, uh, Wilcox County under the uh, tornado warning. And then we've also got a, um, a tornado warning uh, for down here in um, Marengo County. All right. So and then we've got that PDS warning and the confirmed tornado warning up here for Big Bibb County and Chilton Counties, Alabama. My goodness. Abercrombie just experienced a tornado not too long ago. And now it's moving into Tabernacle, Trio, and Mod. Please uh, take shelter now. Uh, by the way, we've got our storm chaser, Brad Arnold, here on this. Uh, he's very close to the storm. I don't think he can see anything right now, but he will be, um, he will be telling us as soon as you know, something pops up. He, he's, we have the ability to talk with Brad. <coughs> Actually, I'm going to key him up. I'm going to see if he's saying, seeing anything yet. Uh, Brad, we've got your uh, feed pulled up. You're getting really close to this uh, thing. Um, just wanting to know what you're seeing, uh, what you're thinking is getting ready to happen. Just keep us updated on uh, what's going on out there. Hey, Ryan, as of right now, um, I'm just putting myself kind of in position to intercept this. I want to be on the northern side because it, it's probably going to cause some damage if it is on the ground. don't want to be cut off by trees. Uh, so I'm going to be on the northern side of it. Right now, there's just a lot of trees, so it's, it's tough to really see anything. Um, definitely uh, lowering uh, to my west, uh, but have not been able to get visual on it just yet. All right. So that's Storm Chaser Brad Arnold, who is right here. The tornado is right here. It is going this way. Uh, so it's heading right towards him there. And our, our graphic system is still just absolutely not working. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, we, we are relaying the latest information as it comes in. We just can't rely on that, uh, uh, that ticker as much as usual. And there it is. That, that's the latest update on the uh, TDS. That's the... A tornado debris signature that is showing us that there is a big tornado on the ground right now lofting debris up into the air little pieces of trees grass leaves whatever it is maybe even pieces of homes are floating in the sky right now above this tornado and that's what we're seeing through this blue dot so generally where that blue dot is 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 where the tornado is uh, so once again that's where brad arnold is this is where the tornado is it is getting ready uh, to head right towards them. And if you're in the path of this thing in Lawley or Randolph, you've only got minutes now uh, before it's this thing's like right on top of you. 
So it's crossing over Highway 219 right now. That's Selma Road. Um, it's going to ride the, what is that, uh, the FS434, the Farmer Road there, all the way up towards Trio, which is where Brad Arnold is right now. And it looks like we're starting to see something. We've got a visual on something here in front of Brad, uh, but it, it's really hard to tell exactly what's going on. Remember, guys, this is not your average uh, tornado where, you know, you're just going to see it. Uh, it's probably going to be shielded in some rain, so he's probably going to have to get closer to this before we can see anything, but <clears throat> there it is. I mean, like somewhere inside of that, there's a, a tornado going on right now, and I just feel bad for all the people who are driving on this same road that may not know. I mean, look at that. And it looks like a thunderstorm, but you wouldn't know that there's a tornado associated with it uh, unless you got right up on it. So here we go. Uh, Brad's pulling off to the side here. Um, he's probably just taking a quick second to look at radar so that he can make his next move. He's he's on the road. He's on uh, Highway 82, just north of Trio in Alabama right now. And uh, basically what he's got to decide to do, is he going to continue to go north towards Centerville or is he going to go south towards Active? And if he goes south, um, you know, like he, he, Brad's got two jobs right now uh, or three. One of them is to give us a, a view of this tornado so that we can help people. Once again, scientifically proven that if you can see it, you're going to take it more seriously. Another one is to take himself seriously and, and to make sure that he's safe. So he, the, a lot of times a storm chaser in a situation like this is a very stressful situation. He's got to make sure that. He can safely uh, do what he's supposed to do without getting himself in harm's way because the last thing that you want to do if you're a storm chaser is just add insult to injury uh, with uh, the the officials and stuff that are out there that are having to help people that um, uh, are just live in the area. So uh, Brad's a professional. He's done this for a long time. So he's making the move. He's going to go back south a little bit and try to get us in line with this thing so that uh, we can see it here. So that's what's happening uh, with Brad, Storm Chaser, uh, Brad Arnold. This is what it looks like on radar. Once again, confirmed tornado on the ground, Bibb County, Chilton County, Alabama. Take shelter now. This is what it looks like um, right here. Well, that's what it looked like. I think it's been a second since we've got an update on that one. Let's come over here. Okay, yeah, this is a more recent version. Getting very close to Brad, like dangerously close to Brad. I, I, it's shocking to me that we can't see it yet through his feed. <laughs> Somebody just sent a super chat saying, what is the EF scale on the tornado? We don't know. We don't know. That won't, that's not determined until after the tornado happens. It doesn't matter though. It's a tornado. It's a big one. You got to get to shelter. EF1, EF5, no difference if it hits your house directly. Well, not much. All right, here we go. 28 seconds ago. 28 seconds ago. This is from Alicia Everett. My father-in-law, Larry Everett, took this off his porch around 1040 this morning in Roebuck. All right, so there you go. This is what these storms are looking like today, and we're about to get a live view of what's happening with this one from Brad here. Big hail, too. Look at this. This is from Chelsea, Alabama. Large hail with these storms. That's another thing you got to think about. We're really tightly zoomed in right now on, on this one storm because of how intense it is and the fact that there's probably a big tornado on the ground with it. But it's important to remember that we've got a lot more going on right now. Like There's, there's a lot of storms happening all up and down through Tennessee uh, into Georgia. Uh, up into Kentucky and, and like we've got strong winds and all that stuff happening. I just I, I don't want to pull away from this just yet because we got people whose lives are in danger right now uh, that are in Maud and Trio and Antioch and Big Bib Mill in uh, Alabama. And I just want to give them all the information that we possibly can. This is a live look at something here. I can't tell if 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 we've got a if. If we're looking at the mesocyclone, if we're looking at the rotational area, I think we are. So that, that's what we're looking at here through Brad Arnold's feed. If we come, if we compare that to radar, if we compare that to radar. Hey Ryan, I'm just north of the circulation right now. Got a lot of mid-level rotation. I do not see anything on the ground just yet, though. Uh, we're going to drop just a little bit further south uh, to see if we can get a better view. All right. 
That's that's fascinating information from Brad. This is why it's so important to have storm chasers. So this tornado <laughs> was definitely on the ground just like a minute ago. All right. I think what's happened is it's lifted right before it got to Brad, but we still see we still see the debris in the air that the tornado had lifted or that picked up earlier. All right. So what's going to happen here? You saw that. You saw the rotation with that. This thing is probably going to drop another tornado here very soon. Uh, and Brad's going to try to follow it. He's going to try to make sure that he stays out of the rain and he gets in front of this thing so that when this does produce another tornado here, as it moves up towards Randolph and Ashby and Jemison, Alabama, uh, he's going to be able to show that for us. Uh, we just want him to be safe, obviously. Yeah, Storm Chaser, Brad Arnold, often the MVP. Good Storm Chaser. Yeah, it will it, it will recycle. Almost a hundred percent certain that it will. Uh, here's a video from Highburger, um, Alabama, earlier on the front side of that storm. Um, and Andy wants to talk. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, something else of note that isn't necessarily a tornado, but just as important is uh, to the south of Knoxville, Tennessee right now, there's a considerable severe thunderstorm warning there for 70 mile an hour wind gusts. But what I can see in particular is uh, south of Knoxville, there's a signature on velocity here that tells me there may be a, a, a downburst, possibly even a microburst uh, going on over Rockford, Tennessee, uh, that will head towards Newbert and Seymour. Uh, so microbursts and downbursts that are strong can produce just as significant of damage in the form of straight line wind uh, as a rotational damage would be from a tornado, from a lower end tornado, that is. Uh, so that area, you are under considerable severe thunderstorm warning. I know some areas uh, do sound the tornado sirens for a an upgraded severe thunderstorm warning. So if that is ongoing in the same or south of of Knoxville area, uh, there's a good reason for that. So I would heed that just as uh, similarly as you would for a tornado warning. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, meteorologist Andy Hill for directing our attention uh, up here. We've got Brad Arnold showing us the, the tornado. I think Brad Arnold's got a tornado right here. Yeah. Brad Arnold is like in a tornado right now. Uh, this is in uh, Bibb County, Alabama. This is for, with that, um, a tornado uh, warning that is uh, associated with the storm that's getting ready to go through Randolph and Ashby right now in Alabama. I believe the circulation just passed right in front of him. Um, and my goodness, that was a very close uh, call there. You see the debris on hey, the Ryan, road. In I front can't of confirm him. it is on the ground across right in front of me. All right, there you go. So it's on the ground. It just passed in front of Brad Arnold. And, and guys, this is the new one. Okay, remember, we had a big tornado on the ground, lopped in debris. It lifted. Now a new one is forming, and it formed right in front of Brad there, and it's going to continue to go up towards Randolph. All right, this is a new tornado that just formed in front of uh, Brad, and it's going to go towards Randolph. And, um, uh, yeah, it's only going to get worse from here. We've seen this happen. This is a pattern. It's a cycle. Uh, that uh, continues to uh, occur, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. Let me see here if I can um, maybe help uh, Brad a little bit. I don't know if he's by himself or if he has a navigator or what, um, but I'm, I'm trying to see what the best road option for him is. Uh, it's probably going to be to go down towards Lawley and then take um, uh, Bibb County 36 up to the north and east there towards Randolph. The, there's not a lot of road options here near where he is. So hopefully somebody on our team can relay that information to him. He probably knows though. Once again, extremely uh, professional uh, storm chaser, Brad Arnold. He's been doing this for a while. All right. So we have a tornado on the ground. We have a tornado on the ground. It just literally passed right in front of Brad. If somebody can clip that for me so I can show a replay here um, uh, on the streams to show everybody what we just saw. Um, we've got a tornado on the ground. It's moving up towards Randolph. Um, it's also, uh, getting, it's 
getting up towards uh, Maud right now, and then it'll be uh, crossing through Bib Mill. We got that new warning for P uh, Posey's Crossroads, Jemison, uh, Thorsby, Rocky Mount, Mineral Springs, Jumbo, and Gap of the Mountain. All of these places are under a tornado warning for that um, uh, tornado that we just saw pass in front of Brad. And it's only going to get bigger from here, and he's going to get back in front of it and show us another uh, view of it right here in a second. Now, really quick, because I know we've got a lot of people watching from all over the place. Um, I, I do want to reiterate what uh, Andy just talked about briefly there. We Knoxville is getting hit by a very strong storm right now, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, we've got very strong winds, some some hail moving, getting ready to move into Maynardville, uh, Tennessee, uh, all the way down to Walland and and Sevierville. Okay, so uh, this is getting ready to get into the uh, the area where uh, we see a lot of you know uh, people taking you know vacations, taking trips and stuff. All the cabins, Gatlinburg, uh, uh, Pigeon Forge, um, all these places are also in the path of uh, this very dangerous storm. It looks like the strongest portion of it is going to go to the north. And it's going to go up through Sevierville, uh, Knoxville, up towards Midway. Uh, but I do think that some very significant weather, some very strong winds are going to go through uh, Wares Valley, Oldham, Gatlinburg, Pittman Center, uh, and Pigeon Forge. And, and I, I was just there not too long ago. There are some big trees very thickly located in and around those cabins, all right? And like Andy was talking about earlier, in, in situations like this, when we get a downburst or a microburst, we, we can see winds that are just as strong as winds inside of a tornado. So we want you to take shelter. If you're in one of these uh, places up here in Tennessee, Sevierville, Knoxville, up there towards Jefferson City, lots of people up in the woods, right next to giant trees right now, you want to take shelter and you want to put as many walls between you and the outside world as possible. You want to be, you want to be knowing that if you're going to get injured or if something bad's going to happen because of this storm, it's going to happen because something's going to fall on your head. So you want to protect your head. You want to protect you with as much protection or as many levels of protection as possible between you and, and the outside world as possible. Just like a, um, tornado. All right. So this is in Tennessee, Eastern Tennessee right now. Uh, next in line, we got Robbinsville, North Carolina, Wares Valley, Townsend, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, Jefferson City, Morristown, all the way up there to Taswell. Taswell. Uh, get ready. It's coming through. Now let's get back down here to business where our tornadoes are. Okay. Uh, we got uh, a big tornado uh, on the ground right now uh, near Bib Mill. Okay. We just saw it not too long ago from uh, storm chaser, Brad Arnold, and he's back on the road here. He took that route that we uh, told him, or we assumed he was going to take. Um, and he's back on the road here near um, Lawley. So he got on uh, off of highway 82. He's on uh, Bibb County road 36 right now, moving up towards Randolph. By the time he gets to Randolph, this tornado is going to be in Bib Mill, all right? And then he's going to be kind of paralleling it to the south, uh, up through Bib Mill, through po Posey's Crossroads, uh, and then up to Oak Grove, okay? So that's what's happening here. We got a big uh, uh, tornado on the ground, uh, confirmed tornado warning for uh, Chilton County and Bibb County, Alabama. Please, please take shelter now. Wow, this is one of the most active severe weather days that we've had <laughs> in a while. And I'm telling you, yesterday, it just wasn't talked about enough. I really hope that people are, I, I, I think now, though, people are starting to wake up and, and understand what's happening. Hopefully, we've got some people watching. If you're just now tuning in uh, and you want to help us reach more people, please consider hitting the like button. It'll tell YouTube to promote us to people. And then maybe even share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Send us in a text message to a family member or a friend. The goal here is just to try to get in front of as many people as possible so that we can uh, just deliver this rapid fire information and uh, in the way that we do it. And a lot of people prefer it this way. Oh, here's another view of the um, Greensboro, Alabama tornado earlier. Look at that. Brad here, um, Brad Souter, uh, sharing that. I'm retweeting this. January 12th, y'all. That's the date. Nuts. I, yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate I see it. Twitter's going nuts right now. We've done it before. We've gotten, uh, 
We've gotten trending on Twitter before. We need to do it again. Once again, we got to get this in front of people because right now, um, a big tornado still likely uh, either on the ground or getting ready to uh, recycle here near Bib Mill up towards Posey's cro Crossroads, okay? That is a dangerous storm. We're going to keep an eye on that. We've got Storm Chaser Brad Arnold giving us a live feed up there above me. Now, let's um, take a brief second to look at this other storm that also has a tornado warning on it, but unfortunately it's in a daggone radar hole. Uh, we've also got a developing tornado here near Brookwood and Oroville. Uh, you're under a tornado warning in China Grove, Limestone Bluff, uh, Selma, and Casey and Alabama. Take shelter now. This is a, a very similar situation will likely um, uh, unfold here in uh, this area uh, as some of the storms to the north. We're, we're seeing like a zipper effect. Have you noticed that, guys? Like there's – I don't know how to explain it. This line of storms is coming through, right? And then uh, imagine like this is a zipper, right? As the line moves to the east, the zipper gets zipped down. And that's kind of like where the, the greatest um, uh, torna tornado activity has been happening. It's been following that zipper. We started out up here south of Birmingham uh, with, with a storm that kind of faded out. And then this one kind of lit up. Next in line is this one. The, the zipper is going this way. So we'll see this one probably take a similar path or a similar um, arc uh, that this one did. Now, this one's not over, by the way. The one that Brad's on right now is still producing a tornado, I think. In fact, I think we can see it right here, or at least where the lowering is that's producing it. So uh, we want you to stay in your safe spot in uh, Posey's Crossroads and Jemison, but I really think that next we're going to be kind of locked in on Oroville and Selma with that tornado warning. Yeah, January. This is not a replay. I just, I just saw in uh, <laughs> chat somebody said, "Is this a replay?" No, the date the date is right there. It's January twelfth. This is live. This is happening right now, and this is what's going on out there today in Alabama. Unfortunately. It looks like this is also going to probably be happening in Georgia later. We've got Atlanta, Georgia under the gun for severe weather today as we go all the way through 6, 7, 8 p.m. this evening. It's currently only 1 p.m. Can you believe it? We've had a bunch of tornadoes and damage today in the morning. So just absolutely crazy what's going on out there today. here oh boy hold on i know the camera went down i i've got to come up with a faster way to activate my backup camera that's something that i'll be working on so really the rotation up here with the storm that brad's on so man this thing has produced so many tornadoes Look at this. See that little dot right there? That was the tornado. Watch it. It produced one in Greensboro. And then, and then it produced another one right here uh, to the south of Centerville. That one has went away. It'll be interesting to see if we see another one because we have so, we have so many storm chasers right there to, uh, to witness if that does happen. If it does happen, it's going to happen somewhere right up here. Uh, the storm's past Randolph now. Next in line is going to be Jemison. Yeah, it's probably going to continue to recycle. As long as this dangly bit, as long as the dangling part of the storm here stays dangly. I, I, listen, all right? <laughs> I know that this, is, this isn't the most um, uh, scientific explanation here, but it makes sense if you if, if, to the people who just don't care about the science. As long as this part of the storm, this right here is like, let me switch over to radar. This is like the parent part of the storm, right? This is where all the heavy rain and the, the wind and stuff is happening. This little piece of it that's dangling off to the bottom here, as long as that continues to be there and it doesn't occlude up into this part of the storm or it doesn't kind of bow out this way, it's going to continue to produce tornadoes. So the, the more 
dangly bits we see off the bottom of the storm. Seriously, the more problems we're going to have with recycling tornadoes here. So Jemison, you, you, you've got a big one heading towards you right now. So that's why we want you to stay in your safe spot. But uh, another thing that can happen here and something that we can hope for is that this big area right here bows out. So if we see it start to take a, a backwards C shape, that's more indicative of damaging winds and less so of a tornado. Regardless, we're going to stay in our safe spots until that warning is lifted, right? Um, go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan. Uh, another interesting thing up here in Tennessee in the Knoxville area, once again, I, I uh, got a tornado. am astonished by this area of storms in particular. We've got that bow echo shape. Uh, it's bowing out in front, so it, it's a uh, curve like this, and the strongest winds are at that forefront of the of the shape of the bow. And um, behind it, actually, if you look at uh, GR2, you can see a 69 mile per hour non-thunderstorm wind gust. And that non-thunderstorm wind gust is actually from what we call a rear inflow jet. So literally behind this line of storms, it's still gusting down from the rear and to the surface at 70 miles an hour. So you may think it's over because the heavy rain passed through uh, and maybe even some small hail and that's all done. And those initial really strong wind gusts are done, but no, then you get hit by these uh, strong non-thunderstorm wind gusts that we call the rear inflow jet in the back. And to me, like I, it's pretty rare that you see a signature with such like moderate heavy rain behind this. Uh, to me, that signifies that there are going to be some very healthy uh, wind gusts in this area for an extended period of time. Um, and that will eventually move into the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge uh, popular tourist area for anyone who is there or in the Morristown area as well. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, meteorologist Andy Hill. We're kind of jumping back and forth between uh, our tornado situation down there in uh, Alabama and now our, our really uh, dangerous uh, damaging wind situation that is unfolding here in uh, eastern Tennessee. We just saw a huge storm go through Knoxville. Uh, we It's now knocking on Sevierville's door. Uh, it'll be in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge in minutes. Uh, I really hope that people are preparing for this because it is going to be a nasty storm and it's going to knock down trees. And buddy, there is a bunch of them uh, out there in uh, Pigeon Forge and uh, Gatlinburg. You guys know all about it. Here is what just happened where when Brad Arnold saw a tornado just moments ago. I think Brad Arnold's got a tornado right here. Yeah, Brad Arnold is like in a tornado right now. Uh, this is in uh, Bibb County, Alabama. This is for, with that um, uh, tornado uh, warning that is uh, associated with the storm that's getting ready to go through Randolph and so I think Brad Arnold literally went right in front right of him there. Yeah, Brad Arnold is like in a tornado right now. Uh, this is in uh, Bibb County, Alabama. This is for with and like Brad I think Arnold's it even kind of jumped right out. Here. I can't. I think it kind of jumped scared Brad, Brad a little a tornado, bit. Right. Obviously, he was trying to get in position, but like it, it came out of the trees like, boo. Um, it's hailing in Nashville. That's going to continue to be a problem. Uh, so yeah, here's here's one of the things that um, Andy was talking about. Big backwards C-shaped Boeing segment here moving through eastern Tennessee. Damaging winds getting ready to hit. Morristown, Jefferson City, Newport, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, Wares Valley, all the way down into North Carolina, Robbinsville. Uh, you guys are, are being um, uh, included in this as well up there towards Mount Glory. Especially on some of the, the peaks, on some of the mountaintops, I, I'm telling you, it's rare that you get this potent of a uh, squall line uh, come through here uh, this time of day. Like This is going to be a really intense storm for a lot of people here in, in eastern uh, Tennessee. And then, like he said, we got a lot of that stratiform rain uh, back here uh, behind it. And this is just creating a big cold pocket of air that's just only going to intensify and continue to advance uh, this uh, very strong uh, damaging line of storms here as it's uh, literally minutes away now from making it into Sevierville. Um, obviously, I, I think we've probably got a lot of people watching from uh, Tennessee. 
Uh, we don't want you to take videos or pictures if you can't do so safely. Uh, but um, if we've got anybody in Sevierville after the storm passes, if there's power outages or anything like that, uh, please let us know. We will um, relay that information. Wow, it's, this is nuts. The reason it's hailing in Nashville, by the way, is because new storms are forming back here. New storms are forming back here are in and around Nashville. The tornado threat with these is, is pretty low. Uh, the, even the damaging wind threat with these is pretty low. The, the biggest threat is going to be kind of like training, flash flooding, and hail uh, as these storms continue to move off to the north and east. Flash flooding is already happening in Kentucky. Two flash flood warnings up here. And, of course, let's get back down here into Alabama where we have two ongoing tornado warnings. Um, and, thankfully, that dangly bit, by the way, right here is bowing out. Okay, it is bowing out. It's got more of that backward C progression to it. But what we're watching is right here. There's still rotation here near Jemison. This could create a new tornado at any time. So if we're in Jemison, Rocky Mount, Union Grove, or Jumbo, uh, we got to be taking shelter right now. A new tornado watch has been issued. And we got a new, new tornado watch, I reckon. And uh, look at that new considerable severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Granger, Hamblin, and Jefferson County, Tennessee. The considerable severe thunderstorm warnings are a level above a regular severe thunderstorm warning. Check this out. Um, a brick wall collapsed on West Main Street in downtown Chattanooga late Thursday morning destroying one and damaging two vehicles. <coughs> the Chattanooga Fire Department says three people in the blue vehicle were in the blue vehicle. Wow. So that was associated. Uh, Chattanooga got hit hard by some of those strong winds earlier. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, I'll direct your attention back down to the Southern Tornado Warning near Orville and Selma, Alabama. Uh, we've seen this th at least three times today now where the velocity signature begins to really tighten up. We start to see those purples and pinks on one side uh, for the outbound winds. And it, and it, then it concentrates into that area of three or four pixels. And then we see the tornado debris signature. I think that's what's happening again right here, right as it passes over Hazen along Highway 22. Uh, headed towards Selma. So I think we're uh, seeing yet again, maybe another instance of this uh, common pattern that we've seen on the radar today. So this is definitely our one to watch uh, for the time being. All right. Thank you, meteorologist Andy Hill. We're going to really watch out in Selma, Alabama. This is a very populated area. You're under a tornado warning, uh, but like we've been mentioning for a while now, the way this is working is a lot of Whatever just happened to your north is what's going to happen to you. And what happened to the north with this storm that Brad and, and, and Brett were on? It produced a bunch of big tornadoes. I think that it's likely that something similar to that happens down here uh, as it approaches Selma. So um, let's take shelter in Selma if we haven't already, because this storm is coming right for the town as it continues to try to produce a tornado here. It's a very dangerous situation. Beyond that, even uh, Otagaville, Mulberry, Statesville, uh, Mount Sinai, uh, down here north and west of Montgomery in Alabama. Y'all watch out. You're not under a warning yet, but this storm is going to cause problems for you, unfortunately. Um, I do believe that is the case. Brett Adair is in uh, Chilton County, Alabama. And let's try to get an update from him if we can. Let's get an update from all of them. Brett, um, I've got you up here on YouTube. Just wanted an update from you. What's your plan? What are you thinking about today? Uh, just let us know whenever you get a chance. Brad, um, give us an update whenever you can. Just wanting to hear what your thoughts are, what your current plan is. And Chris, we're live on YouTube. Give us an update on what your plan is going forward here. Uh, as we continue to watch these storms unfold. Hey, Ryan. Uh, so I am still on, uh, I think this is Highway 82. I may be wrong about that, but we're dropping south uh, towards that more isolated uh, cell that's going into Selma right now. It looks like it's spinning like a top one radar. So it uh, looks like a tornado is probably imminent with that, if not already on the ground. Uh, 
We're going to drop south right now. That one uh, looks like it's kind of joined up with the line and it's kind of become outflow dominant. Um, we did get that tornado earlier, um, and this one looks like it has an even better chance with it being more isolated out in front of that QLCS squall line. So I should be there here in just a few short moments. Hey, Ryan, not much is going on. Not much has actually went on for a little while. Um, I think we're, what we're going to do, we're going to head back towards the 75 corridor and watch these cells come out of uh, central Tennessee and may pose a, a flash flooding risk, maybe some uh, isolated hill risk here. I think well, that's going to be the game play for this evening. All right, so there you go. Those are our updates from Storm Chasers Brad Arnold and Chris Hall. Chris is in Kentucky. So Brad's down there, uh, closer to the the tornadoes and stuff. Uh, Chris is in Kentucky right now. And, and uh, by the way, just let me show you all this. I mean, son, this is a big storm. Daggone it, I'm sorry about the flashing. It's hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Look at this. Um, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings all the way down into southern uh, uh, Mississippi and Alabama. Tornado warnings uh, in Alabama. Uh, we're starting to see some strong storms move into northwestern Georgia. Uh, and, of course, in, in Tennessee, we, we've just got them, a really insane uh, storm moving through right now. Uh, and then up here into Kentucky, we're seeing that as well. And then we've got these new storms that are forming back here near Nashville that are having you know problems with hail and stuff. And, and then on the backside, it's snowing. It's snowing in Missouri. It's probably going to snow a little bit in Illinois and Indiana later today. Um, and then even up into the northeast. So... It's just super uh, dynamic how, what's going on here. we got some very cold air coming in, very warm air out in front of this. Uh, where they are clashing, we are just seeing an absolute mess of severe weather today. Uh, and, and just look at all these tornado reports as well. We've seen a ton of uh, tornadoes today. One of the more active severe weather days we've had in a while. And it just kind of sprung up on us uh, on the last minute here on uh, January 12th. Go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan, actually going to direct your attention down to the southernmost cells down there near Mobile, Alabama. Uh, currently, Mount Vernon and Citronelle are in a severe thunderstorm warning. But if you watch this supercell that's uh, prompting that warning, you can see, play back the last few frames, you can see the development of a hook echo. And I was keeping an eye on this one as the... Um, as it started to show a convergent signature, we see that often down here, it, it sort of goes from like this diagonal shape and then starts to form like the straight line. And then you see the hook emerge after that. I think that's what we're seeing down here. I'm looking at mesoanalysis. It's not quite the most supportive environment um, dynamically, uh, but that does not mean that this does not have the potential to become a dangerous storm as it uh, every frame, you know, looks a little more supportive of that. All right. Thank you very much. Meteorologist Andy Hill. This is looking concerning. It's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. You're under a severe thunderstorm warning in Mount Vernon, but this is just another one that we're watching. I wouldn't be surprised if we hear the beep, 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 and we come down here and are talking about a tornado warning in the near future. So we're watching that storm closely. Even when I leave this area on the radar, Andy, and you know, we're, we're watching all of these areas. So anytime that um, uh, you know something happens and, and we need to bring our attention there, somebody will let me know. But uh, uh, you guys out here should just be ready. Y'all watch out. Go ahead, Andy, again. All right. Sorry, Ryan. Rapid firing now. I was right on the money with that. Selma tornado should be or is on the ground. Now we've got a debris signature. All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to shift our uh, focus over here to Selma, Alabama. This is an extremely dangerous situation. We have a tornado on the ground here uh, just to the west of Selma. The National Weather Service, uh, I, I don't think, has upgraded that. I, I can't tell because our, our thing's not working again. But uh, d regardless, um, we need to be getting in our safe spots in um, Selma, Alabama right now. Uh, this is very close, and unfortunately, uh, this is going to go right through the town of Selma. I, I don't think that this is going to miss to the north or to the south. It's going to go right through. So we really need to get there now. Um, if we can get Ryan Carty in the number one spot, I think he's in Selma. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Sorry, Ryan. Uh, that tornado warning that just showed up, that uh, it didn't put a sound out, I think. But that's for Tennessee. There's actually okay. a couplet that's headed straight towards Dandridge, Tennessee, and Jefferson County. Um, uh, so that's uh, something we should take a look at really quickly. Okay. All right. 
Also, they did just upgrade that warning for Dallas County in Alabama to uh, confirmed <laughs> the graphic system isn't working right again. But this is on the ground. If you're in Selma, get underground or to your safe spot fast. Run. Don't walk. This is a dangerous situation. Also, uh, we've got a, a warning up here in, in Tennessee uh, that I don't see the polygon for yet. Um, let me pull this up. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah, so this is um, for like uh, Dandridge uh, all the way up here to, between the I-40 and the yeah the Interstate 40 uh, intersection there with Interstate 81 uh, near Banbury. This is a dangerous storm uh, with a potential tornado here uh, near Seville, Sevierville, Tennessee. So now we've got a big wall of damaging winds up here in Tennessee uh, causing problems and with embedded tornadoes as well. So you're under a tornado warning there uh, in Tennessee, and that's going to be for Jefferson County, Tennessee. Please take shelter now. Wow. Uh, so that's Tennessee. We're going to leave this radar up there. Um, see if I can't find a uh, better local. Yeah, I'm going to switch the radar site here uh, and we're going to keep. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That little knot right there in the, in the, in the front of it indicates that there could be a tornado. So that's going to come through Dandridge, Tennessee here soon. All right. So you got to get to shelter. Run, don't walk. Now we've got Baldwin County and Mobile County, Alabama under confirmed tornado warnings. Son, we've got tornadoes dropping out of the sky left and right right now uh, all across uh, Alabama all the way up and down this line of storms so we've got a big tornado getting ready to hit Selma Alabama you've got to get underground this is going to be a very bad situation okay this is not this is more than likely going to go right through the center of town and then also we've got a new uh, confirmed I believe uh, tornado a warning here for uh, Lambert uh, the Lambert Grove area and that's what that most recent one for once again that's Baldwin County, Alabama, and Mobile County, Alabama. Uh, that's what's going on uh, down here. We got a confirmed uh, tornado as well. This is the one that Andy was talking about a, a while back. This is why we want as many people watching as possible. We saw this one coming. We now have the official warning for it. Take shelter now. This is going to come to Mount a Vernon A new tornado next. warning has been issued. Another confirmed tornado uh, warning there for Atauga County and Dallas County, Alabama, uh, and, and this is associated with our extremely dangerous storm up here uh, near Selma. This is uh, a really unfortunate uh, situation right now that's happening. Is I, I think we've got a big one down, and it's moving into the town right now. Let me pull up the correlation coefficient. Oh, where's the best place to look at this? Probably Birmingham. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is not good. Once again... Um, Sunset Mill Village, the entire town of Selma, um, Brantley, all the way up to Manila and Burnsville, Alabama, uh, needs to be running, not walking to shelter right now as a, an extremely dangerous situation is unfolding. Uh, and there we go. New yeah. information. This tornado Holy warning smokes, has been upgraded. Guys, this is bad. We have a PDS tornado warning now for, uh, Selma, Alabama. This is also going to be for Manila, Alabama, all the way up towards Milton and Evergreen, okay? A, this is a life-threatening situation. A huge, deadly tornado is currently moving into the sound, town of Selma, and it's going to go right through the center of town, and then it's going to come up into Burnsville and Valley Grand. If you live, I'm not even going to do the mesoscale thing. I'm not even going to do the, uh, oh, it's by this Walmart, it's by this McDonald's. Every single place in and around Selma is in like one of the, the worst situations that you could be in right now, uh, anywhere on earth as a huge violent tornado is on the ground moving through right now. Okay. Uh, this is, looks to me like it's going to veer towards the, the Northern side of town. It's it's going through right now. Um, and then it's going to come up through highway 80 on uh, highway 14 on the North, on the North side. Beyond that, it's going to go towards Brantley and Manila and Burnsville my goodness, I, you've got to get to shelter. You have to go. You have to get there now. You do, you do not have any time to think about it. If you know anybody that lives out here, if you've got family members, friends, anything like that, you've got to call them. Let them know that this is an emergency. This is not a regular tornado warning. This is going to cause significant damage down here, more than likely, uh, in the Selma region of Alabama. This isn't the only place where we have a big tornado uh, right now either. There's another tornado on the ground uh, just to the south here, uh, north of Mobile, Alabama. 
All right, we got a tornado down. Um, my goodness, um, uh, near Lambert, uh, Lambert Grove, uh, Pinola, and uh, Movico, and Mount Vernon in um, uh, Alabama as well. Look at that. Holy smokes, y'all. What is going on today? Um, yeah, just a huge tornado here moving into Mount Vernon, Alabama. You have got to run, don't walk. Run, don't walk to shelter. Um, as uh, we continue to watch these storms unfold. Uh, Ryan Carty, have we done a refresh on him? Okay, but he's down on the, the CDN website too. Like we can't see anything from Ryan anywhere. Okay, we should probably put somebody else in the one spot then, whoever's closest. Um, all right, so uh, we do have storm chasers on the ground helping us out. Ryan Carty is in Selma, Alabama. I, uh, he's lost service. I don't know what's going on there. We will be trying to check in with him. But the last thing we saw from him was this right here. Um, so hopefully we get an update from him soon. But anyways, uh, right now in Selma, there is a huge tornado going through the town. It's uh, it's right there. I mean, there's no... Hopefully everybody in that town is in their safe spot because it's happening right now as we speak. Um, all you can do is hope that the 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 early heads up, the early warning uh, was enough uh, to, to get people out there because this is an absolutely causing significant damage in Selma right now. And this is a very populated area, unfortunately. Um, uh, the, there is a PDS warning, um, uh, but uh, right now, like if you're not in your safe spot in Selma, like you, you, you've got one second maybe to get there. So hopefully... We've got the message across for Selma. We need to start worrying about what's happening downstream. Okay, downstream, we've got Brantley, Manila, Burnsville, uh, Fremont, Bonita, Winslow, Evergreen, Independence, Vida Junction, um, uh, all the way up to New Prospect, Alabama. You're next in line for this tornado. Right now in Selma, a, a very dangerous, deadly tornado is ripping up debris, throwing it into the sky. Uh, that debris that's being picked up in Selma right now will likely rain down on Manila and Burnsville and Statesville right before the tornado comes through this area too. If it continues, we can hope that it lifts. We can hope that it doesn't continue, but right now it looks like this is going to continue to be a problem all the way up through Burnsville. Um, still not seeing anything from Ryan Carty. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 Andy, is that, picture that you sent from Ryan Carty? Yes. Okay. All right. So there it is. This is the actual last thing that we've seen we saw from Ryan. So, yeah. All right. That is a monster tornado and it just went through Selma. Um so unfortunately, guys, I do believe we're going to start hearing some uh some information from Selma about I I would imagine that that's that's probably going to be close to catastrophic damage there uh, in Selma. <clears throat> Uh, as this uh, large, uh, deadly tornado just went through, I think it's exiting the town now, uh, but now it's on Highway 14 between Brantley and Valley Grand, and it's going to continue to ride that area. This is a big one, too, okay? Let me show you that again, okay? This is a huge tornado. It's not just going to be on one road. It could take up the entire space between Highway 22 and Highway 14 and move up towards Burnsville and Fremont, okay? Uh, you've got a couple minutes if you're in Burnsville to get to shelter. If, if this right here doesn't do it for you, I don't know what's going to. This is coming to you, and it's going to be there soon. Uh, and then we're going to continue to see this uh, move up towards Fremont, Bonita, Milton, and Evergreen. So that's what's going on there. Um, we're we're, we're going to keep you updated on what just happened in Selma uh, as we get new information in. Uh, oh, it looks like we got... Ryan back up. I don't know. I don't know where exactly he is. I don't know if this is live. I don't know if this is kind of like playback or what, uh, but it looks like he's in the city. And, and from what I can see from where he is right now, the, wherever he is, there's not significant damage. I don't know if he's north or south of where the tornado just went or not, but um, we'll keep up. We'll keep up to date with him. The good news is that it seems like Ryan's okay. All right, so we're going to continue to watch this. Also, by the way, guys, I keep, I, I don't forget. I'm just like, there's a lot going on here. There is another very big tornado on the ground right now south of Pinola. 
All right. It, actually, it might not be very big, but it's strong and it's damaging. And it's moving up towards Mount Vernon, Alabama right now. We have two big tornadoes on the ground. <clears throat> and they're both like extremely impressive. Look at this one on radar. Screenshot that one. If you've ever wanted to screenshot a classic uh, supercell. There you go. Uh, th that It's very obvious. You don't even have to know much about weather to know that this is something you don't want to have to deal with. That's where the tornado is. That's the debris ball moving right towards Mount Vernon, Alabama. This is tornado number two. Tornado number one is still ripping up debris up here near um, uh, Selma. Okay, Selma, Alabama. We've got storm chaser Brad Arnold, uh, who's trying to intercept it as well. He's on Highway 82 down here. He's going to try to get down here near Booth and get in front of this thing. Uh, but this is going to act very similarly to the way a lot of the other ones have. It's picked up a lot of debris. Um, you know, it's it was a big tornado. It's probably going to lift, and then it'll come back down. It'll lift. It'll come back down. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Right now, I do believe that it's on the ground, and it's probably still looking. It's probably still looking um, something like this once again, which this is from Ryan Carty's live feed just moments ago uh, as this giant tornado uh, went through Selma or went, hopefully, we can hope to goodness that it went just to the north of Selma, which is a, a possibility right now. Do we have Brandy? Is she like listening to scanner feeds? Have you heard anything from Brandy? Okay. All right. So we should hear, we should hear something soon. Yeah, this is bad y'all. Um, if you guys see anything newsworthy uh, on Twitter, please uh, tag me in it. Uh, we're going to try to relay that um, information here. Because I know we got a lot of people tuning in that have family members, loved ones, relatives in Selma um, that uh, they're they're just wanting an update on it. They just want to know what's going on. So we're going to try to be able to give that information to them and also continue to relay new information on these the, the ongoing tornadoes. Uh, we've got a big tornado getting ready to go through Mount Vernon, Alabama. We just had a big tornado go through Selma. Now it's moving up towards Stateville and Manila. And then we've got a, a big time damaging wind situation happening in Tennessee. Uh, the storms, the line of storms is likely already passed through Sevierville now, but I know that they were in line uh, for a, a big uh, storm not too long ago. And now we've got a new tornado warning up here in Tennessee. So now we've got a tornado warning for Banbury, White Pine, uh, the I-81 corridor up there to the south and east of Jefferson City. So my goodness, y'all. Uh, Gatlinburg's getting some of the strong winds right now, but there is a new tornado warning in Tennessee. If you're in uh, Cook County, Green County, Hamblin County, and Jefferson County, Tennessee, you're under a tornado warning. Take shelter now. These storms are going to continue up towards Johnson City. These storms are going to continue over towards Asheville, North Carolina. So y'all get ready. You're next. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia is under a, a tornado watch. These storms are coming for you as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm, my team is telling me that Dallas County, Alabama has no feeds for emergency management right now, but we're working on getting info out of there. We'll let you know if we hear anything as soon as possible. I, I am really hoping that we hear that that tornado went North of the main area of Selma, because that that is a possibility, um, given how far away we were from then up next, it'll be into Bonita, Milton, Evergreen, and then Vida Junction. That's where Brad Arnold is right now. And you can see his camera above my feet or above my head. Now, let's come back back down here to the Mobile, Alabama uh, radar, where we are continuing to watch this storm, which is just unbelievable like it's unbelievable what's happening here with this just perfect supercell producing another uh, very dangerous uh, life-threatening tornado that's getting ready to move into Movico Alabama and Mount Vernon all right you've got a couple minutes uh, if you haven't got to shelter yet you got to get there now uh, downstream it's going to hit Fort Stoddard uh, Latham Tinsall uh, and uh, Montgomery Hill here in Alabama this is north of Mobile the the wide scale impact this is having is crazy. We're talking about Tennessee. 
We're talking about uh, the Gulf of Mexico, pretty much. We're talking about middle Alabama. Uh, These are extremely uh, dangerous storms, deadly tornadoes that are coming out of these storms, and uh, we've got to make sure that we're taking them seriously. All right, so big time uh, dangerous situation unfolding in um, uh, Mount Vernon right now. There you go. There's your tornado debris signature. Tornado is crossing Highway 43 between Movico and Mount Vernon right now. It's going to continue to go up this way towards Fort Stoddard. Everybody in Mount Vernon needs to be getting to shelter. If you're not already, you got a couple. I mean, you got seconds now. Uh, let's see here. So we're starting to hear that it does It does seem like that big tornado near Selma did go uh, just to the north of downtown. We're we're not a hundred percent certain on the details just yet, but it did. It does look like it went just to the north of downtown, and man, that was a big. That was a giant tornado. Oh my god! It's 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 January twelfth. Some damage here. Uh, Max Archer WX. Still, still, I'm I'm really hoping for um, good news out of Selma because according to radar, it looked like it went right right through town. But I'm I'm hoping that the actual base, the actual bottom of it, um, it went through some of the less populated areas. But we'll we'll keep you updated on that. Stay tuned here because we're gonna. We've got a, I've got a, people helping me out listening to like emergency management and stuff. We're going to know exactly what happened in Selma here soon. Here, oh, wow. Look at this. This is a photo from the Walmart in Selma. Holy smokes. That's from Caleb Legrone sent in to James Spann there. Jeez. A similar site to that is likely unfolding here in Mount Vernon, Alabama, right now. Um, We've got a a tornado down here. It's going to continue to move off to the north and west. Hopefully everybody in Mount Vernon is uh, sheltered. It looks like this one might have went just to the south of downtown, but we we can't know that for sure until after it's passed. Latham and Tinsall are next in line here. I wish I knew what happened there. Like Ryan's feed was up for a lot of that, but it was frozen. I don't know what happened. Radar debris uh, was being thrown uh, up to 17,000 feet in the air. Um, while the storm was going over Selma, I'm telling y'all that was not a, uh, that, that was a huge tornado. That was, um, if that did hit like the downtown area, like that's, that's just not going to be good as far as like the amount of damage that something like that can cause. Uh, So we're hearing now, according to WBRC Fox 6 News, there is a mile-wide path of destruction through downtown Selma. Uh, Potentially unconfirmed, but it seems like there is a mile-wide path of destruction through downtown Selma. Uh, Can you... Can you... Can you give us another refresh on Ryan? I, I feel like he's he's freezing, and we have to do something to bring it back up. I don't know why that's happening, but Ryan's in Selma.
Okay, so he must be actually down now. Just just try to keep an eye on that. If he's on there, and but he's not on ours, try to, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, guys, if you're just now tuning in, uh, we are down to two tornado warnings, but we they're both radar confirmed. If you're in Otaga County, Alabama, Baldwin County, Alabama, or Mobile County, Alabama, you have to take shelter now. Um, we just witnessed two very large tornadoes um, go through uh, um, Alabama, and here's live footage from Ryan of the damage in Selma. This, this uh, tornado just went through here minutes ago. This is live right now from Storm Chaser Ryan Carty of destruction, it looks like, uh, in uh, Selma. So unfortunately, it, it, I can't tell exactly where he is uh, from this, but it does look like uh, it, it, it didn't miss the town. It didn't miss the town. If anything, it, it went, either went through the center or uh, through the northern side of town. So we, we're going to see... Uh, unfortunately, tremendous damage um, uh, from Selma. And apparently there's a mile-wide path of destruction in downtown Selma from what we're hearing. That is, that is not what you want to see. My goodness. Once again, this was uh, one of the last images we saw of the actual tornado. Right before it got into um, Selma and caused the, uh, the damage that we're just now starting to hear about now. Oh, yes. Yeah. If Chris Hall is asking, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go ahead and send Chris Hall down there. We'll, we'll, okay, good. Yeah. And we might even make, uh, arrangements for, for us to go down there too. Um, at some point we're going to, we're going to stick with trying to focus on covering the, the future of these storms, the future, future progression of these storms for now, obviously, uh, we, this line's still going to go through Atlanta. It's still going to go through Eastern, um, uh, at, uh, Alabama and then into Georgia. So we're going to be here with you throughout all of that. Um, but uh, at some point uh, in, in situations like this, we do, uh, because we have so many people watching, because we have so many awesome people who are uh, generous and help us out and support our merch, merch store and stuff, uh, we, we go down there and uh, we, we try to help out any way that we can. We got big, two big trailers we could fill up with supplies and we'll get on our way as soon as we can. But we can go ahead and send uh, Chris Hall there now um, to get it started, to, to talk to people who need things and stuff. So if you're just now tuning in, uh, this is live severe weather coverage. Um, uh, and, and like, unfortunately, we just witnessed a, 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 a terrible uh, catastrophe in Selma, Alabama. Looks like a good portion of the city took a direct hit from a very large tornado. Um, additionally, we had another really big tornado go to between uh, Movico and Mount Vernon, Alabama. I haven't heard anything out of that yet, but it looks like it's recycling now. And there's going to be another big tornado drop here uh, as it goes into Tinsall and Latham, Alabama. So this is still happening right now. This is still happening. It's not over yet. Um, we've got a big tornado that is getting ready to come through this area right now. It looks like Brad Arnold is somewhere where that tornado just went. Clay County, Alabama um, is under a considerable warning, by the way. Where is Brad? Let me see here. No, Brad's still in front of this thing. I thought I saw damage on his feed for some reason. Considerable severe thunderstorm warning for Hamblin, Hawkins County, and Tennessee as well. This one's this one right here is getting ready to to do bad things again. I really hope everybody in uh, Latham and Tinsall is getting in their safe spot if they haven't got there already. 
This thing's ramping back up. It's going to produce another big one. Damage reports, uh, the owner of the Selma County Club, the Selma County Country Club, I'm sorry, the Selma Country Club says it's been destroyed. The, the Selma Country Club has been destroyed. Here's another video from the Selma Tornado. This is from Caleb Legron sent in to James Spann. This looks like it was at Walmart. Could you imagine being at Walmart and like seeing that? This was the, we, and we've seen a lot of different angles of this storm. A lot of them have been taken from this particular uh, Walmart too. Huge. Lots of videos. Obviously, I think everybody in Alabama knows who James Spann is. Uh, you, you should probably follow him on Twitter there because he's sharing a lot of this stuff from Selma right now. All right, let's come back up to Selma. Uh, once again, uh, still a very large um, storm that just went through Selma, dropped the big tornado. It looks like the, that hey, tornado. Ryan, hey, it's Brad. Hey, I'm actually having a retreat back east on this, uh, on this uh, county road. Um, nowhere to see. I did get to see it for a glimpse. It is, it's massive. Um, it's still on the ground, uh, still doing a lot of damage. It's massive. Okay, so uh, Brad is confirming that this is still on the ground right now, and it's doing damage here uh, near Independence. So the radar presentation looks a lot less impressive than what it was earlier, uh, but Brad's saying he's seeing that the tornado is still down, and it's somewhere in here between Evergreen and Independence, and it's going to continue to go up towards Vida Junction, Joffrey, Browntown, Oak Grove, New Prospect, Rollins, uh, Pine Level, the I-65 corridor between Pyron and Phase in Alabama. You got to take shelter. Oh, wow. wow. There it is. So this is a live look. This is happening right now. Uh, from Storm Chaser Brad Arnold of the tornado that is um, right now near Independence and moving up towards Vida Junction. This is happening right now. It's right behind that building there. Holy smokes. Look at the rapid rotation. You can see this thing. The, the storm is, as a whole is spinning like a top. And then you've got a damaging a tornado happening underneath that. Once again, near Independence. This is happening right now live from Storm Chaser Brad Arnold's uh, feed here. And the this tornado is right now between Evergreen and Independence, and it's going to continue to move on up uh, towards Vida Junction. If you're in Vida Junction right now, this is going to be over your house in two or three minutes. Um, four or five minutes, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit closer to eight in Joffrey, 10 to 15 minutes in Old Kingston, um, uh, uh, even longer than that in Browntown or Posey's Crossroads. Huge rotating storm. Um, we're not, we're, well, this is the same storm, by the way, that produced the big tornado in Selma. It's recycling right now. It's recycling right now, and, and it's probably going to do it again as it gets up there closer to Joffrey and Browntown. Even though you're not seeing anything make direct contact with the ground underneath that rotation, there is still it's, it's still doing damage. This is still a tornado. This is still, if, if that was to go over your house right now, it could still rip the roof off. Uh, it could still uh, cause extreme uh, damage to your life and property. And look at that. Holy smokes, y'all. This is nuts. This is nuts. There it is. And that thing is... That is not playing around. That is fast. It's, I, it's, it almost seems like it's sped up. This is real time, live, right now. 
Um, and, and this is getting ready to go through, uh, once again, Joffrey and then Brown uh, Town. What uh, Br- uh, Brad Arnold is doing right now <clears throat> is he is on um, a, a Tauga County Road 40, and he's looking up to the north and east. So the direction that he was just pointing his camera was towards Vida Junction. <coughs> And uh, now he is getting on that road and he's, he's heading east. The tornado is to his west. If he looks out his, um, uh, or his north, I'm, I'm sorry. If he looked at his uh, passenger side window right now, he would still be able to see it. All right, we're going to come back to him right here in a second. Real quick update on Selma. Selma, Alabama took significant damage significant damage uh, from the tornado that we just saw not too long ago. That's the same one that Brad Arnold is on right now. Um, Additionally, we have another tornado uh, down here a little bit farther to the south. It looks like this one's trying to let up a little bit, but if I'm in Tinsaw or Latham, Alabama, I am getting ready for this storm to come through um, north of Mobile because this is also going to uh, cause a lot of problems here if this decides to recycle like these ones to the north have. Uh, that's all the tornado warnings right now. Okay, we do have uh, severe thunderstorm warnings now for Johnson City, Tennessee, uh, out here near Burnsville, North Carolina, which we have a camera for that, by the way. We're going to be able to see that come in. Uh, and then, you know, all these areas. But the tornado warnings in Tennessee have been allowed to expire. Uh, what's going on here with Brett Adair? Brett Adair is... Um, okay, well, Brett Adair is like literally right in the path of this tornado too. So geez, man, these guys are dangerously close. So that big rotating part of the storm is going over where Brett Adair is right now. I don't know exactly how close he is to the circulation. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, make contact with the ground here, but man, Brett is right in the path of this tornado. He's on, um, let me figure out the road that he's on there. Brett is on Highway 82. He's pulled off on the side here uh, near Joffrey and Old Kingston, and he's just I, I, he's probably checking radar and trying to figure out what he's going to do next, but he is dangerously close uh, to that uh, tornado. And here's another view of it from Brad Arnold, Storm Chaser Brad Arnold here. Once he gets past these trees, you're going to be able to see it a lot better. Um, as the uh, Honestly, this has probably been the most visible uh, storm of the day. A lot of these have been shielded in rain. Uh, this one, you, you've actually been able to see it, or at least part of it anyways. Wow. Huge tornado. And yeah, we are still uh, hearing news from Selma. Not a good situation. That's all I can say right now. Uh, it's not good news. Looks like there was a mile wide path of destruction uh, through Selma. And the storm that Brad is on right now, the storm that Brad and Brett both are on right now is the same one that went through Selma. Uh, Patusco says, even if you can only watch, you can help by hitting the like button. Yeah. Uh, Doing that tells YouTube to promote us so that more people can be alerted to uh, what's going on out here. Uh, Go ahead, uh, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, I was watching the the couplet just reform on the storm that right next to Brett and Brad, and it is back on the ground now. Just past those trees, there's definitely a tornado on the ground doing damage now per the radar. Okay. Thank you very much, Andy. A new tornado warning. So now we've got a new confirmed tornado warning for Chilton County, Chilton County, Coosa County, and Elmore County, Alabama. A tornado still on the ground doing significant damage here uh, near where Brad Arnold is right now. This is near Joffrey. Wow. Who was that? Did you see that? Okay, that is, must be like a firefighter or something. So Brad Arnold has pulled up on the path of this tornado, it looks like. I don't know if somebody needs help or what, but uh, you can see that there's significant damage to the trees uh, and, and the buildings out in front of where Brad is right now. 
Oh, and that's somebody's house. That's somebody's house. Okay, I see. All right. So, um, unfortunately here, uh, what's happening is we just saw a tornado, a big tornado go through this area, okay? And now a, a severe thunderstorm is going to move in, okay? So, Brad Arnold is, is running into this house right now. Um, a severe thunderstorm uh, is, is getting ready to move into the area. So, the roof's ripped off of this house, and there are hundreds of houses in similar situations here. And now it's going to start hailing. The wind's going to start blowing again. Uh, we're going to see strong winds, heavy rain. It's just a terrible situation unfolding here uh, as uh, lots of people need help in, in this area. New information. This we tornado, got a new PDS tornado warning has been upgraded. Warning. We got a PDS tornado warning for Otaga County, Alabama. As you get hit by this tornado, it's important to remember what's going to happen next. The roof could get lifted off your house that the house altogether could get blown away and then it's going to rain it's going to storm it's going to hail keep that in mind do not take shelter in your pajamas do not take shelter without throwing on a pair of shoes first put on a helmet do everything you can to prepare yourself for what's getting ready to happen okay uh this is unfortunate it's a very unfortunate situation i'm sorry you're you're having to go through this but you need to do everything you can to protect yourself and make sure that you're prepared for what's going to happen next um, after this storm comes through all right so you want to preferably get underground you want to preferably get underground but if you can't get underground you want to get into the most interior room of your home and you want to barricade yourself with as many walls between you and the outside world as possible all right. And um, just brace, get ready for it. If you're in Brown Town, Oak Grove, New Prospect, Mountain Creek, Rollins, or Pine Flat in Alabama, we're minutes away from this tornado coming through. All right. And it is going to do significant damage. Oh boy. New information. It's going this to do warning catastrophic damage now, as the, uh, the National Weather Service has upgraded this to a tornado emergency. Okay, so a tornado emergency is something that only happens in very rare occasions where the National Weather Service believes that this is the kind of tornado that um, is talked about for years to come, all right? Uh, so this is what we're dealing with here. We've got a tornado emergency. Um, basically, nothing changes about what I'm saying, though. If you are in the path of this, your life is in more danger than it ever has been, more than likely, and you, you can't accidentally survive this. You have to try. And one of the things that you've got to do is make sure that you are getting into um, uh, the safest spot in your house. If you can get underground, obviously, please do that. But you want to get into a room in your house to where if you were to punch, if you were to punch through any of the walls, your hand would end up in another room. If your hand would go outside, you're in the wrong place. All right, so get into a closet, a bathroom, whichever one has the least amount of glass. Grab the mattress off the bed. Grab blankets, pillows, anything that you can to help add to the protection here because what's going to happen more than likely is not like people think that there's a tornado, you get sucked up. That, that, that rarely happens, all right? You, what's going to happen is pieces of your house are going to fall on you, and that's how you're going to get hurt. So if you protect your head, throw on a helmet, Make sure you got shoes on. Make sure you're ready to go after this thing gets by you, just in case you need to evacuate for whatever reason, a fire, whatever it is. You, there, there's going to be nails. There's going to be screws. There's going to be stuff laying around. You want to avoid that, all right? So uh, get everything you can ready and get into shelter now. You've got a lot of time to do this if you're way out here in um, Willona, uh, Pentonville, Speed, uh, Cottage Grove, Ray, all the way out here to, to Seaman, Weoka, and Weoka Mills out here in Alabama. You guys have got like 10, 15, 20 minutes, all right? So do it now. Get everything ready now. You don't have time. You have a couple seconds if you're in Oak Grove. You've got a minute or so if you're a new prospect. Uh, you've got, this is going to cross Interstate 65 here within the next couple of minutes. Uh, at Wadsworth, you don't have much time left. If you're in any of those places, you've got to run, not walk. Uh, to uh, your safe spot here as this thing is uh, just causing uh, just literally catastrophic damage uh, here um, in this part of the world. My goodness, look at that. That is one of the most impressive signatures you will ever see. 
for a tornado. And it's happening here on uh, January 12th down here in our um, enhanced risk. This is just absolutely crazy. Look at, you can see the thing rotating like a hurricane almost on radar. Like this is, this is nuts. And then of course, whenever uh, we look at the um, velocity here, we have a huge velocity couplet. We have, um, uh, once again, just this, everything that could possibly tell you that this is a huge tornado. We're talking about like on the EF scale on the higher end, this is what is, is showing up right here. This is what we're looking at. And now it's heading towards Mountain Creek um, and uh, eventually up towards Rockford in Alabama. If you're in Otaga County, Alabama, you are un there's a tornado emergency in effect, which once again is rare. They only issue it whenever we're 100% sure that uh, pretty much catastrophic uh, damage is going to occur because of uh, the tornado associated with it, okay? Uh, so anybody downstream here uh, needs to be getting in your safe spot. Once again, I do want to reiterate that if anybody knows somebody that lives out here um, that isn't paying attention to the weather, maybe they're at work, maybe they, they, they just generally don't care about this kind of stuff, um, you need to call them. You need to call them. Um, that stimulus about, you know, hey, my family member, my aunt that lives in Georgia that's watching this guy on YouTube called me like that. Something's got to be going on here. That could save a life. You could be a hero. Share share the information on social media. Just do whatever we can to spread the word here. Okay, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan. Also, I want to include everyone who's thinking about people driving on Interstate 65 south of Mountain Creek, Alabama, and north of Prattville. If you know anyone traveling on Interstate 65, please reach out to them. Let them know what's happening here. The hardest place to get information is while you're driving on a road, especially if you're solo. Uh, very well, everyone in this area driving on the interstate could not know that there is that this is ongoing, you know, just literally half a mile to the west of them right now. All right. Thank you, Andy. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to fix that here in a second. Uh, but um, sorry, you guys can't see Andy. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, we'll fix that. Uh, but like he just says, getting ready to cross uh, Interstate 65, um, and uh, then we're going to see it go into uh, Mountain Creek. Um, Andy, could you give us just a couple more words here? I'm, I've got to click like two buttons to get your, you fixed. I want to make sure you're here for this. Go, go ahead. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, some communities, smaller communities right in the line of this are going to be Marbury and uh, Coosa River. And, it, and then it's going to cross over the Coosa River and approach areas like Titus Church, New Home Baptist Church, Wayside Baptist Church, Mount Nebo Baptist Church. Uh, a lot of churches in this area that is mostly rural, but there are houses on every end road that uh, we need to be thinking of. Titus, uh, Alabama, if you know someone there, uh, please reach out to them. These are small communities, but perhaps we're able to reach uh, the people that matter in this uh in this situation to get information to them. This tornado is currently over Interstate 65 right now. It has just passed over the interstate and is uh, about to pass over also uh, Highway 31 paralleling the interstate. Then it's going to head straight towards Backwoods Hick Productions, Wadsworth Grocery, Pine Flat Church, Bethlehem West Church, uh, and to the north of Mount Zion Cemetery north of Deetsville, Alabama. If you know someone in that area, Locust Level Road, Coosa River Road, um, and uh, State Road 143 here uh, along Marbury Mountain Creek. That's uh, the area we're focusing on right now as it approaches Coosa River uh, and north of Jordan Lake in uh, Alabama here. All right. Thank you very much, Andy. Um, so we are going to continue... Uh, to uh, watch this as it moves up uh, to the north and east. This thing is still, it's still got a huge tornado down. Uh, we're still watching our storm chasers uh, track the thing um, up to the uh, north and east as well. Uh, right now, who's closest to this? Okay, well, B Brett Adair and Brad both New information. are a little this bit tornado um, has been behind uh, because they obviously they stopped to help that person. Uh, but now uh, they, they have extended that tornado emergency now into Chilton County, Coosa County, and Elmore County. So basically what just happened is all of these areas uh, that were under the just the tornado warning uh, out ahead of this tornado emergency, now you've been upgraded uh, to a, a tornado emergency.
Okay, uh, this is the only tornado storm that's going on right now. All right, so with, uh, I'm not going to zoom out. I'm not going to focus on anybody else. We're going to get these guys through this storm here, um, and, and then we'll start talking about other places. But this is um, this right here is is where the tornado is. Once again, one of the most impressive signatures you will ever see on radar um, for a, a, a tornado. Here, it's still lofting debris into the air. Um, and uh, we're just we're hearing all kinds of uh, crazy uh, stories and, and and news updates about what's happening here. I'm going to re relay those um, soon. But uh, uh, first, I've got to keep you updated on where this thing's going next. Let's see here. Okay. Goodness, there is so much going on here. This is uh, just um, just above Prattville and close to Pine Level, Alabama. Look at that thing. There is a lot. Unfortunately, a whole lot of uh, just just terrible uh, damage. Pictures and reports coming in. Holy smokes. And we'll get to that right here in a second. But first, I, I, I do just, I, I know we got a lot of new people pouring in. Uh, we got people sharing this all over. I, I really do appreciate you guys helping me get this uh, information out. It's life-saving information uh, that could really help uh, people out if they don't have some other adequate, adequate way of getting it. I just want to reiterate that right now we have a tornado emergency for Chilton County, Coosa County, and Elmore County, Alabama. Did you just hear your county name? Get to shelter, all right, because we have a life-threatening uh, tornado of the likes that we don't usually see uh, happening right now uh, in uh, Alabama, and it's uh, right now near Wadsworth, and it's going to continue to move up towards um, uh, uh, Lightwood, all right, within the next little bit. I've been doing my best to try to call out these town names and, and, and give you a heads up, uh, but really at this point, we just need to be going by county. If your county is under a tornado emergency right now, this is one of the few times that will happen in your whole life. So like, don't worry about exactly where the tornado is. Just get to shelter. Get to shelter if your county is in that um, tornado emergency. Wow. Yeah, I'm kind of speechless. This is, I mean, def I did not expect this to happen today. And the, the storm is hitting here now. Uh, we can hear the winds roaring outside at the studio. We are nowhere near any tornadoes, so don't worry about us. We don't have to take shelter, but we, uh, we might lose power. Very small chance, but just, just be wary of that. Still uh, a big tornado down uh, on the ground here, uh, south of Marbury. All right, this is where it is. That's where the tornado is right now. It's south of Marbury, and it's moving up towards Lightwood. It's getting ready to cross Highway 143. Highway 143, that's where it's going right now. Yeah, we got a 27 mile an hour wind gust there, and it sounds like maybe some small hail. You can hear it on the roof a little bit. Here's that graphic information on that tornado emergency. This is a life threatening situation. Seek shelter now if you're in Marbury, Alabama, or anywhere near it. This is a life threatening situation. Seek shelter now. Just absolutely astonishing what we just saw happen here. That, that right there is one of the craziest things you'll ever see. And it's not over yet. It's not over yet. This thing is still producing an insane amount of rotation. It's still lifting debris. 
who knows how long this will last. Honestly, we could see this go. We could see this storm be a problem all the way up into the edge of the, the warning there up near Alexander City. So I just really hope everybody is respecting the polygon in the words of James Spann there and, and getting in their safe spots. It, it'll be in Lightwood now within a couple of minutes. Lightwood, Alabama, you got to run, not walk to shelter. Uh, TYB time. Thank you. I appreciate all the support, y'all. I'm just watching the uh, the information flow in here. All right, here's a video. From Bama Box. I, this is from Bama Box. This is one of the several videos that uh, I'm seeing of the tornado. Uh, Bama Box. By the way, I am re I'm going to retweet this on Twitter if you want to see this up close. This was uh, just before it went through. I, I believe this was when the tornado was uh, near uh, Joffrey and Independence and down there uh, near where Brad Arnold and them were. I think this was before it actually got to its biggest point. But just look at how massive the storm is overall. Like this is something that you really rarely see, and the fact that we're seeing it in um, uh, January is, is is even crazier. Yeah, this was this was actually well before it wedged out and and produced the tornado emergency. That's that's when it was forming right there. So that is just an unbelievable uh, picture from uh, Bama Box. And I'm retweeting it. Right now, this is where the tornado is. Uh, to the south and east of Mountain Creek, it's still moving up to the north, e north and east. The good news is right now is that it's in a little bit more of a rural area. So um, I, I, there's not a lot of things. There's not a lot of houses and stuff out here. I can show you a little bit better about what exactly we're looking at here on this radar. Uh, we, it is going through Lightwood, but once it gets past Lightwood, uh, there's a, a good five, ten minutes or so of it going over um, the uh, Kuza River, where hopefully it'll die out before it gets to Wilona and Titus. But we can't assume that that's going to happen. All right, We have to assume that this is going to continue, continue to produce a damaging tornado as it goes all the way up towards Pentonville. All right, so right now, Lightwood, uh, Alabama, is experiencing a, a large tornado. And um, that is uh, going to continue to be a problem uh, for, for the next several minutes. Once it gets past Lightwood, then Wilona and Weoka Mills are next in line. Uh, we've got, what is this? Brad Arnold is, is close behind, but he's just not there yet. He's not caught up to the storm uh, just yet. Uh, really, uh, uh, like incredibly um, honorable thing that uh, Brad and, and those guys did, just pausing their storm chase to go help the, those people in that house. Um, but, but that did put them behind the storm a little bit, which honestly is probably a good thing because people in the path of destruction are, are probably going to need a lot of help over the next little bit. Wow, this is this was just a monster, y'all. Severe thunderstorm warning, considerable severe thunderstorm warning um, for Elmore County, Alabama. This is that um, big tornado that we saw from Brad Arnold earlier live on stream. This is the same one that hit Selma. This is the same one that we're talking about now. This has been a long-lived uh, storm that has produced several deadly tornadoes today. 
and uh, it doesn't look like it's done yet. It's still moving on. It's still continuing to uh, be impressive as far as uh, a rotation goes. It still looks like there's a tornado debris signature. What we can hope happens, however, is that this bows out. Remember the backward C shape. If we see a, more of a bowing kind of segment here, then the tornado threat's going to go down quite a bit, and the damaging wind threat is going to go up. But um, I, I'm just hoping that we, we see something like that, and we, we don't have to worry about the... Uh, tornado as much but man it's not happening right now we still have a very dangerous tornado on the ground right here to the east of mountain creek so we got to stay sheltered you want the best uh there we go so it just went past lightwood now it's going over the road between titus and we we uh willona titus road there it's going over titus road this big tornado is going to continue to go towards speed um, and go over Highway 231 now within the next couple of minutes. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, Ryan, just to reinforce the, um, the power of this uh, tornado, if you look at the correlation coefficient product, it, to the north of the circulation, all around Goodwater, Alexander City, that's all debris fallout. Uh, so you can see just debris from when it was hitting Selma just scattered all in the forward flank downdraft of this storm. Uh, all and it's like the entire you know forward flank of the supercell is all just uh, debris fallout that you can see there uh, so I, if that serves as another stimulus maybe for you to take action uh, then so be it um, that is literally the the debris from the previous tornado that you're seeing on radar now and now we have debris lofted from the current tornado that is still on the ground ongoing uh, approaching highway 231 going north south uh, south of rockford alabama currently so we're going to continue to see debris well through the storm thousands of feet up uh, and being spread to the north and east as it as the storm travels that direction all right uh, so you. zoom out zoom out ryan and show that just that amount of blues and greens that's all debris in the forward flank all right uh thank you uh andy we're gonna switch over to uh this to to really emphasize that wow Holy smokes. Yeah. So, um, wow. So this is uh, a lot of the debris that was picked up around Selma. I want you to watch. I, uh, Andy just did a great job explaining this. I had to go fix something or I would have kept up while he was doing it. But like, so the tornado went through Selma, picked up tons of debris, flung it 20,000 feet into the air. And then you can literally see it transfer up into the forward flank of the storm look at this this is pieces of selma in the sky all the way up here miles away oh my god look at, and look at that up here you can still see it there that is something that i think it, i think the last time we saw any, anything even close to that was mayfield that is nuts we saw the storm pick up debris near Selma, throw it up into the sky, and now it's literally, there's pieces of Selma, and all this debris is just uh, still up here in, in the forward flank of the storm. That is just something that you, you really rarely see. You really rarely see anything like that. If you're just now tuning in, we do still have a tornado emergency for Coosa in Elmore County, Alabama. As it does look like this tornado is still, it's still down. It's picking up new debris here and moving up towards Rockford and eventually Alexander City. Let me give you a <coughs> sorry, a more up close look here. Once again, the tornado is here. It's getting ready to go through Speed and Buick in Alabama. It's going to cross Highway 231 right here. And then beyond that, it's going to go to uh, Nixburg uh, and then Ray. All right, so this is this is where the tornado is right now. Um, you can still see the very classic shape and size of the supercell. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I just I hope it's over soon. I I hope that by the time this thing gets out of the tornado emergency box, that this thing is done. But unfortunately, today is the day of things that shouldn't happen happening. So that's what we're dealing with there. Still waiting to hear on more, um, I guess, news and information out of Selma. So far, we're just hearing that we've got very significant damage. And of course, we do have this live feed from Ryan Carty in Selma of uh, some of the damage there. So he was in Selma while this was happening. And um, he's stayed there ever since. So I, I'm assuming he's helping out. But we'll keep uh, keep an eye on that. And and yes, we do have Storm Chaser Chris Hall. You see Storm Chaser Chris Hall is in Perry County, Kentucky. I believe he's either on his way home or he just visited his home and he and then he's gonna leave and go south. So we're gonna we're sending uh, some of our storm chasers to um to, to, to go help. Well, if you're new here, we do this thing where the y'all squad shows up and um, we just, we're, we're going to try to fill up some trailers or we're, we're, we're going to try to do something to help out down there in Selma because in situations like this, we always have people that are watching and, and people that are uh, helping us out on the ground that are in the area and can immediately go help. So we're, we're in the process of working that out right now as well. So thank you all for your generosity and allowing me to do stuff like that. I hope we can do at least a little something to, to help people out down there. I don't know what exactly that entails just yet, but we are going to try to do something. Michelle, thank you so much for becoming a slight risker. So we very likely have an EF3 or higher tornado ongoing in Otaga County, Alabama. Um, the discrete supercell will be absorbed by the squall line and pose a damaging wind threat even after the tornado threat lessens. Well, that was an official mesoscale discussion from Storm Prediction Center. Even, even they are saying that this is likely an EF3 or higher um, tornado here and it's just now getting ready to cross the road between speed and buick in alabama and i i i hope that that's the last that we have to deal with it this this supercell is getting ready to get completely obliterated by the line so that's that's great news that that's fantastic news When that happens, the tornado threat should go down substantially. Yeah, we should probably start work looking for uh, hotels for... For Chris around Selma it doesn't have to be in Selma but um, yeah and uh, Chad if Chad can hear me right now we, 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 let's just do a sticker let's just, let's do a sticker I think we're gonna need it I, yeah, I, I may go down there myself. We don't have, I, I think Chris, Chris is obviously going to be down there to help. Um, I don't know. A new tornado warning has been issued. We'll ask around and see if any of the other chasers want to, want to do anything as well. But I, for something like this, I, I think that I, I'll try to make arrangements to go.
All right, let's get links to that in the uh, the chat. Uh, guys, so, I, you know what? I'm not going to pull the graphic up on, on the screen I, because we want to continue to uh, cover this warning. But a lot of you are sending Super Chats right now through YouTube. If you want to help us go down there and, and deliver supplies and help people in Selma, please consider doing it through our website, shopryanhall.com. There's a big sticker at the top of the page. You can pick your price, and all the profit from that that sticker is going to go towards our relief efforts. Okay, um, the super chats and all that stuff is is appreciated. It's just like YouTube takes a certain you know amount of that, and like it's just easier for us to keep up with it on the website. So shopryanhall.com. The mods are going to put links in the um, the description. Get you a sticker, pick your price. We're going to take all the profit from that, and we're going to hopefully go down there with uh, tens of thousands of dollars and, and do what we can for the people of Selma. If you're just now tuning in, what we are doing uh, is we are covering this uh, catastrophic storm that just went through Selma, Alabama. It looks like it's letting up. It looks like it's trying to let up. It's trying to, but it's not being very... Um, it's not being very successful at doing that uh, because actually right here at the last minute, it looks like it's ramped up once again. Uh, we've got a big debris ball here. Uh, we've got a tornado debris signature. So it still looks like this thing is on the ground. Uh, so at, at no point <laughs> until this tornado emergency is allowed to uh, be expired, at no point uh, should anybody um, come out of their safe spot. I'm just hoping for the best here. I am hoping for the best um, as, 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 as this, this is going to end at some point. It's just not right now. Look at that progression on that, man. I mean, this is, this is insane. There it is. Thankfully, it's in a pretty rural area right now, but some of the places um, that are in the direct path of this thing, still a big giant tornado on the ground <clears throat> coming for you in Nixburg, Equality, and, and Cottage Grove in Alabama. This, is, uh, this just went past speed. It's halfway between speed and Nixburg right now. It's going to cross over Highway 9 soon. Okay, this is going to happen very soon. Um, so make sure you're ready for that uh, out there uh, um, near Nixburg uh, in, in the next 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes or so. Uh, hopefully you're already in your safe spot. There's really no excuse for anybody to not be in their safe spot right now. We have been talking about this storm since before there was even a tornado warning for it. Andy brought it to our attention and we followed it every step of the way. You've known this is coming for a while. Hopefully if you've been watching if you, if you haven't got to your safe spot yet, you've got to go now. Uh, if you're in Nixburg or, or Ray, remember we do have a tornado emergency for uh, Coosa County, Alabama, which is the highest level, the highest level um, uh, tornado warning that can possibly be issued, and it only happens in very seldom cases uh, where uh, we, we are expecting catastrophic damage. And my phone is going nuts. My phone is going nuts. And my team is telling me there's currently about uh, 800 of you on the site. Thank a you. A new tornado emergency. And now we have a new uh, tornado emergency for uh, Tallapoosa. <laughs> Tallapoosa County in Alabama. So that's going to be an extend an extension of our current warning. Oh man. All the way out now to Alexander City, Jackson's Gap, Daviston, all the way out there, uh we have a and a tornado emergency that continues to go on. This is not over yet. The the squall line is trying the squall line is trying to overtake the supercell. And whenever that happens, the tornado threat is going to decrease dramatically. Okay, 
but it, right now it's not it it's only amplifying it look at how much more uh, rotation we have here we still have new debris being lofted up into the air this is a large damaging uh, destructive tornado on the ground still it's been on the ground for a while i mean this is something that like it's still kind of all like hitting me like this is crazy what's just happened this has been on the ground pretty much the whole time or at least intermittently from before Selma all the way up to where it is right now. This is a long track violent tornado. It's not done yet. Alexander City, Jackson Gap, and Davidson, please take shelter now as an extremely, extremely uh, dangerous situation um, uh, is unfold unfolding here. Sheila, thank you so much for the support. I don't want to talk too much details about um, the our relief thing until we have uh, our, a, a more solid idea of what we're doing. But Chris Hall did just text me and he said, I'm on my way. I didn't even pack clothes. So he, he's he's going to be there before I am and he, he'll be able to make it talk to the right people, get in touch with emergency management so that whenever I show up and, and, and the y'all squad shows up, we'll be able to just boom, 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 help people get supplies to them and, and like it's very we're very grateful to have Chris for that very reason. Thank you so but seriously thank you to everybody who's helping us do that. Right now uh we still have a tornado on the ground here uh near Nixburg. It's just south of Nixburg. It's gonna parallel Highway 22 up to Elkahatchee Heights and then Elkahatchee Park. Before that it'll cross over Fish Pond. All right. Uh, very large, damaging, violent tornado here uh, that's getting ready to go across Highway 259 into Fish Pond. It's south of Nixburg right now. If you are in Alexander City, uh, Tohopeka, New Site, or uh, Davidson, or um, Hampton, or Denver in um, Alabama, you've got to seek shelter now. This is a, a now listen, Alabama. You guys are used to tornadoes. You know about them. You, you, you've you've been through tornadoes before. This is not a normal one, okay? This is kind of like, this is upper echelon, even for Alabama tornadoes. So you've got to take this one seriously. Your life is in danger, especially if you're in some place like Fish Pond, Alabama right now. You cannot accidentally survive this. You have to try. So you've got to run, not walk to shelter, and barricade yourself in, uh, with as many walls between you and the outside world as possible preferably ground too. You want to get underground, but I know a lot of us don't have basements. So if you don't have a basement, get into that interior closet, grab the mattress off the bed, grab the helmet, put it on and brace for impact. Keep me with you. Keep me with you. And uh, we'll get through this. We'll get through it. Some damage uh, coming in from around Selma. This is from Deborah Brown. Oh, man. Yeah, you can see that in the distance there that there was some very significant damage uh, to the downtown area of Selma. We'll try to full screen that. You can see it a little bit better. So it's hard to tell exactly which part of the town took a direct hit, but you can see that some parts are... All right. I mean, obviously there's damage here, but if you look in the distance there beyond the woman in the yellow shirt, um, I think that's probably where the, the bulk of the storm went. Yeah, look at that. So very significant damage here in Selma. And we're just hearing about more of it as time goes on. Uh, my team is telling me... Um, Extensive damage reports are coming in uh, out of Prattville in Otaga County. 18 wheelers and trailer homes are turned over. People walking in the streets. Avoid County Road 31 and 68. So avoid um, County Roads 31 and 68. Extensive damage. Now that's Prattville. So this is obviously this is still uh, causing tons of problems even after it it's gotten past um, 
uh, you know, uh, Selma. So obviously this has been a, a damaging tornado this entire time. Uh, the unfortunate reality is that when, when this is over and all the rain clears out behind here, I think that we're just going to hear about one of the worst paths of destruction from a tornado that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, just, just from what I've seen from radar. Now, the good news is I think that for a, a, a good majority of the path of the tornado, it was completely over like very rural land. But anytime it came into contact with a community, it, it, it's destroyed it. So this is just moments ago. Um, this photo is from Richard Tanton. Shoot, man. Uh, it shows apparent tornado in Atonga County. Fire officials report injuries and damage along County Roads 43 and 68. Please avoid the area. My goodness. Yeah, that's huge. That is a big one. Uh, the tornado was lofting up debris up to 25,000 feet in the air uh, as it was uh, entering the Alexander, or pretty much right now, still to this moment. It's 25,000 feet into the air. So this thing is still, I mean, it's huge. Uh, it's destroying homes. It's destroying uh, the forests out here. I just hope that people near Fish Pond and Elkahatchee Heights are, are aware of the situation. Every single soul in the path of this needs to understand the gravity of what's happening here. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Hi, Ryan. Uh, lots of uh, impatient people in chat right now for the Macon storm. I would say right now you guys were not focusing on that because there is no imminent tornadic threat uh and that we can see on the radar however you are in a tornado warning so you should know the first thing you do when you receive a tornado warning on your phone is to take us with you but go in the basement and wait for further um uh further news on this storm so because we haven't updated you on something yet that is a, that's a good thing that you know nothing extreme is happening with this storm uh, that we need to tell you imminently but we do have many many eyes on this uh storm right now so rest assured we're gonna let you know the moment something noteworthy does happen yeah thank you andy um yeah guys there's there's so many people involved with this like every emergency management office in uh these states are watching us right now um you, the police departments fire departments and and of course we've got Andy and we've got other meteorologists helping us out in the background. We're not, we're not ignoring you. We're paying attention. As soon as something is that's relevant uh, pops up, we are going to relay that information. But we have a like uh, once every couple of years historic giant tornado on the ground out here in Alabama that we have to cover. We have to stick with this because there are people in the path. Believe it or not that are still unaware more than likely of what's going on here and the, the exact gravity of the situation. So if you are one of those people and you just now tuned in and you're in Alexander city, Alabama, Lake Hill estates, Topa, uh, Tohapika sessions, Easton, any of these places in Alabama, you've got to get to shelter quickly. This is a tornado on the ground that has produced uh, catastrophic damage in some areas. It's definitely caused some significant damage in Selma, um, and uh, it's going to continue to do so until the squall line completely eats it up. And it, that hasn't happened yet. So we need you to take shelter in Alexander City, Lake Hill Estates, in Sessions and Easton. It's important to remember, too, that even when the tornado does get erased, whenever that stops being a problem, the damaging winds are going to continue to be a problem for a while with this storm. Okay, it's not just going to end. It's not just going to stop. 
Uh, it's going to continue to be a problem. So uh, th this is going to be a line of storms that we have to watch closely through the rest of the time that it's in Alabama, pretty much. Um, I'm just hoping to goodness that this little curl right here gets bowed out because that'll be one of the first signs that uh, we're, we're, we're exiting the, the tornadic period of the storm. But it's looking like it's not going to happen anytime soon. So Alexander City, Lake Hill Estates, Piney Point, take shelter now. In the immediate path of this thing, right here's the tornado. Right here's Mount Zion. You guys have got a minute or so before it gets to you. And then it's going to go to White Oak Landing and Greenbrier. You got a couple more minutes on top of that. So please take shelter now. This is uh, one of the more dangerous situations that you'll ever find yourself in. And we'll get through it. To make sure you're taking shelter. Put, protect your head. Uh, Brad Arnold is saying that uh, he's finding sheet metal in the road 20 miles north of where the tornado crossed. Let me repeat that. Brad Arnold is saying he's finding sheet metal in the road 20 miles north of where the tornado crossed. Let's see if we can't get an update from him. Hey, Brad, we've got you pulled up, and uh, we just saw your tweet about the sheet metal. Can you just kind of give us a, a rundown on what you've been seeing and, and, and what's going on out there? Yeah, Ryan, so at, at one point, we were probably about 15 to 20 miles north of where the main circulation crossed uh, to the south of me. Um, there were branches that were on the ground. There were a couple trees that we were able to get around. Uh, I think that was mainly from the straight line winds. Uh, right but we were I, I've seen about five to ten I'm times smart. where there have been large chunks of sheet metal from people's roofs uh, and, and, and not in just one spot. So it wasn't just a damaging wind event, but it was across multiple areas, uh, just kind of sporadic areas. Um, so that, that tells me that this thing is lofting debris very, very high into the air, uh, but the debris field on this thing is, is massive. Massive, Ryan. All right. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, I, I, I do think, like, Selma is, um, Selma obviously took a direct hit, and, and there's as a lot of damage As far as my there. plan goes, uh, I am trying to get to, uh, okay, just stop the road. I'm trying to get to uh, Alexander City because uh, that's a pretty pretty populated area. Okay. All right, this is Chase. Chase Goldman. Some more damage there from Movico, Alabama. I didn't realize Brad was in the number one spot. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so significant damage coming in. Uh, Brad Arnold is seeing debris rain down out of the clouds 20 miles away from where the tornado hit. So whenever that happens, you, I mean, it's, you just know that it's, it's one of the really bad ones. Once again, EF3 or higher, more than likely higher than EF3 uh, once the damage is surveyed. Um, and and and, and it, it's just it, there's a lot of areas that this hit. I can't tell you how many different town names that we called out during the stream uh, that I haven't heard anything from yet. Let's follow this thing back here. So obviously we'll, we'll start around Selma. It hit Selma. We know about that. We we know what happened there. We we've heard about that. Um, it hit Burnsville. I I don't know if we've heard anything from Burnsville yet. Um, then it got huge. It got absolutely humongous. Uh, went uh, between um, uh, Booth and Mountain Creek. Uh, this is where we got a report saying that damage re was reported along 68 in the uh, area of US 31. This is where we got a report that there were like people walking around in the streets and like people's houses were destroyed and stuff here and injuries. Um, can, we continued to see a very large damaging tornado uh, all the way up into um, the Lightwood area. We, we got a report of a tornado observed crossing Lightwood Road. Um, heavy damage was reported. Uh, and then, of course, we continued to see this tornado all the way up into uh, where uh, Ali, uh, Brad Arnold is right now. And then eventually, it just uh, the most recent radar scan that we've got was from Alexander City or, or just south of Alexander City. And it still looks like there's a tornado down there. 
um, as this thing is trying to stop. It's trying to be done, but it is not done yet. Holy smokes. Seriously, it's something that you, you, you this, a storm like this is something that you don't see very often. Uh, this will be one that is talked about for a long time. My goodness. And once again, and if, if anybody's just now tuning in, I, I, I really want to point this out again to show the significance of what happened here. The tornado probably at one of its moments of peak intensity hit around Selma, picked up a bunch of debris, right? So this blue ball here, this dot, this is debris in the air. That's how we know that there's a tornado there without even seeing it with our own eyes. So if I push this forward, watch what happens. The tornado sucked up that debris, lofted it up 20,000 feet in the air. And then look at, the, look, this is the whole supercell, right? This is the whole storm. This is the bottom of it. And this is like the top of it. Whenever you're looking at a radar image, you're looking at a 2D slice of a 3D reality. So like, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, this is the base of the storm where the tornado is. And this is like up at the top of the storm. If you were in Montgomery looking at the storm, you would see the top of it over here, right? So anyways, what's happening is the tornado would lofted that debris up into the air. And now we're starting to see it on the correlation coefficient up here in the supercell and watch it take the shape of the supercell. Like all of this, all this blue and, and yellow and orange and stuff up here is pieces of Selma, uh, Alabama and, 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 you know, like pieces of the forest around it in the air, in the sky, falling in and around Alexander city. And look, it's still there, by the way, Selma got hit. I don't even know how long ago, an hour ago or more. And pieces of that debris are, are still in the sky up here near uh, Weedowee. Like this is, that, that is, I mean, if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. And then of course, um, whenever the tornado picked up again and, and really became another monster here, um, we're seeing new debris, a new debris field kind of uh, uh, forming here. So this is the debris from Selma, and this is some of the new debris that's popping up right here. So it's literally not only... Uh, is it like storming? It's getting ready to storm uh, pretty bad in New Site and Wadley and Roanoke in, in uh, Alabama. It, it's probably going to rain debris it, 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 to some extent. Uh, like Brad was saying, he saw sheet metal laying in the road 20 miles north of where the tornado hit. So that was, who knows where that came from. Absolutely nuts. Latest update on our tornado here. We still have a tornado. Well, actually, the tornado emergency is is gone now. We now have a a PDS tornado warning for Tallapoosa County in Alabama. As uh, we still have a tornado here, I believe. We still have a tornado doing damage. It's going between Alexander City and Jackson Gap right now. I'm, I, I've said this too many times, but I'm, I'm hoping that it lifts. But if it doesn't, this warning is in effect all the way up to Daviston, Alabama. And we've got we've to be prepared for what this thing is going to do all the way up through there. Um, J. Pasca Frogs. I am, dude, I cannot say your name. Thank you so much, though, for... Uh, becoming a, a member. I really appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. Yeah, and we've got a live view of some of the damage in Selma here, which I think that's frozen again, but you, you can you can get the gist here. Selma took a very hard indirect hit. Also, here's a picture from somebody in Alexander City of the hail. So not only are, you know, is little pieces of debris likely falling from the sky out here, but we've got hail as well. Major hail storm uh, getting ready to work into New Site, Alabama as well, in areas just north of Jackson's Gap. Dude, when? 
Dude, when is this tornado going to go away? This is nuts. How long? Do we have a number? Like, how long have, is this path? Like, obviously, I think it's lifted a couple of times. Like, this is, this is crazy. Uh, go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan. To the best of my ability, uh, now a few minutes ago, or like five or ten minutes ago, it was shared that it was on the ground for about 36 miles. So I'd say it's probably traveled 40 miles now because, yes, it, it is still on the ground. Um, it is a very tight signature now. I'm watching it from the Montgomery radar. It gives you a much better look at it. All right. Thank you so much, uh, meteorologist Andy Hill. 40 miles is crazy. And the storm as a whole, this, this specific storm that we are uh, uh, looking at here, we've been tracking it for, I, I mean, just a very long time. So it's nuts. And yes, it obviously it still is on the ground here north of Jackson's Gap. We are just going to stop assuming that it's ever not going to be on the ground and we're going to uh, continue to be in our safe spots. Thankfully, it's in a little bit less of a populated area, but it's still uh, in an area that uh, could definitely um we could see uh, more damage reports from communities like sessions uh Tohopeka, zana denver hampton butson and davidston in alabama this is the tight little rotational couplet right here that's where the tornado is and this is where it's going it's going right towards eagle creek in alabama take shelter now Uh, Cat Bryant, Drew Driscoll, thank y'all. I do need to get up with Chris. Hey, Chris. Um, obviously, we haven't got to talk a bunch, but uh, I was just wondering what your plans are, where you're going. Obviously, we're going to help you figure that out. But do you have any? Have you heard anything so far about where you're going and and anything like that? So Chris Hall is on his way down there to help us do the y'all squad shows up thing. So I'm just interested in. And hearing what his thoughts are right now. Usually what he'll do. No, not yet, Ryan. I just walked in my house. I'm packing clothes. Usually I have a suitcase with me and I didn't uh, pack anything for this chase because it's uh, overperforming this time. But yeah. as of right now, uh, your guess is as good as mine. We'll just have to figure that out whenever we get down that way. All right. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that Chris is actually packing clothes. Anyways, what he's going to do is he's going to go down there to Selma and to this some of these areas that just got hit by this tornado. He's going to assess what's going on. We're going to take uh, all, all the um, generosity from from you guys that we're we've been getting from the the website, uh, and we're just going to go help people. Like that, that's what we do. Like it's not a, like we're not a charity. We're not like a a five hundred one c. It's 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 not anything like that. It's simply just like hey, like what do you need? Like, you know, Chris or, or I or somebody will go down there and be like, what do you need? You need a generator? Okay, we'll go buy it for you. Uh, you need food? You need water? Okay, we'll go buy it for you. In some cases, and and like we've done this before, in some cases, oh, you need a new car? Okay, we'll buy it for you. And it's simply because um, of your all's uh, involvement here. All the all the profits from the merch site uh, are, are going to go for, to that uh, for, for today. So, uh, if you want to help out with that, you don't have to, you don't, you do not have to, we, I, we're going to do this regardless if anybody goes and buys anything or not, like we're, we're going to go do this. But if you want to help us do it even better, uh, you can go to shopryanhall.com and get you a sticker, get you a little sticker. Uh, it's at the top of the website and um, you can pick your price on it. If you, if you don't want anything else, uh, you can pick your price on it and all the profits from that will go towards what we're going to be doing down here. And of course, there's a lot of profit on a sticker, especially if you pay more than like five bucks for it. Like it doesn't cost much to make a sticker. So that that's the whole point around that. No red tape, no BS. That's the whole thing. Considerable severe thunderstorm warning now for Chambers County, Alabama.
uh, it's important to remember that w- w- these severe thunderstorm warnings are are going to be very um what should I say? Are going to be very dangerous as well. Whenever the tornado threat eventually dies down, uh, it's not over. Uh, the, the the severe winds are going to continue to be a huge problem. Here is I-65 north of Prattville. Uh, the driver was trapped but not injured. Not injured. This these photos are from Derek Freeman. They sent them into James Spann there. A new tornado warning has been issued. Got a new tornado warning for Covington County, Alabama. And that's way down here. Uh, near Evergreen and Red Level and Nat in Alabama. So take shelter now if you're over there. We did have a tornado warning earlier near Macon, Georgia. That has been allowed to expire. Sorry, I haven't been able to shift my focus around as much. We've been... <laughs> kind of locked in on this this tornado which first dropped back here and has been on the ground for this amount of time that's that's nuts Andrew Lott thank you man A new tornado warning has been issued. Got a new, new tornado warning for Baldwin County, Georgia, and um, uh, Jones County, Georgia. And that's a radar indicated warning there. Atlanta, I, I see a lot of people in the in the chat are asking about Atlanta. You're not under any warning yet, but this part of the line is about to go through Atlanta. I'm hoping that we're not going to have to worry much about a tornado situation out there. Uh, but obviously, you're under a tornado watch, and we've got to watch it closely. We will be focusing on Atlanta as the storms get closer to you, I promise. We just we've got to see this through. I mean, the, the storm is still producing a tornado up here near Sessions, uh, Alabama, right now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it crosses the state line, becomes a dual state tornado here. Uh, but hopefully, I mean, I I, the, I can only call out these town names so often. I, I we've been we've literally everybody in front of the storm has had the most ample warning that, that you could just about ever get for a tornado. Like it doesn't get any more like you were well warned than this like this these these are the kinds of storms that while they are the most dangerous they are definitely the most deadly a lot of the times they are the the easiest to kind of get ahead of and be like hey like take shelter like even like way downstream i, I feel like we we were telling people in some cases 30 minutes to an hour before the tornado even got to them that it was coming so you know once again butson hampton and Denver, you're in the path of this tornado. If you haven't gotten to shelter yet, for whatever reason, you need to get there now. Jay, thank you. I just got uh, the most incredible, um, I think, image of this tornado that you'll see. Uh, I've retweeted it on Twitter. I, I don't know if I have permission to share it. I've, I've just asked them. So we'll we'll see if I can show it on stream here. But if you don't want to wait for that, go to Twitter um, and, and look at my most recent retweet. That this is, 
this reminds me of like the tornadoes that we saw in Alabama on in, in, in 2011. It reminds me a lot of the, the 2012 uh, tornadoes. Um, I mean, the, the, this is a big, this is a, this is going to be a, a higher than an EF3 uh, for sure. That's nuts. I, I'm I'm honestly just speechless. Normally I would just show it, but I, I feel like this guy is a storm chaser. And and for some for whatever reason, storm chasers get really mad whenever I show their stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in his DMs. I'm like, hey, can I show this so that people in Butson like take shelter? Because if you saw this and you're not in your shelter right now, you would get there after seeing this. It's got a horizontal uh, vortices, the tentacles that come out of the tornado. I mean, I mean, like it's just nuts. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, we are doing live severe weather coverage for a uh, just a, a catastrophic storm system that is unfortunately a new caused tornado a significant warning has damage. been issued. And uh, unfortunately, I, I would be very surprised if, if there are no casualties, no, you know, n nothing like that. Um, we don't know anything about that yet, uh, but uh, we'll keep you updated um, as time goes on. Scanner is um, going crazy with damage reports. <sighs> I don't think I'm a competitor. I, d I don't do storm chasing. <laughs> so I don't know why a storm chaser would see me as a competitor. <laughs> That does not make any sense. The rotation on that has lit up some. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to go check in on this storm over here near Macon, Georgia. Um, I'm going to put the velocity on. So there's definitely rotation with this storm. But boy, is that a different picture <laughs> than what we've been seeing uh, off to the west. Definitely don't want to um, demean it. Don't, definitely don't want to say that we shouldn't take this seriously. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't see any sign that there's a tornado down right now. It could happen. I mean, we know how tremendously primed the atmosphere is right now for uh, tornadoes. But, um, yeah, this, this is coming in towards gray um, Georgia right now. you got to take shelter. Bluntsville, Fortville, uh, Morton in Georgia, please take shelter now as – this could turn into something very significant uh, very quickly. Oh my goodness. This thing is still rotating like crazy. It, 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 it looked like it was trying to calm down for like two seconds. And then now it's, um, it's trying to do something again. So we might see this recycle as it, it's going through Butson right now for, the, for anybody who missed it. Um, and then it'll go through Denver, Frog Eye, Bosworth, and Shiloh. Please take shelter immediately. This is going to be a rough one. Keep us with you, and we'll get through this together. Uh, pay for it like t the Weather Channel would? Hey, I would gladly pay for it, but how am I supposed to pay for it? <laughs> like, I pay, like, all these storm chasers right here. Like I'm paying all of them like a lot. I, I just I, like if, if uh, when it comes to like, if there's a tornado on the ground, all right. And like, it's going towards the city and you're a storm chaser and you post it on social media and you did that for money only. That's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. Like, I, I feel like there should be a way 
that we can figure out how to let me show it, let James Spann show it, let whoever show it, and then worry about the money later. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. But you guys can see it anyways. And, and that specific tornado I, will hopefully soon not be something that we're actively trying to track down anyways. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning out here uh, near Marion, Troutdale, and Jefferson. We got that tornado warning out here in um, Georgia as well for Baldwin and Jones County. And we still have the radar confirmed tornado warning out here just to the east of Alexander City. As this, this is the little, not the little, the big tornado that could. And it just does not want to get up, give up. Now uh, we got this tornado getting ready to come into Tiller Crossroads, Bosworth, Shiloh, Trammell Crossroads. Um, we're going to see it come into Milltown, Rock Fence, Chapel Hill, White Plains, Doublehead, Welch, uh, Coombe Mill, Finley, Standing Rock, Five Points, and all these places in eastern Alabama take shelter now. This is the same tornado that has caused the uh, tremendous damage that we've been looking at um, uh, throughout the, the rest of the state here. Wow. So this is uh, a lot of the debris. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys this again. Uh, my uh my program is not letting me do it. Wow. So I'll just show so it this, this is way. Uh, a lot of the debris that was picked up around Selma. I want you to watch. I, uh, Andy just did a great job explaining this. I had to go fix something or I would have kept up while he was doing it. But like so the tornado went through Selma, picked up tons of debris, flung it 20,000 feet into the air. And then you can literally see it transfer up into the forward flank of the storm. Look at this. This is pieces of Selma in the sky all the way up here, miles away. Oh, my God. Look at, and look at that. Up here, you can still see it there. That is something that I think, it, I think the last time we saw any, anything even close to that was Mayfield. That's nuts. This tornado is still producing new debris here, south of Wadley. All the old debris is floating on up here. Piece, still pieces of Selma, pieces of some of these other smaller communities are still in the sky. As that tornado put them up 25,000 feet in the air or so. More damage from Selma. Jeez, man. The debris has gone like, yeah, close to 80 miles. Oh, 
So the Storm Prediction Center has upgraded the tornado risk today to a 10% hatch zone out in front of this. So the the thing is, is like we we might not be we might not even be close to being done with this. Like these storms are going to have to make it into um, Georgia. They're going to have to make it past Atlanta pretty much uh, and past uh, Amer- Americas. And they're going to have to make it past that black circle before we can say, okay, the tornado threat is significantly lower, which is nuts. Crazy. Are we getting food? Okay. All right. Do you know when? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm hungry. <laughs> How long have we been going? Five hours. Okay. This hatch zone was put out uh, 10 hours late. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, this is a... I I, I really hope that... you know, and I believe that obviously James Spann country, James Spann killed it. Uh, National Weather Service always kills it. Um, but I, I really hope that people weren't caught off guard because like usually whenever you see tornadoes like that, there's a lot of talk about it the day before um, and leading up to it. So, but the good news is, the good news is, that we, um, I think that the warnings and, and everything, especially from the National Weather Service, have been like on top of it. Like it's everybody's done a great job today, uh, including. Wait, did, did did the lights go green? Oh, Andy, do you want to talk to me? Because you can. Oh uh, no, I didn't. That was the severe thunderstorm warning. Oh, Ryan. okay. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I saw green. It was yellow. No problem. All right, so uh, we got a new considerable severe uh, thunderstorm up there. Uh, for by the way, all these places are under considerable severe thunderstorm warnings: Elmore County, Macon County, Montgomery County, and Tallapoosa County in Alabama. Also, Butler County, Covington, and Crenshaw Counties, Alabama. Also, Chambers County, Al- Alabama, all under um, considerable severe thunderstorm warnings right now. We also have a couple uh, tornado warnings out there. We got a radar confirmed tornado warning for Chambers and Randolph County in Alabama. Uh, and then we've got that uh, radar indicated warning for uh, Covington and Baldwin and Jones County. Covington counties in Alabama, Baldwin and Jones counties are in Georgia. Uh, Kathy Osborne says, if you get to Selma, please contact Cog Hill Farm. Her granddad has a tree in his house and don't know what he might need. Well, we will definitely get to them. Uh, We'll take down that information and we'll do what we can. Thank you for that. Obviously, obviously, there, there's like a, a lot of emergency services, uh, you know, that are out there um, uh, you know, already helping, like that they will be the first line of, you know, d- defense in, in a situation like this. Uh, what we try to do is, is help the go down there and, and do things that maybe other traditional resources wouldn't do and, and, you know, help out people maybe who, uh, were just looked over or forgotten about. That's it's one of the beauty, beautiful parts of not doing it in the traditional manner. My goodness.
Go ahead, Andy. Hey, Ryan. I don't have anything uh, incredibly pertinent right now weather-wise, but I do have something important to say, and that's that we just watched um, – I have it confirmed now. It's over 55 miles uh, path length for a uh, for the single tornado. I think that was after it had lifted from Selma and then dropped again near Independence, uh, to the best of my research. So we watched a tornado on the ground for 55 miles straight uh, do some significant damage. And there's still 44,000 people here right now. So all of y'all, there are thousands of you, more than likely, with you know severe uh, storm anxiety and this this may be you know enough just watching it happen to someone else uh many people who are in the line so make sure you're hey, taking Ryan care of yourselves so take a break from watching the, the coverage if you need to uh, but if you know somebody GPS in the line you're just staying uh, tuned to get information with them out, so then uh, do your best to stay tuned to with us out anything we need to do uh, by tonight all right thank you andy and yeah. chris um, we are, uh, that what Andy just said is ex extremely important. Make sure you're, uh, not getting overwhelmed by, by what's going on here. Take breaks and take a, take a break for water and, uh, food like I'm getting ready to, but, um, uh, un we are going to continue to cover this intensely, um, a as we go forward. Uh, because the you know, once again the tornado watch goes all the way out into uh, Georgia, um, and we've got uh, you know still a couple tornado warnings out there. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, the, I, I really do think that the big, the big storm that you know well, had the big debris ball, the PDS warnings, and all that stuff. That you know that's something that we're going to continue to watch, and that storm is going to continue to cause problems. Uh, but that we no longer have a confirmed tornado on the ground um, uh, anywhere, from what I can tell. All right, we're going to see new tornado warnings pop up. Uh, we're going to see uh, continue to see that, but uh, right now we're all radar indicated. But you, you need to take shelter if you are in uh, the any of the counties that are listed down there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, here's uh, some of the damage. Um, Mobile County, north of Mobile. So this is near uh, Mo Movico. So this is that that completely separate storm that we were watching while the tornado emergency was happening to the north, and even it uh, has done just incredible uh, damage over there. So just a lot of Alabama uh, is hurting uh, this evening or this afternoon, and uh, we're unfortunately we're going to hear more about that uh, as time goes on. Obviously, the first thing you do after you get hit by a tornado isn't take a picture of it and you know. Put it on Twitter. Uh, when people do get to that, though, um, we're going to hear a lot more about it, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on out there. And by the way... Um, just, just really quick, just want to show this. Just from me mentioning, mentioning, me, I can't talk. Talk for six hours and then try to talk. <laughs> just from me mentioning it two times here, the y'all squad has come together and we've 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 raised. Well, we've done seventeen thousand dollars in sales here, so we're going to be able to take that with us uh, as we go uh, to uh, 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 Alabama over the next couple of days, and we try to help out those uh, people down there. So. The reason I'm showing this isn't to pat ourselves on the back or, or be like, oh, look at how cool we are. It's just simply to promote it. N now that I'm saying this again, we will probably have 25,000, <laughs> you know, and if in, in 30 minutes, if I mention it again, we'll probably have 30,000. So it's something that I have to do. If, if, if we could go down there and help people without ever mentioning a word about it, that's the way we would do it. But I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I, the way I do anything is by talking about it on YouTube. So Thank you. Thank you for everybody who understands and, and knows why we do this and, and, and supports. That's awesome that we are able to do that. Like, it's unbelievable, honestly. And you can, yeah, shopryanhall.com. The mods will have a, uh, a link in there. Top of the page. This is what it looks like. The sticker. 
any of the other stuff. If you don't care about any of the other stuff, just get the sticker. And obviously, you don't have to do that. If all you did today was like the stream, share it, send it to somebody you care about, you are, you, you've done just as much. And we appreciate all of you. I really do appreciate you. Uh, we currently have four uh, tornado warnings, and Andy's going to give us an update here. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Ryan. I think that, as unfortunate as it is, this is exhibiting now an impressive book and vortex structure near Five Points, Alabama. Uh, that, that's our, you know, the, the long track storm we've been watching. Still going now that it's uh, actually changed form from a a supercell to an embedded supercell in the line. And now I think it's actually a proper book in vortex, which is when it takes that comma shape. So it goes up and, and around like that near, and we could see a, a strong uh, velocity couplet near five points in Stroud, Alabama. That's going to cross into the Georgia, uh, cross the Georgia border and head north of LaGrange or LaGrange towards Hogansville along I-85. So we're still watching that. I'm looking at that from the Atlanta radar. And in case you want to switch over to that. So still a storm of concern. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, meteorologist Andy Hill bringing our attention back to the, once again, the, the big storm that could. It's not wanting to give up here. Uh, so many things have happened uh, to this storm uh, that, that, that I feel like should have uh, toned it down a little bit. But here we are still seeing an intense um, uh, velocity couplet here on uh, the radar uh, as this moves past five points. It's going to go up towards Welch and Standing Rock uh, next. And then they've already issued a new tornado warning for LaGrange, um, H Hogansville, uh, the Crossings, Glen, and Turkey Point in Georgia. So this is going, this has went almost, almost completely across the, the state of Alabama. And now it's knocking on Georgia's door. So uh, just another crazy uh, tidbit of information that um, is just mind-blowing uh, to me and, and hopefully helps put it into perspective how widespread and, and, and uh, serious uh, this, this situation is. This storm is trying again to produce another tornado, a big one here at near Five Points, uh, Alabama. So if we are in Glen, Turkey Point, the Crossings, uh, Hillcrest, uh, oh, Asta Village, Hogansville, any of these places between uh, Five Points and Hogansville in um, uh, Alabama and Georgia, take shelter now. Andy, go on. Yeah, Ryan, I called that just in time. Now there's a tornado debris signature as of uh, about 20 seconds ago. All right. Thank you very much, Andy. Let's um, We're, we're going to zoom back in. We had a brief moment there where we could breathe. Now we're going to zoom back in here and get intensely uh, focused on covering this nonstop tornado here. There we go. A new big tornado has formed here, and it's on the ground just to the south and east of Stroud, and it's moving towards Evansville. Uh, this is a dangerous tornado. I'm sure that the National Weather Service is probably going to issue a new PDS warning or a radar-confirmed warning, uh, warning at the very least. But let's not wait on them. Okay, let's go ahead. There it is. Let's go ahead and get into our safe spots now like uh, like your life depends on it. We got a confirmed tornado warning for Chambers in Rand Randolph County uh, in Alabama. And that's going to go on for the next little bit. Now, of course, our sounds and our graphics aren't working correctly. Uh, but you've got the information. That's what we're dealing with here. I'm going to do a little bit of the mesoscale stuff. Um, just to kind of get you updated on on where this is. Points, Alabama. And just to kind of give you an update on where it's going, where it is, and all that stuff. So let me pull this up. Wow. I'm trying to orient myself here. Give me just a second. This is a big one. It's going towards Evansville. Uh, 
on the border of Alabama. And Georgia. New information. This tornado warning has been it upgraded. Is. It's a PDS warning now. Alright, so right now, uh, at this very moment, this tornado is on the ground near the Sweet Home Baptist Church. It's a PDS tornado. This is a life threatening, dangerous, damaging tornado. Probably just as big as some the ones that we've been looking at pictures of from earlier. Uh, this is definitely uh, one of the ones that you need to run, not walk, to shelter for. And you've got to get there fast. All right. Um, uh, right now, it's near that uh, Sweet Home Baptist Church. It's going to go by the um, A&E Lakeside Petro Marathon gas station and, and the Evansville uh, Recreation Area. This This is getting ready to go over. A huge campground um, and, and just like this big lake and, and there's just all kinds of parks and um, RV areas around it. It should go without saying, but it's very important that the people out here around Evansville abandon trailers. You do not want to be in a tornado in a trailer. You would rather be in a ditch. And I'm not joking, like being in a mobile home is the worst thing you could possibly do, especially an RV on wheels or something like that. Uh, so um, we've got to go. We A lot of these uh, recreation areas have buildings, uh, bathrooms, you know, that kind of like communi community like uh, recession uh, centers. Y you got to get to one of those. Um, you gotta, you've just got to find more sturdy shelter if you just happen to be uh, in a place like that. I don't know how many people are camping uh, in, in January down here, but like if that's happening, uh, we've got to get to a much safer spot, uh, and, and we got to get there fast because this is this storm has a history of producing catastrophic damage, not just like uh, tor regular tornado damage. We're talking about uh, very, very bad, serious damage, and that's possibly getting ready to happen here near the Evansville Recreation Area uh, within the next couple of minutes, all right? Uh, and then it's going to cross over uh, the lake. It's going to cross over uh, West Point Lake uh, on one of the northwestern forks right along the Alabama-Georgia uh, line, and it's going to head towards uh, GRC Computers, uh, Freeman Cemetery, uh, and then, of course, uh, towards Blinds ETC. New information. This tornado warning has been upgraded. All right, so now they have went ahead and upgraded that tornado warning in Heard County and Troop County, Georgia, to PDS as well. So this is officially going to cross from Alabama into Georgia as a PDS uh, tornado, which means that it's just a large, violent tornado. It's more than likely going to be uh, one of the higher-end EF ratings, okay? Obviously, I can't tell you what that is. We determined those after the tornado happened. Um, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, right here is where that tornado is. The big blue dot that's indicating that there is debris in the air, pieces of, um, you know, uh, trees, the pieces of dirt, ground, like leaves, whatever it is, are up in the sky and the radar knows that they shouldn't be there. So it drops the correlation coefficient. Uh, and that's what we see here. We see that drop and that's how we know where the tornado is. Uh, we can see a little bit better of a view here. And the, the tornado is pretty much over Standing Rock right now, and it's moving into the Evansville area. As of right now, I think that the tornado, a more exact location as to where it is, uh, it, it is on the northern side of that lake, once again, near the Friendship Baptist Church. It's going to go through uh, Thrift Deck. If you know where the Thrift Deck is, the, the tornado is pretty close to that. And it's going to go uh, up towards Antioch, all right? Uh, and, uh, of course, the... Um, uh, Estes Grocery, if you know where that is, it's got, the tornado is going to come dangerously close to that. Uh, really, if you're anywhere near West Point Lake, like this whole lake is kind of like just positioned perfectly to be in the path of this thing, especially on the northern side. If you're in uh, Yellow Jacket Creek Park, if you're in the Yellow Jacket Creek Recreation Area, if you're up there towards West Point WMA, um, or the Georgia Wildlife Management Area, this tornado is coming towards you, man. It's going to come, and you've got to be ready for it. More, uh, far, like farther down the road, 
Um, this is going to impact places like the crossings, Hillcrest, Grayson's Landing, and Hogansville in Georgia. Okay, this is in Georgia. Right now, the tornado is in Alabama. It's getting ready to cross the Alabama state line into Georgia here within the next couple of minutes. This is the state line. This is the tornado. Okay, it's probably right now half in Alabama and half in Georgia. So that's what we're looking at there. And the next person, the next people in line are going to be in Antioch. Um, or yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. Ant Antioch, something like that in Georgia as the tornado crosses. It pretty much is going to parallel West Point Lake on the northwestern side. And, uh, you know, if you if you were in Yellow Jacket Creek Park right now, I, first of all, I'd, I'd hate that to, to know that anybody's there. But you probably have a, a, a view of this thing. You could probably see it. Uh, I don't.